Good evening, wonderful people, great beer friends, wherever you are on this planet we call Earth. This is Radio Biafra Special Edition. It is a special announcement. It is a special rendition. It is a very special project this very evening. We are a night on a day, a morning, afternoon, evening, night, here from London, from our studios, that we are holding a raping mass for the Zoological Republic. In the next few hours, the existence of the Zoological Republic of Nigeria, the contraption built by Frederick Lugard of Scotland, that very abomination in the sight of God and the sight of man, will come to an end. It is therefore incumbent upon all Biafrans and everyone listening, all men and women of goodwill, all men and women of righteousness, those that believe in fairness, those that believe in equity, those that believe in justice, those that believe in the right of man to rise up to ensure the coming of Biafra. Because on this very evening from London, we are going to bury Nigeria. We will bury that zoo with facts and figures. We will ensure that the whole world, everybody listening, over 3 million people listening, will become aware of the very fact that that very contraption should have been created in the first place. This is Radio Biafra. I had to cut short my journey in Germany to come back to the studios of Radio Biafra to host this landmark edition. Tomorrow is the first day of January in 2014. Nearly 100 years ago, precisely 100 years ago, the zoo was created. Today we begin to unravel it. Today we consign it to the dustbin of history. Today we will appeal to the conscience, to the reasoning, to the hearts and to the minds of all men. Everywhere in the world. And women alike. Those that love justice, those that love fairness. To come to the realization, the understanding. To come to reason that that very zoo shouldn't exist anymore i am anam the Kano, the host and director of radio biafra and by the very special grace of god a servant of the wonderful people of biafra therefore wherever you are on this planet we call earth regardless of the continent you're in the country regardless of the city the town regardless of your village your homestead your clan your homestead wherever you are we say good morning to you we say good afternoon we say good evening and we say good night to our people, our wonderful, lovely people in Malaysia that kicked off this very program today. This day that the zoo is coming to an end, we are ensuring, we are making absolutely certain that the existence of the zoo must cease. It will come to an end. That is why we welcome you. That is why before you do anything else, you must inform people around you regardless of the country they're in you will inbox them you will send them twitter messages you will do the best you can via email via whatsapp via blackberry you will inform those people that the zoo is coming to an end and on radio biafra we are holding a open mass we are reading the burial rites of the zoo this evening the heavens and the earth will reverberate not because we are anything extraordinary not because we are special but because chukwa biyama has spoken and his words must come to pass i am joined by carol monday i will also be that this very special edition of radio biafra nobody should miss it Nobody who is sensible should miss it. That is why you will tell them to go to www.radiobiafra.co Ask them to go to www.peopleofbiafra.org Ask them to go to www.indigenouspeopleofbiafra.org Ask them to download Radio Biafra app. Ask them to go to Biafra Television on YouTube. Tell them that across all these platforms that they can get Radio Biafra. You cannot afford to listen to the night's Radio Biafra broadcast alone. You must tell your wife and your children, even those who are newly born. Because when they hear the truth, if they are Biafrans, they will respond to it. 
if they have not heard anything before if they are yet to be conscious of the environment please bring them very close to your listening device they must hear the word of truth this very day this very evening the 31st of december in the year of our lord 2013 a few hours away from the expiry of the zoo the zoo is about to end and we are here to bury it the number to call us on because tonight we'll take all your calls all of you wherever you are we will be on air for eight hours non-stop eight hours live broadcast from london i am tired i'm weak i came in from germany but i must broadcast to the world because this is radio biafra we are not like any other as long as we remain incorruptible as long as we are whiter than white as long as we are whiter than snow as long as we don't intend to retreat neither are we going to contemplate surrender as long as we put biafra before anything we do as long as we put biafra before our lives and our families as long as we put biafra before any comfort in life there is no way biafra will not come starting from midnight tonight everything within our powers everything within our effort everything within our capacity will be done to restore biafra in truth and in all honesty not just any biafra a biafra that will be worthy to be called the kingdom of god on this very earth that is why i must implore i must urge all of you i must plead with you to please go out get your pen and paper ready you must inform your people you must tell those around you you must educate them and enlighten them you must bring them closer to radio biafra if not for any other day but for this landmark world record broadcast from london we are going to destroy nigeria completely and totally that they may know that chukwa biama is our god that they may know that in word and in deed that we are the children of the most high that we are blessed people that our land is holy that we have been defiled desecrated that they have impugned our honor and our integrity and that must be restored that is why we are radio biafra and that is why the indigenous people of biafra headquartered in malaysia with our secretariat in thailand that is why all biafrans all over the world those that regard this as an honor and as a duty to set their people free must listen to us you must listen this very evening the number to call should you wish to join us later is our london number because we're back in london the number is plus four four seven eight three one three zero eight three seven six i must repeat this number plus four four seven eight three one three zero eight three seven six and so also is carol monday who has been working tirelessly hard as we reveal to the world today that the original amalgamation text is with us we have everything lugard said everything from a to z only to kwabiyama could have made that possible do you see why we say we are blessed on a very special day like this tomorrow in a few hours is the first of january 2014 it is the start of a new moon a historical coincidence in the lives of our people it doesn't happen very often that the first of january is also the first day of the new moon everything is happening in our favor the stars the constellation everything within the heavenly bodies is aligning for biafra to come we cannot afford to miss this opportunity i have in my hands here the text of the original declaration of amalgamation by frederick lugard god is indeed with us and also carol monday you will acknowledge the presence of the wonderful people of biafra and their friends who are all over the world please good evening to the world good evening reference worldwide and as ever i'm going to say it again on the last day of the year it's good morning good afternoon and good evening to everyone worldwide and don't forget if you are following us it is still twitter tuesday follow the twitter as well at radio breath for live add, add us on twitter and twitter people remind them to be listening to the broadcast also as well as what's happening in bbm and everything else as director mentioned um since i've been in this struggle it seems that
the doorway seemed to open at right at the opportune moment. It's, it's, it's as if God brings everything at the right time. At the, at his appointed time, when he is ready, he seems to open those windows of opportunity. And that's what he's been doing. As I've watched it, the blessings that we've had, you know, we've come across these things and it seems that God has put them there because they, he knows that Barafa will raise. And, uh, in, and as you are aware, the original amalgamation document report is with us, um, along with several other documents um, which we found quite amazing and it is the end of Nigeria unfortunately Nigeria doesn't technically exist it's finished Barafa is restored and that's it it's the beginning of a new year on a fantastic note and, um, and I'm so happy to be a part of this and to be here on this monumental night back to you Rector. thank you very much thank you very very much Biafra. once again we welcome you we accept your presence we accept your support we accept all your hard work and before i proceed i must give a special mention to the leadership in germany for the way they accepted the presence of radio biafra in their midst for the diligent work they did to spread the gospel of biafra as propagated by this radio station to go out and speak to people to get them to congregate to accept our presence in germany we thank each and every one of you from those of you in frankfurt to the leadership headquartered in munich from munich it was possible for us to go to cologne from cologne we went to bremen from bremen to hamburg from hamburg to dusseldorf from dusseldorf to stuttgart from where we returned to london each step of the way in every town that we went to anytime we met our people we felt we were home with biafrans there are biafrans in germany anybody coming from germany saying to you that they identify with this very struggle behold them because they are indeed one of us on this radio station we don't confer that title very easily we don't say that somebody is part of us or one of us unless they deserve it it is the highest accolade you can ever get in this struggle for us to say that indeed you are one of us we say with every degree of certainty that all of them who are in germany are indeed part of this very family of Biafrans all over the world answering to Biafrans in wherever they are and also responsible for the administration of the indigenous people of Biafra headquartered in Malaysia 2014 is round the corner and we're going to go home as we promised the time has come very soon the talking will stop and very soon the action will begin this is Radio Biafra we must proceed to bring the news headlines and accompanying news summary. We must do so this evening and then we go into the substance of the news. As part of our headline, we are reporting that we have before us Lugard and the amalgamation of Nigeria. This is a documentary record. We have it all the correspondence all the articles all the reports everything including what lugard's wife said we have it because we are radio biafra no other person does apart from us because we are blessed by god it fell on our lap literally this same document that everybody has been looking for historians everywhere in the world we knew it existed but not even in this format we have it comprehensively i have spoken to barista Mamezu about it and barista Mamezu is like a child in a candy shop he cannot wait to go to work on this anytime we speak people must listen we said it before when we started as long as our hands are clean as long as we remain incorruptible as long as we remain without blemish there is no way biafra will not come every instrument required 
every material, every resource, every man or woman required for this struggle will come forward. I have it here in front of me. We are going to reproduce it with the permission of the family that owns this very rights. We are going to publish it. We are going to make it available to schools so that people can study how they were created, shamefully created, humiliatingly created, how disgracefully Nigeria emerged. It's a shame. Even they themselves called it a geographical expression. Those that created you. Anybody who says he or she is a Nigerian around you, if you have a gun, you shoot the person. That person is not worthy to live. That person is not actually a human being. That is how sad Nigeria is. Today we unmask, we unravel, we disgrace that very zoological republic. We have the manuscripts, we have everything official report. Official report by Lugard. Lugard's own words, what he said. His letters. We have it. Radio Biafra has it. It is here with us. I wish I dissect it line by line to reveal to the world how useless the creation of the zoo was. That is our signature headline. That is our principal headline that on this very monumental day of all days, with the 1st of January 2014 coming, with even the stellar bodies, the bodies in heaven aligning, it is the new moon. Something that hasn't happened in many decades. 1st of January 2014 is the beginning of the new moon. And on this day, Radio Biafra can announce to the world that we have all the documents relating to the amalgamation of the zoo. We have the documents in Lugard's own words. The, why, the voice of the wife as well, recorded, captured here. We have it. That they may be afraid of us. We told you that we would destroy the zoo, we would dismember it. We are formidable, exceptionally formidable. They will know it very soon. 2014 is here, and the world will know we exist. And that we are called Biafrans. The same way they tried in 1975 to extinguish our name from history books. And we recovered it. Today we can announce that we have gone back to the beginning of time to unravel how the zoo came into existence, the originality of the nonsense that people refer to as Nigeria, the meager area. The meager area. Today we reveal to the world what it means to come from that place. I feel sorry for all of us. Those unfortunate enough to be carrying a green passport, I feel sorry for them because that passport is a passport to servitude, a passport to slavery, is a passport to hell. Anybody who died and was buried in Nigeria is going to hell, direct to hellfire. There is no redemption because you died steeped in abominable ignorance. You believe the warrior. Today we begin to cure that illness by revealing facts and figures. How you came to exist, the shameful existence, the embarrassing existence of the nonsense they call Nigeria. We reveal it to the world to hear. This is Radio Biafran. And the other things happening. In preparation for the end of the zoo, the army have now retired 30 generals. 30 generals retired. Because the zoo is about to collapse. And with it, lives will be lost. We are also reporting that the lying military of the soon to extinct Zoological Republic of Nigeria is reporting that they killed 63 Boko Haram terrorists in a raid. They said it so we have to believe them. Believe in Nigeria project, the deporting governor of Lagos State Fashola tells the gullible people that call themselves Nigerians. Or Basanjo's letter to Jonathan is a danger signal, says Senator Chukumerija. It is a license and a signal for the military to carry out a coup. But they have preempted them at the Hedge Recap, sacked 30 of them. 30 generals retired. 
Asari Dokubo says that he is not training snipers as alleged by Obasanjo in his letter to Jonathan. The arch criminal and looter extraordinaire, the former governor of Lagos State, the Yoruba Islamic APC leader, Tinubu, is accusing Jonathan, implicating Jonathan on $11 billion missing from national coffers. This is the man with 15 bank accounts abroad. 15. Talk of a kettle calling the pot black. Tackle poverty, insecurity, and do not take Nigerians for granted. This is from the former Customs Controller General, a certified looter and criminal himself again speaking. We ask when your folks were in power, why did you not say this? You people have been ruling Nigeria, why haven't you said anything? All of a sudden, they have something to say. Those are the news headlines and now the accompanying news summary. Following the promotions and postings of 27 major generals by the Nigerian Army Council, indications have emerged that the Army authorities have issued terminal letters to 30 generals preparatory to their leaving the force between today, the 31st of December, and 31st of January 2014. Among the generals that have so far received the letters are some principal staff officers at Army and Defense Headquarters, commandants of the in-service institutions, core commanders, as well as those Army-owned training institutions. It was gathered from authoritative military sources that while some of the generals have served the mandatory 35 years in service, Others have been cut off by the age on the rank requirements for retirement and some have become not promotable by virtue of the fact that they have not been successful with the promotion boards for the three scheduled opportunities. On why such numbers, large numbers of generals will be allowed to leave the service even after President Goodluck Jonathan had in the past reiterated the need to keep those officers that cost the nation colossal amount of money to train, the source said, yes, the services of the officers will still be needed by the army, but it will be in a different capacity. According to the military source, the top hierarchy of the armed forces is heavy, and if the terms and conditions of service are not followed, the young officers will not get the top job too. They are retiring the old people in the army, to promote the young ones, why is that not happening in the day-to-day -day politics of the zoo? Why is Abbasanjo still contesting? Why is Babangida still contesting? Why is Buhari still contesting? All old men, very old men, who should be in residential homes, in care homes, they are out running politics, but in the army, they said the old ones will go because they are afraid they will carry out a coup. They are loyal to Abbasanjo and Babangida. They are loyal to Buhari. They are loyal to Danjima. And they must be retired. We are continuing this evening to report that the defense headquarters said yesterday that 63 Boko Haram members were killed over the weekend during ground and air operations on their bases in Burma, in Brownu State and Black Chad. I don't know how many times they will attack the same place. Every time they come, they say they have... The same Burma, two months ago, Last month and now, the same place they are talking, yet they are saying they are winning the war on terror. Two soldiers were wounded in encounters with insurgents. Boko Haram leader Abubakar Shekau boasted in a new video that the sect will wreak more havoc on Nigerians. He also derided the $7 million bounty on his head by the United States. The military claimed that the first clash occurred at Alafa Forest, where 56 insurgents were killed. The nation could not verify the facts independently. They are the people reporting it. That is the newspaper owned by Bola Tinubu, the ex wire politician and looter extraordinaire, the criminal that bled the coffers of the Treasury Dry in the zoo and used it to invest abroad in 15 bank accounts. 15. Yoruba man Bola Ahmed Tinubu is a criminal. 
The Lagos State Governor Babatunde Fashola on Tuesday urged all Nigerians to believe in Nigeria and the Nigerian project. That hope, dreams, and expectations must not be lost. We must resolve this new year to return to ourselves and give impetus to them to do this successfully. We must begin to believe in Nigeria and the Nigerian project once more. He said in the New Year's message, we must start by defining for ourselves the kind of future that we want. It is not only when we agree on this that we can unite towards recreating the Nigeria of our collective dreams. This is from the same man that deported other people. From the same man that deported Igbo people from Lagos, he is asking for Nigeria to remain one so that more Igbo people will be deported from Lagos. They can kill more of you. They can burn down your properties. They can make you homeless. They can wreak havoc on your businesses so that Nigeria may remain one. And you continue to bring in your container from Lagos. That you continue to fatten their coffers. That is why they need you, not because they love you. They can never love you as we are about to prove this very evening. That is from the deporter himself, Babatunde Fashola. This is the hypocrisy that turns my stomach in the zoo. People are hypocritical. Very, very hypocritical. And we must expose them. He is a deporter of his so-called fellow Nigerians. Back to head bridge in our nature. He is the one telling us about being in one Nigeria. What errant nonsense is that? The chairman of the Senate Committee on Education, Senator Uche Chuku Merije, yesterday described former President Olusha Guna Basanjo's open letter to President Jonathan as a sign of looming disaster. Chuku Merije, in a statement, said a second term for Jonathan is necessary to foster a sense of participation of all ethnic components in the administration of the country at the highest level. He warned that never again will the Igbo nation allow itself to be made a sacrificial lamb in the nation's political history. He described as alarmist Obasanjo's warning that the military is being primed for possible abuse and misuse for unwholesome personal and political interest. That is from Senator Chukumerija. Everybody is waking up because we have woken them up to speak very loudly and without fear. Former President Chukumerija Obasanjo's allegation that President Goodluck Jonathan is training snipers keeps generating the heat. Although Obasanjo did not name anybody, the founder of the militant Niger Delta People's Volunteer Force, NDPV, al Haji Mujahid, Asari Dokubo, thinks he is the one the former president was referring to. Asari Dokubo was recently detained in the Republic of Benin. He said yesterday that he was not training snipers either in Nigeria or abroad for the presidency. He said although Obasanjo should be bold enough to indict him for a response, Asari Dokubo said he was neither flown in a private jet nor in a presidential jet after being investigated by the security agencies in Benin Republic. A national leader of the All Progressives Congress and criminal Bola Ahmed Tinubu has urged Nigerians to embrace his party as it promises to be a harbinger of a much needed change in Nigeria. In a goodwill message to Nigerians, as they mark the transition from 2013 to 2014, Tinubu attempted to differentiate the APC from the ruling PDP, saying that the APC is a vehicle to generate and accelerate the process of change towards the most beneficial end for the greatest number of his people. His party, he said, will not mimic the PDP, calling the PDP a rubber government with deaf leaders. Tinubu urged Nigerians to hearken to the message of change that the APC has brought and to embrace the party as it seeks a change of leadership in Nigeria. And I quote what he said, We may not be perfect, but we are dedicated to the well-being of something far greater and more important than ourselves. We seek a better Nigeria for all Nigerians. Thus, we are no more like the PDP than a broom. It's like the death is sweeps away, whatever that means. This is a man with 15 bank accounts, some of them in London here, with NatWest, some of them in the USA, Bola Ahmed, you know, a criminal, and he's telling the people of the zoo, the monkeys in the zoo, he's telling the chimpanzees, the baboons in the zoo, 
that his party APC will bring change. This is from a criminal. Indeed, some black African people don't have conscience. You are a criminal. You steal from the people. You have foreign bank accounts. Yet you have the temerity to say you want to bring about change to clean corruption. You are the one responsible for beaching, the bombing, the deportation, the marginalization, the absolute cut off of Biafrans from the scheme of things in the zoo. You are the one responsible for burning down evil businesses in Lagos. You are responsible for Togre, for criminality and for mindless killings in the zoo. You are the one now educating people to vote for you and to vote for your party. This is what we see. This is where one and end to the zoo. This is a criminal with 15 foreign bank accounts where he puts the money of the animals they call Nigerians. That's where he puts it. All the monkeys, all the, the, the orangutans in the zoo, they speak to them and they listen because of their stupidity. They are, of course, it was started by Lugard. He programmed them to think like animals and that is what they are. Animals. Disgraceful. If you read what we have in front of us, Believe you me, you will regret the day you were uh, anybody referred to you as a Nigerian. If they call if anybody who calls you a Nigerian, you take a knife to that person and cut off the person's head. To be called a Nigerian is not just an insult, it is condemnation from what we have seen and epitomized by men like these criminals that still yet they turn around and claim they are for the zoo. Former Vice President Atiku Abubakar has raised alarm over poverty rate in the country calling on the federal government to rise up to the task of governance according to him elected and appointed officials must be proactive in tackling issues affecting the people as they have exercised enough patience with successive administrations of which he is part of them he governed with abbas Anjo. he ruled with abbas Anjo. he didn't do anything now he's talking this is the hypocrisy of Yoruba house of Fulani men, hypocrisy, lies, bare-faced deceit. Unfortunately, Nigeria is full of animals, and they will accept it sheepishly. In a New Year message by his media office in Abuja on Monday, Atiku, while congratulating Nigerians, thanked God for keeping the nation together. Can you believe that? Thank God for keeping the nation together. <laughs> despite the myriad of security political and socio-economic challenges we want to see if his god is greater than our god it's very simple ours is chukwa biyama theirs is whatever it is we are about to test the two to see who is actually supreme those are our news headlines and accompanying news summary interspersed with my commentary and to all yeah. our listeners all around the world this is from the publication of the Times of Nigeria at, at that time. This is the publication. Good Lord deliver us from a prancing proconsul who must have his own way, from a born and bred in the law chief justice who mercilessly drafts out oppressive ordinances, from a colonial secretary who having been influenced by the man on the spot deliberately deafens his ears and shuts his eyes to the moans and groans of oppressed people these are people as at the time of this zoo the creation of nigeria they were saying no to it and they wrote countless letters this is one of them the letter started by saying good lord deliver us we have all these things in their original state and i will continue to read because we are here to give people facts and figures so they understand by the middle of 1914 the situation came very near to boiling over when accusations by the same times publication alleged of the hidden meaning that unification was synonymous with a sellout of the south the amalgamation of 1914 it asserted is broadly speaking the conquest and subjugation of southern nigeria by northern nigeria northern nigeria system northern nigeria laws northern nigerian land systems northern nigerian administration must be made to supersede every system 
in southern Nigeria. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. These are the facts. These are historical facts of the time that we are unearthing on Radio Biafra. We have Frederick Lugard's amalgamation report and his commentaries. After listening to Karamonde and Uche Mefo, the barrister will join me and we analyze after Lugard's report what he actually said. And people will be astonished because this is Radio Biafra. We told you we enlighten, we educate, and we spur you to action and we lead you into battle. We told you that Nigeria is finished, and indeed it is. Carol Monday, you will come in here. You will please give us your understanding of the news we are covering this very evening. The, in fact, a few hours and Nigeria will be over. Please go ahead. Yes, Director. In fact, tonight I was looking forward to the amalgamation document in the fall because it is, it, you know, it's it's brought us away from all the killing, killing, killing. But again, the news headlines are there. Boko Haram again killing and that's all that, that's all i've had all year and it gets really depressing i remember doing the, the broadcast with ucha when you were in in nigeria and that's every single day it got me so depressed killing 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 every day and it's time to step away from that and it's been happening when you look through everything that we have we look through and it's been happening for hundreds of years that the felony have been trying to rule Nigeria. You've got Timabu calling Jonathan a, a thief. That's a bit hypocritical. There's the man a thief himself and that's going to call the next man a thief and he has money all over the world in all these bank accounts. The felony are trying to rule. They're trying to overcome everybody. They have terrorists. The terrorists are killing Boko Haram. That's a terrorist sect. They're armed forces. And that's what they're using. And they're trying to push it through the whole country. Whether you're Christian or not, you'll go. Because that's what they're doing. They've gone into the politics. They ate out APC. They eat the, the, the all, all Muslim in there. All, all of them. They've gone to Bilia. They went to um, the uh, Ohanze. They went to the elders. They corrupted anybody that they could on the ground. Because it has been so long. It has been happening for so long that Baratheons have got used to this. They've got used to the news of people robbing, and they've got new, and they've got used to because it's been happening for a hundred years. Because we've allowed it to happen for a hundred years, it should have ended. It should have ended a hundred years ago, not now. But they, that's what they did. They, unfortunately, the British, and I, and I do apologise for any British citizen that is unaware of what the British government have done in their name because it is disgusting. When you see what they did and what they thought that they were doing was the best thing and it was awful to think that they would put you under felony rule. It's horrific. They, pl they, they planned it, Carol. They, did they plan placed it. us under felony rule deliberately. I know. The wife of Frederick Lugard placed us, she was admiring them, saying look at the way they conquered Hausa people, making fun of them. That the only problem she had was that she couldn't find where, she couldn't link them anywhere, that they didn't come from anywhere. They are just a group of um, vandals. She admired, because her father was a major general, her father was a military man, and her husband also, Frederick Lugard, was also a military man. So she admired the killing of people and conquest. So she was admiring how the Fulanese came and conquered the houses and how submissive the houses were to the Fulanese. Because of that, she said, every other person must be brought under Fulani rule. That's all. That's Please go right. ahead. That's right. That is my understanding also that uh, she had a lot to do with it. And um, obviously, Lugard held that power. And rightfully, he, you know, he's done what he was the British wanted him to do and that's the British government I may add and the British people don't know what went on they don't know they don't even know about the 67 to 70 Bradford war anymore I didn't I didn't until last year and look at me now I'm the biggest advocate for Bradford going well biggest British British white woman that's going to be an advocate for Bradford and this is what you know and th now it's all coming out everything we will expose everything and that is the way forward a hundred years of this is going to get crushed tonight and good riddance to it because it's hell on earth down there and it's time to end it back to you thank you very much for that thank you Uche Mefo you must confirm your presence with me before I give you something to chew on please yes I'm here 
Uche, before you proceed, I have something for you from the archives of Lugard himself. This we are exposing to the world today something never before reported. Nobody has these documents, is in our possession. And we must let you understand how people felt at the time the genesis of the contraption called Nigeria which we affectionately refer to as the zoological republic now you know why we called it a zoo we are going to read it please you, tell, you must listen very carefully this is yes, yes. Um, I must find it I must find it now listen this is the Nigerian Chronicle writing, the Nigerian Chronicle writing around the same time about the education policies of Frederick Lugard. And this is what they had to say. The proposed installation of mental slavery. The Chronicle was saying as far back as 1913, 1912, 1913, that the colonial master, his name is Frederick Lugard, that his education policy was engineered to make sure that future Nigerians will think and act as slaves. And they carried it out. And that is why today, anybody that, you, that refers to him or herself as a Nigerian thinks like an animal. It is here, 1912, written by the Nigerian Chronicle. They, they, they linked it with remarks by the governor he made when opening the exhibition of a school work in Lagos when he made it clear that his ambition listen, this is Frederick Lugard saying that his ambition is to curtail the educational genius of the South it was a deliberate British policy to curtail the educational genius of the South to impoverish us and hand us over to House of Lani people it was a deliberate British policy, and we have it in front of us. So, Biafra, we are coming to you live and direct from our studios in London on a day we are celebrating the end of the Zoom, on a day we are reporting to the world the exclusive possession of all correspondents, the exclusive possession of all the reports the exclusive possession of everything that Frederick Lugard said and did in relation to the amalgamation. We have it here with us and we are bringing it to your attention. We are bringing it to the attention of the world. The name Nigeria, the nigger area, where niggers inhabit, is a name given to us by Flora Shaw. Her name is Florence Shaw, short for Flora, that's what they call her. When she was befriending Frederick Lugard, she gave us that name, nigger area, an area full of niggers. It's an insult. That's the meaning of it. She gave us the name, and we must continue to report that a lot of people were against the amalgamation. A lot of people clicked against it, but they did not listen because they were superior beings. The British are superior to you in their own thinking. They knew we are the children of God and they proceeded to dismiss us. They proceeded to treat us in a way or in ways unbecoming of human beings. Everybody kicked against it. Everybody. They accused Frederick Luger. This is the Lagos Weekly Record. It accused Luger. Oh, my goodness. People must see this. They must see it. Dear Lord, if you read this, you have tears in your eyes. Unbelievable. Oh, my goodness. They accused Luger. We must continue. My goodness of what it called imposing on the south the notorious nigerian system of administration seen as the product of his exuberant imagination and they went further to describe it 
My goodness me, it's, a, it's amazing. It's amazing. They describe it as the most ingenious system that has ever been devised since the days of the Spanish Inquisition for the express purpose of humiliating and depressing the unity of any loyal and progressive community. This is in 1919. People we are kicking against Nigeria in 1919. They said no, the amalgamation is wrong. It was designed to impoverish us intellectually and morally. It was designed to turn us into animals. That's what they did. When we said that Nigeria is a giant experiment, now you can see the reason why. Not only Radio Biafra kicked against it, in the year of our Lord 1919, there was a publication in Lagos with ordinary people writing the Lagos Weekly Record. We have it here. The original copies, we have it. The world will reverberate this very evening from London. It could be morning, it could be afternoon where you are. We told you we'll report the truth, the truth that no other people can broadcast, never. They will not report it. BBC will not cover it, will they? CNN will not cover it. But we are Radio Biafra. Because we are without fear in the presence of our enemies. We don't care who they are. We are without fear in front of them. They should be the ones afraid of us. We are laying bare. We are laying open to the world to understand and to accept our grievances. But if the members is with me, he is a legal man, I'm not. That we must go on. Oh, it's unbelievable. In fact, when Lugard left, when Lugard left in 1919, they said that we received the news of the retirement of Lugard with great joy and gladness by the loyal natives of those you call Nigeria. We are going on our, on our knees to thank God for delivering his dusky children from the baneful effects of an inglorious administration. Then we even had brave people as you do today on Radio Biafra. You see, all the way from 19, in fact from 1912, they said no to amalgamation. And after over a hundred years, we are still saying no. To amalgamation. Now you can see that truth is life. It doesn't change with time. It is constant. It doesn't bend. It's there. What they said, what our ancestors said in 1912, what they said in 1919 when Lugard left, we are still saying today, this time around from London, we are all those abominations we are hatched. We are in London broadcasting. So the world can hear our voice that they can set us free. The education system you have in the zoo was not designed to educate you. It was designed to turn you into a monkey. That's why they call you monkeys. They designed the policy so you can reason like, a, like an animal, not like a human being. Frederick Lugard. Lugard and the wife handed you over to Hausa Fulani people. That was their plan. It is here. Not Radio Biafra, but by the people of the time. They changed everything, all our way of life to mimic, to reflect those in the north. We lost our identity. Here they said we were three million, three and a half, no, seven and a half million. In bus, we are one million people. It is all written down here. Apart from Aruchugu, they said Aruchugu, there was human sacrifice in Aruchugu which was their reason for going in. We are still investigating that, of course. It is unbelievable. What we have here is a treasure trove of documents upon documents, facts upon facts. Facts, I mean, fa oh my goodness me. My goodness, dear Lord in heaven. This is unbelievable. I have never seen a thing like this before. Have never seen it. Have never seen it. This is truly amazing. Truly amazing. 
It is called Nougat's Confidential Proposals. We have them in front of us. We have them. We are going to publish all this and keep republishing them. Every library in the world, scholars of African history, all those who don't know how they came about, we have here on our hands the birth of the zoo. How it was created by a human being, by the girlfriend, Flora Shaw, the woman called you Niga Area. Niga Area. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Very shortly, we shall go on to read the words of Frederick Lugard. We are going to read his words. We, we are going to open our lines. He will speak. But we want when you call Radio Biafra, you will have something to say. This is the speech by the Governor General, Sir Fre not Lord, not Lord, Sir F. Lugard, on the occasion of the declaration of the constitution of the colony and protectorate of Nigeria, exactly January 1st, 1914. January 1st, 1914. So we are in order <laughs> that the zoo has expired after 100 years. Exactly. The, it is here in black and white. The date, precise date is here. This is, now I'll be reading, you'll be hearing my voice, but the words are those of Frederick Lugard, the creator of Nigeria. This is Frederick Lugard speaking from across the grave. We are bringing you the voice of Frederick Lugard. This was what he wrote. His own handwriting. You are all aware that His Majesty's government, after long and mature consideration, arrived some time ago at the conclusion that it will be to the great advantage of the countries known as Southern and Northern Nigeria that they should be amalgamated into one government, confirming, confirming, I must say, confirming to one policy and mutually cooperating for the moral and material advancement of Nigeria as a whole. This is the beginning of the zoo. This policy, Nigeria was created not by God, but by the policy of one man. We told you, Nigeria was not created by Chukwu Abiyama. It was by Lugard here. He had a policy to create the zoo. The policy had been strongly advocated by Sir William McGregor as governor of Lagos, by Sir Ralph Moore as high commissioner of southern Nigeria, and by myself as high commission of northern Nigeria about 10 years ago. It has continued to be advocated by Sir Walter Egerton and my successors in northern Nigeria. The construction of rival railways in northern and southern Nigeria accentuated the necessity of having a single railway policy with a single administration and over a year ago the secretary of state decided that the time has come to give effect to the scheme of constituting a single government for nigeria do you know the name of the man that gave the go-ahead for the zoo to be formed that man's name is cecil harcourt the person they named Port Harcourt after. They replaced the watcher with Harcourt. The man that took us to our death. He signed our death warrant. Mr. Harcourt was pleased to select me to carry out this difficult task. And he appointed, this is Harcourt uh, deciding what is happening in the zoo from London. Mr. Harcourt was pleased. This is Lugard's letter. People must listen. Mr. Harcourt was pleased to select me to carry out this difficult task and he appointed me in the first instance as governor separately of the two distinct governments of northern and southern Nigeria with a view to informing myself of local conditions and submitting to him my proposals for amalgamation. The God you're looking at today is Frederick. But the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost is Mr. Harcourt. That is how the zoo was born. We told you we have all the faxes here. These are Lord Lugard's words, which I've just read. 
Our lines have now opened. People may call Radio Biafra. You can say anything you like, however you want to say it. This is your radio station, and the world must hear your voice because today we have explained to you, we'll go back to it, as to how the zoo was indeed formed. Formed by one man as a policy, administrative convenience, named by a lady called Flora Shaw, the girlfriend of Frederick Lugard. Frederick's girlfriend named you Nigeria and they decided you are going to die in it. That's what has happened. This is Radio Biafra once again. Wherever you are, we welcome you. Whichever country you're in, whichever time zone you're in, that this is your radio station. We are here to take your calls. As always, our number is the same for London. It is consistent. Our Skype line is also open and we must take your calls. Heaven knows we'll take them. We'll be here for eight hours, non-stop. Give us your name and where you are, the caller on Skype. You are the first caller to this very special program. This is Radio Biafra. This is Radio Biafra. We are from London. Give us your name and where you are, please. My name is Ebele uh, Chungu. I'm from Qatar. From Qatar, please go ahead. You have the honor of being our first caller today. Please go ahead. Yeah, thank you very much. First of all, I want to, I want to greet you. I want to thank you for your uh, hard work. Thank you. Yes, we are listening to you. Please go ahead. We are listening. No, we can't hear them again. Can you hear me? I, I'm one of the brethren in Qatar. You are one of us in Qatar. You are welcome to the yeah. program. Please go ahead and make a point. Yeah, I thank you very much, but I just started uh, listening to, 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 to Radio Radio Biafra. I don't I don't I don't know your headline now because I'm just tuning on. Then you then I suggest you listen for a while. I have your name here. You listen for a while and you call us back. You are from Qatar. Yeah. Call us back in a short while, listen for a bit because we are analyzing the colonial document that gave birth to Nigeria. We, uh, no, we but, have gone but, back. But your website is not going. I, I couldn't connect from uh, your yes. website. It's, it's not going. It, it's too many people. Can you please? Uh, do you have a pen and paper? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Go to people of Biafra. All one word. People of Biafra dot org. People of Biafra. People from Biafra. No, people of Biafra. Okay, people of Biafra. No. Yeah, people of Biafra, people of Biafra. Dot okay, people of Biafra. Yes. Yeah. Dot o r g. Dot org. That was the o r g. Yeah. Yeah. Go there now. You get us. People are complaining because of the traffic is too much. Thank you very much. Thank you, and God bless you. Call us back. We have a caller on the line on the phone. Give us your name and where you are. This is Radio Biafra. Good evening. Uh, we're speaking with Timothy Ogwen uh, from the Silver Government area. I'm deciding here in London. Thank you. Director, I want to face the phone, welcome you back from Germany. And I uh, want to say Happy New Year in advance. Thank you. Uh, Director, another thing I want to say is that my heart bleeds. I don't know if you're going to be able to get many calls from that because I. I very heavy and and i am near tears having had the documents you read and especially where the 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 the, the, the uk people or the masters of uh, nigeria and say that they purposely arrange so that they can keep us in darkness you know the letter you read is too weighty it is still waiting that uh, nobody can be able to analyze it because this is, you, you are talking about the death and death of millions and millions of people. Not people that died naturally, but people who have died spiritually. People whose life has been hindered for hundred years. People who have tried everything they can, but they cannot 
make it because of because they were set they were under siege because they there is nothing they can they cannot help themselves and i am one of those people believe me i feel like my future was marred by the by what the british people set up this is too heavy i cannot speak and i hope and i, I will just sit here I would just sit here and just see what other people will say. But I, me, I, my dear brother, me. let me make you even more miserable. Because tonight our people must think. Anybody that listens to this very broadcast this evening and doesn't change that person, believe you me. You see what I told you before? That anybody who doesn't believe in Biafra is a Hausa person. I told you. Because the blood they have in them, the Hausa full and the blood in them, is talking to them. Because we are handed over to them hook, line, and sinker. They call it gift wrapped. We were wrapped as a gift and delivered to them. Stay where you are. I will thank you for making it short. I'll read this very passage for you. So this is from, this is Lugard speaking, not me. Let me see. This is the, how many paragraph? One, two, three, four, five. I'm now reading the sixth paragraph of the letter. The speech of Lugard to the people that he converted into animals. The colony and protectorate of Nigeria will be placed under the control of a single officer upon whom His Majesty, meaning the King of, Eng King of England or Britain, has been pleased to confer the title of Governor General, thus indicating the importance of this country among the crown colonies and protectorates of the Empire. That portion which has hitherto been Northern Nigeria will be known in the future as the northern provinces while the protectorate of the southern nigeria will be known as the southern provinces of nigeria each will be under the immediate control of a lieutenant governor responsible to the governor general the colony oh no they are calling you colony a colony that is your name colony the colony in view of its separate status and traditions will preserve a separate identity under an administrator of its own dealing under an administration of its own dealing direct with the governor general for the present the central headquarters will remain at lagos and the governor general will divide his time between the headquarters stations of the north and the southern provinces seventh paragraph his majesty through the secretary of state this is hakoto has been pleased to confer on me the high honor of appointment as governor general i humbly hope that i may be able to discharge the functions of this office the great responsibilities of which i deeply appreciate in such a manner as to deserve his majesty's approval oh dear lord <laughs> hey nigeria my feet take a or command people Thank you very much my dear brother thank you for calling this is radio biafra our lines are open people must be very brief you must be very concise you must go to the point and you must make that point for the world to hear this is radio biafra we are unraveling how the zoo came into existence we promise you we'll do this no other group of people can all of a sudden people are too shocked to even make a call people are shocked to their bones they cannot speak anymore we must report this this is radio biafra give us your name and where you are we are in london hello yes your name and where you are yeah my name is ek Chukwu. i'm calling from munich germany please go ahead this is radio biafra go ahead director i thank you for this great honor you've given to me i let i listened rapidly over all what you have been waiting I believe that any person who doesn't believe in Biafra, who calls himself a Biafra, who doesn't believe in this cause, I don't know if I can call that person. That person is, um, is a, a disgrace to mankind. I thank you for the honor you give to us when you come to Munich here and uh, um, um, everything what you told us and the, um, the meeting with you, it was very, very, very grateful. I am so happy about this. This night, that the that the that the zoo, the, the amalgamation of this particular uh, um, animals together is coming to an end. I thank you for for all the information and all the um, enlightenment you've given you've given to us, the Afrans. 
I believe everybody, wherever they are today, even those in grave, they will rise and turn and turn upside bearing this what you've been reading to us this night. And I believe this is a call to every Biafra to rise up and take up his or her responsibility for this very great cause. Thank you very much once again for giving me this honor. Thank you very much. Very short and very succinct and very direct. I welcome your call. You have spoken very, very well. The Yorubas are now coming out. They are reporting all over the place that they have known all along. Now Radio Biafra is announcing it. They are saying they have known all along. <laughs> we told them we are formidable. We will destroy the entire Yoruba media single-handedly. We'll do it. With a very simple weapon. It's you with truth. We'll do it. Give us your name and where you are. The caller on Skype. This is Radio Biafra. Yeah, hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Director. Good evening. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. this is uh, Oze. We're calling from uh, uh, Germany, Frankfurt. Please go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because I really appreciate uh, your effort in enlightening us uh, uh, on uh, past history, and uh, also so I would like to uh, do a little contribution, and the contribution is uh, with regards to we, the students of history. Yes. How can we be able to get some uh, information with regard to having archive and also leaving it for the students to come. Because what you are informing us this evening, I think that if I study history, I have not been able to know. Uh, yes. So please, director, okay. do us. Uh, your, your line is breaking up, but I understand what you're saying. What you're saying, of course, Germany is rising up. That has always been my fear. If you wake up Germany, you can't control them. But I love them. The same way I love Malaysia. Germany did us proud, I must say it. And our brother is calling from Germany. Germany did us proud. We shall respond to that in a second. We have a caller on the phone. This is Radio Biafra. We're in London. Hello. Yes. Hello, good evening. Good evening, good evening. Uh, my name is Mike uh, Dickey. I'm calling from Nuremberg in Germany. Please go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, I I have been listening to your uh, uh, contributions today on the internet. Yes, turn your system down, please, or walk away from it. Turn it down, or you move to another room because you can only right. hear my voice. Go ahead. It's okay now. All right. What I'm saying is, um, we all are Hebrews and we believe uh, strongly in Biafra and the uh, revolution that might take place in a moment. But my question is this. Do you think there'll be a revolution without a fight? No, there'll be a fight. There must be, there's no revolution in history, there's no revolution without a fight. So we cannot sit here in Europe and, uh, and think that uh, overnight uh, Biafra will take place. I know. You cannot we are going to fight for it. it. We will fight for it. If you've been listening to Radio Biafra, you will know. We, I came to Germany to tell them to prepare to finance it. If you can't come home, you fund those who are prepared to go home to go and fight this very battle for liberation. We must fight. All right. Nice. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yo. Thank you very, very much. Revolution doesn't come by mere talking or wishful thinking. Here, you we are bound and gagged. We have it here. All the evidence you're looking for, I have it here on my hands. Who says that Chukwa Biyama is not God? Who can say that? on the 31st of december 2013 as we are about to enter into the first of january exactly 100 years ago that you god made this speech i have in my hands in the streets of radio biafra the exact document that you god read from we are going to make it available the library of biafra radio biafra library will be the best of its kind on the world if you go there a normal person you will come out with tears because we will educate you we will refine you we will wash your brain and you will come out to a biafran you will learn from history now we understand why we came to england in the first place on this very day i was on my knees and i said to chukwa biama now i understand why i came here i have the document in my hand my work abroad is now complete we are going home. Give us your name and where you are, the caller on the phone. This is Radio Biafra. Give me your name, the caller on the phone. 
Papa. My goodness me, so yeah, yeah. Good, good, good evening, Nandi. Good evening. Turn your system down or you walk away from the room, please. I plead with you. Turn your system down, it's interfering. Turn it down. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Nandi. This is first of Saneko, the PRO um, Biafra in United Kingdom. Please go ahead. First of Aneko, the PRO. Of I know, Biafra Festus, I can hear you. Walk away from your system. You're listening to my voice and listening to your system at the same time. There is a time delay. Yes, I've, yes, I've turned it down. Please go ahead. Yes. Thank you very much, Nandi. I must say very, very thing of what you are doing for Biafra people. God will richly bless you. God will be with you all the days of your life. I will first of all go to announce our meeting that is coming up on the 4th of December 2014. And our meeting place is um, at... Um, sorry. At uh, Edmonton Green Shopping Center. Number 41 to 51 Market Square, Edmonton Green Shopping Center, Tax Institute, Orion Tax Institute, 41 to 51 Market Square, Edmonton Green. The postcode is M9 0UZ. The postcode is L nine zero TZ. The nearest police the uh, nearest station is Edmonton Green Station. And the bus is number R one nine one one nine two two five nine two seven nine three four nine four nine one one oh two one four four and one four nine W eight W C boss. Time is five thirty PM. And I want to thank uh, every different people in the United Kingdom for the marvelous work they've been doing so far. To make sure that our struggle moves on. I say may everybody Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And I want to use this opportunity to tell our people that the time is right for everybody to stand up, do more than what he has been doing before. We've had it all this evening. My heart, I don't know how I'm feeling, but um, we've been carrying this for all these years, and thank God for this time that the end has come. So we're going to match it, but it has to come out now, whether you like it or not. You must come out. You must do something. There must be something you will do. There must be something you must contribute. There must be something that you can be able to do. Nobody should stand back. Nobody should say uh, it doesn't concern. It concerns you. This is our freedom. We have had it. We have had it. How it happened. How they, how they destroyed our life. That is why we are running from Italy to Spain, from Spain to, to Germany, from Germany to England, from running like, you know, sheep without shepherd. For all, more than 100 years, our people are dying, are being killed, being raped, our mentality are being messed up. Oh my goodness. In fact, I'm calling on every Biafra in the in, in, in United Kingdom this night to stand up. To stand up and come out because we are going to fight this to the last. In, in, we are going to fight it to the last end. I'm very, very upset. I'm very, very upset. And I don't know. People have to come out. In fact, we have to fight this. No going, we have to fight it. And no, in fact, I'm, I'm, I don't know how proud this country will, uh, in will be. Hearing what they have done, hearing the kind of criminality they have created, the kind of injustice they have done to a fellow human being like them, to make sure that we 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 we, we are no more.
the time called Chukwa Abiyam, who is with us, who has been keeping us, preserving our own life, even increasing our number up to this day. I thank you once again. Um, 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 thank you, thank you, and God bless all the friends. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. This is Radio Biafra. All our documents will be made available. All the people don't know what we have. I am now praying. I want Yoruba people to give me their finest brain, the most intelligent Yoruba man. If they want, they can bring Shoinka. I want Hausa Fulani people to produce the finest brain they have. I challenge them to a debate on the merits of the zoo. And I tell you, they will not rise up the next morning. We are going to make our books and library available to people. We are going to make sure that the collections we have at our disposal right now, we even have, people don't know what we have. <laughs> My dear Lord in heaven. We have the number of slaves taken from our land and the man, his signature, we have his signature. The John Holt you have, John Holt Trading Company, is actually a slave merchant. All the John Holt you saw as a child, as an adult, was made from the blood of your women, from the blood of your children, from the blood of your uncles, your aunts, your fathers, taken away from your villages to Liverpool. I have the signature of the man that signed away our lives into slavery. We have it. The world will shake. They can never forget Radio Biafra. We promise them that. After we have come, as I told them in Germany, you will not see the likes of us again. Never. Never. This happens once in a lifetime. Because Chukwabiam are determined that we should come. And we are here. They call her on the phone, your name and where you are. This is Radio Biafra. Hello, here is Mecca Mokeri speaking from uh, Odenburg, Germany. Please go ahead. A good director. In fact, after listening to this year, my all my body is just like this is, you know. But I'm trying to, what I'm trying to say, because uh, we live here by experience. Whenever you read each paragraph you read, hit me in body for and introduce me what I've been learning here. Like the speech come on the make that a lot of Britain don't know is true. Even the Germans also they don't know that uh, uh, they don't know a lot what the Germans and the, what the British and what French did to Africa. It's like a new story to them. Some of them they don't know about it. Even when we, somebody says in Niger area, the, the German people will say Niger area. I want to let the people also, the Nigerian people, the, the African people living here, they should start a protesting about this name because if anybody calls somebody Niger here in Germany, you have to go to, you have to pay a fine for that. So, they may call Niger, Niger area. Wow. In fact, direct, what I'm trying to say to the Biafrans, the war started now, and the, the new history have to write now, and the, we have to be publishing this and taking it to the court. We, have, we know how to do it. We know media also do the Bahara report, the Bahara media, and the RDC, what they are media. And most, we, are also, we know what they know. Now new history started, and everybody who is in hand in this, shame we cover the person first. The war is not only taking gone. We have to use it the way they make it. We, we publish it more and show it to the everywhere, so that the shame we cover them. If they don't want to give us the opera, the shame we cover them, because we bring it to their doorstep. We will publish this thing to bring it to their doorstep. Even the children, the new generation of Europeans and the Americans are against what this are against this. Because they don't want to hear that. They don't want to see people suffering like that. Wow. And, uh, let, issue, let me but, make it, um, um, my dear brother, we are keeping it very brief this evening, only two minutes. Because we uh, we want to take as many calls as possible from people. But you are lucky. 
we have something here that was said by Lugard. Anybody that calls, we give them a paragraph if we can. This is, I'm reading now from, not his speech anymore, I'm reading now from the report. Because anyone I quote, I give you the report. I, I'm now reading okay. now on the report on the amalgamation of northern and southern Nigeria by Sir F. Lugard, part one. Introduction and preliminaries to amalgamation, the general character of Nigeria. In this very document I have with me in my hands, Frederick Lugard re referred to the Igbo people as a great people. It is here. Let me see the paragraph is on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'll read. The South was, for the most part, held in thrall by fetish worship and the hideous ordeals of witchcraft, human sacrifice, and twin murder. He's referring to our people. Of course, he's a racist. He has to say this. The great Igbo race to the East. The great Igbo race. To the... This is a white man recognizing the greatness of Igbo people. The great Igbo race to the East. The only people referred to as great in everything Lugard wrote is the Igbo people. I told them in Germany, you don't know who you are. I have it here. Lugard said it. The great... We are great in this. In we are great. From Lugard himself, you are a great people. Even Lugard accepted it, that you are great. He's here, he's written in black and white, as they say. The great oh. Igbo race to the east of the Niger. The great Igbo race is here. They know you're great. Yes. Because Chukwa Biyama has determined that we should come. Because Biafra is coming with us. We told them that we'll use sense, we'll use reason, we'll use logic to divide, decimate, disember the zoological republic of Nigeria. Our facts are here. Nobody can take it away from us. Of course, some are in safe deposit. Even if they come and kill me, even if they kill the entire staff of Radio Biafra, they cannot have it. Biafran children will have it forever and ever. It's here. We have it. They are finished. Completely finished. They are gone. John Holt that you see on the road, John Holt, is a slave merchant. If you walked in John Holt and they paid you this blood money that you're eating, you're eating the flesh and blood of your own people who you are cutted off and sent to Liverpool and from there, God knows what happened to them. John Holt, those who are old as I am will know what John Holt means. John Holt. This is Radio Biafra. We must continue to broadcast. We have to broadcast. But Mr. Mamesu will join me. Because this is very weighty document. Not one, no. Not two, not three. There is plenty. We are going to start the Biafra Library. The finest collection of literature anywhere in Africa. Biafrans will have it. We have it. Now you understand why we need your support. <laughs> Dear Lord in heaven. Give us your name and where you are. This is Radio Biafra. Hello, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Loud and clear. Loud and clear. Okay, this is uh, Peter Ewuzie from Cork in Republic of Ireland. Please go ahead. Uh, Ebo, Ebo Director, um, by the grace of God, I'm the coordinator in Cork. Uh, mm -hmm. May God bless you. May God give you strength. I am praying today that God will give you wisdom and the strength for you to continue for the good work we are doing Thank for you. us. And may God give you good health for you to accomplish this that you have started. I know Chukwa Bioma is with us. Yes. My Father, my God, I pray that God will give you good strength, give you wisdom for Thank you me. to complete it. Uh, director, please continue and uh, may you never, 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 never be discouraged from any word, any statement from anybody. Please. I can never be. Continue your good work. I can never be. Will bless you. Thank uh, you very much. The whole Biafra, I apply, I'm, I'm appealing to the whole Biafra in Cork, in the Republic of Ireland. Uh, we did our meeting last Sunday and it, it goes very well, it went very well. I encourage them to, those that couldn't make it because of one problem or the other, they should endeavor to make themselves available in next meeting by 
January. The cock is moving and the Biafra has come and Biafra will stand. Director, God bless you. And God you. bless the whole Biafra, the whole world. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much, ma'am. Reporting from Frederick Lugard's amalgamation of Northern and Southern Protectorates of Nigeria that gave birth to the zoo you know today as Nigeria. I am reading from the fifth. He paragraphed it. Let me see. Number one. This is num point number one. Subheading number two. Subheading number three. Subheading number four. Sub Barista, are you with me? Barista, are you with me? No, I will try to establish contact with him. We are reading from number five. Necessity for amalgamation. This is the only reason why today the house of Fulani people are ruling you. According to Luke, this is what Luga wrote, not Radio Biafra, not us. We are not interpreting anything. This is from the horse's mouth, from Lugard. This was a submission to the Secretary of State based in London. Necessity. Why was amalgamation necessary? Why was it necessary that 3.5 million people were hurt to death? Why is it necessary that you're running away from your land? We will now want to tell you why you became a Nigerian. Why? Such, in brief, were the antecedents which had given to the North and South their divergent characteristics and policies. In 1906, a further step in amalgamation was effected in the South. Southern Nigeria and Lagos became one administration under the title of the colony and protectorate of Southern Nigeria. From this date, the material prosperity of the South increased with astonishing rapidity. They became rich. The liquor duties increased from three cents in 1901 to three cents and six, three SD, whatever that means in their currency. In 1905, I should investigate. They were making a lot of money giving us whiskey from Scotland and charging us money for it. It yielded the sum of 1.138 million in 1913, the South made. The North, now listen very carefully. The North, the Awosa, largely dependent on annual grant from the imperial government, was barely able to balance its budget with the most parsimonious economy and was starved of the necessary staff and unable to find funds to house its officers properly. The dependency of Hausa Fulani people on the south did not start today. They have always depended on you. They never had any money. Never. Abdul Salami Abubakar, Danjuma, Sultan of Sokoto, Dangote, Dan Tata, Ibrahim Gasuki, all of them, they never had anything from the beginning. They had nothing. They were poor. That was why they amalgamated us with them. So that the British can pay their officers in the north. That's all. It's here. According to Lugard, not me. It is here. The north, we are largely dependent. They had nothing. They were largely dependent on money given to them by the British. How was our Fulani had nothing? They were poor from the beginning. They shall be poor once again. They are wretched people. Poor, wretched people. They had no money. This is Lugard talking, not me. The North, largely dependent on the annual grant from the imperial government was barely able to balance its budget how was that people had no money and because they had no money they had to join the two together because you can't keep robbing peter to pay paul 
they had to join us together so they can take money from the south and take to the north it's still happening till today you know i told you that history has a way of repeating itself every day we live with this reality we have the documents now it is going to be the finest library you have ever seen when you go in there you won't want to come out some of the money you give us we use it to get acquire all these documents we don't need the investigative work we did for this and we prayed and Chukwu Abiyama directed us and today we have it nobody has this document no professor of history sultan of Sokoton, good luck jonathan what we have they don't have it and we're here and they can never have it because we are blessed even lugard said we are great so when i used to tell you before that you're special people you don't even know yourselves you thought i was joking now look at have said it maybe you can believe it and join us to go and get biafra nobody can stop us and we will see what will happen this time around when they hear our sound they will run away this is radio biafra we have a caller on the phone you will give us your name where you are we're in london hello director yes please go ahead I want to say once again, I salute your courage. May God continue to bless and protect you. That you may never lose joy. Thank you. After listening to your news and comments and analysis, and I felt it was to call on the dear friends in UK and Manchester in particular. It is now time for every dear friend to come out. We do dear friends headquartered in London, in UK. And we are struggling to establish local branches of indigenous people of Biafra. I'm calling on Biafra in cities such as Leeds, Conventry, Birmingham, and the rest to step out and join this struggle. It is not enough to sit in the comfort of your homes to listen to the Biafra. Your presence and contributions are needed. It's me now. The Germans are coming up. And all the people that start expanding. And we are in UK here, we are the independent supporters. We are still acting behind. I think it is time for everybody to start it so. In Manchester here, we had a meeting last week, on Friday to be precise. And then um, we are going, we are coming up. And um, I'm calling as well on the arrest, those who are sitting on the fence, to come out. And then um, the meeting is coming up again on the 10th of January. Which I mean, the announcement will still be made, but it is time, wherever you are, whoever in Manchester is listening to this radio now, hearing my voice, it is time to come out. Sitting on the fence is not an option anymore. Here is the telephone number for the Manchester area. There's a telephone number for our coordinator, which is 078 27 43 46 49. And there's another one for our PRO, which is 074 Please, whatever you are in Manchester, announcement will be made. We have a new venue. We all have our permanent ministers now. Please, wherever you are, call any of these numbers and join this struggle. Thank you so much, Director. Thank you very much. You've done very well. We have somebody on the coordinator's line and we must go to him or her. Give us your name and where you are. This is Radio Biafra. Can you hear me? Can you hear me, the caller on the coordinator's line? No, they can't hear me. They yes, can you hear me, please? I do apologize. Go ahead. I can hear you. Go ahead, please. Your name and where you are. Okay, my name is Charles Ibebogo. I call him from Cook Island. Please go ahead. The office of that, the office of that I'm the recorder, um, uh, PRO of Cook Branch. Please go ahead. I, I, want to, I want to give you thanks and I want to thank God for your journey mercy coming back from the London. My director will support you with, uh, whatever or all in our effort we are, we are making. We are coming out. We have our meeting according, according to uh, my um, my code matter. Just say uh, about uh, the person called before the, the last uh, the last call, caller. Yes. So we have our meeting. Our people are coming out. We are supporting for this our struggle. My 
Mike Adnata, we thank you. We, we pray for your for your life and your the, the, the entire members of, members of the Radio Biafra, which are my friend, um, Barista Mamezu, and the Carol Mondo. Thank you. We thank you, you people all. Uh, Thank you. Thank you, my daughter. We Thank are you. coming at We are full support of your, your well effort. Thank you very much. Thank you. I Thank have you. not much to say. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. We have another caller on the line. Give us your name and where you are. The caller on the phone. This is Radio Hello. Biafra. Yes, go Hello. ahead. Yes, hello. Hello. Yes, we can hear you. Go ahead. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. My name Please, no, yes. yes, turn your system down or you walk away from the room where you are. There is a time delay between my voice getting to you on the system you're listening with and my voice coming okay. to you on your phone. The phone okay. is faster, so you go away somewhere so there's no interference. Please go ahead. Thank you. Uh, I am calling from Germany. My name is uh, uh, Chineke Maizem Landy. Yes. I'm, I'm so happy you got by on Facebook. Thank you very much. You were with me last night. By this time, you were was with me, yes. Life and soul, thank you. Man, uh, I've always said it. You keep, you keep mesmerizing me and the entire nation of uh, Biafra. Man, I'm crying. My heart is weeping. And I know the heart of all Biafra. Everywhere in the world, our hearts are weeping. This revolution tonight, is something terrible and please i want you to do me a favor yes go ahead we must broadcast this for a whole month because you know what tonight is so many people are somewhere hanging out trying to celebrate the new year coming so many people may not be late. we must broadcast this for a whole month man this is easy man this is the one thing that will happen to a race anywhere on the planet so, and we must make sure we get this information to all the civil houses in every, in every government in the world. We approach or apply uh, what I usually call modern revolution, and then we take the part of war if they don't listen. And um, I am here saying to all the friends, we, we must carry the information everywhere in the world against the BBC and, uh, and CNN for keeping government after hearing all this, all this human act done to a, a race. We must carry demonstration, peaceful demonstration or even worldwide in any city here in Western world against all these media houses because this is terrible. It is terrible. It is terrible. Yes. It is terrible. And you know, I, I've always told you, that I said and I told people, now the time you are the daily of our time. This is impossible. Something like this to come from a human, you are a genius. I extend the time, at this moment, my greetings to the barrister and, uh, and the powerful lady over there, uh, Carol Monday. Keep up the good work you're doing. We are behind you. Of course, I know so many people are calling now. So I may not stay on telephone longer than necessary, but I keep coming on phone if you need be. Yes. But I want to tell you one thing, keep it up. We are behind you. There is no going back. It has costed our life. Even if it comes to costing our life again, we are there, we are prepared. The whole world must be here. This. this revolution must come into some kind of format where we move around in every city we are, giving it to young and old, in whichever language they speak. Whatever it takes, we must do that. This is easy, man. My heart is weeping. I am crying. Anybody who has respect for my life, must cry over this. So, may I raise my case for now? Like I said, I'll get back to you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you very much. You're a good man. You were with me yesterday, and also you're with me today via the phone. This is Radio Biafra. We are going to the line, the caller on Skype. You will give us your name and where you are. We are Radio Biafra. <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, Director. Uh, my name is Osita Okeke, calling from Thailand. Yes, Osita, go ahead. Uh, 
uh, on behalf of my fellow Biafans in Thailand, uh, we said uh, Happy New Year to all of you, my fellow Biafans all over the world, uh, from Thailand, because uh, it's already morning here, we are already in 2014 here, Director. Yes. And uh, we are just coming back from the burial ceremony of the zoo, yes. which we celebrated here today. And uh, I must tell you, Director, that uh, I was so much ashamed after listening to the upcoming how they created the zoo today that i was so much ashamed to the extent i opened this ma i myself i answered the nigeria for one day so my brothers and sisters from all over the world i call upon each and every one of you who is here and who have heard how we have been how we have been debated how we have been Yes, Ezra, can you hear me? Hi, Ezra. Oh, oh Lord, that I must do that. Very, very angry. We are, we are going to destroy. We are going to eat our last to make Hey, Ezra, Ezra, your line is not very clear. Call us back. Give us your name and where you are. The caller on Skype, please, very briefly, two minutes, if you may. Hello. Yes, your name and where you are. This is Radio Biafra. My name is Frank Chibike Ebel. And where are you calling from? From Dakar, Senegal. From Dakar is in Senegal. Dakar, Please go Senegal. ahead. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, thank you. Um, Director, I thank you very much. I, I really can't find the right words to express my gratitude and my, my, my happiness. I'm really proud of you, honestly. I don't know who have done this uh, except you. I thank you very, very much for all the efforts you are putting in uh, liberating our people. Thank you very much. Actually, I have a few things I wanted to say, but uh, let me first ask this question. Um, you, I just came in now, and um, I don't uh, actually know the... I didn't start from the beginning when you started uh, this um, broadcast. Then when you, started reading, when you started reading the documents. But I, I, suggest but, you, uh, I, just, I suggest you listen for a while, my dear brother, and call us back. Only a while. Listen, I will call again, and I'll take your call. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. The caller on the phone, your name and where you are, please. Hello, good evening, brother. Good evening. Here is uh, Eric Uchechuku, a Kinesian. I'm calling from Bremen. From Bremen. is in Germany. Oh, yes, yes, go ahead. Go ahead. First, I just want to tell you that uh, I just want to thank God for the journey you on you. your behalf. Thank you. That's a really good man. Mm. Thank you. Well, first of all, I don't, I don't, I just want to make my statement just very, very brief. I just want to say that I'm very, very impressed. This message has to go to Wazrika and Co. Look at what they have pursued for donkey years, deceiving people. It takes you for what, a year and one, a year and one, one, a year and some months for you to derive all this information that they need to, they need to know. That is a wonderful. That shows that the, the wrath of God is upon the up, or, 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 is upon uh, 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 Britain and the entire uh, 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 British people for knowing this truth and kept it for a while. The only thing that I, ha I have to say it is only God. This is just the beginning. They know that the, the God of Chukwu Biyama is, is on our side. So there is. It's very, very angry of all everything that they have done. Thank God we have someone like you. And I want to use this opportunity to challenge the idiot that was, that was, uh, that was speaking on um, the television yesterday. Called, called himself Pane Kayodo and whatever. Saying about all sorts of problems against the dog Jonathan. I want to, I want to tell him if he's a man, let him come out and challenge you. That is what I, that is what I'm, uh, that is a word that I want to, Deliver to him. He is an idiot. Let him come out. I heard him saying that whatever we do everything, they would also people they would, the Muslim uh, brother. They will do everything to say that they, they, they join Nigerians together as a one nation. Then I just said, I, I say, I, I said it. I said that in my mind. Okay, keep uh, keep it up. Bring out all the whole money that you have stolen, including including your so-called outside people. Bring, bring it 
and, and, and let's raise a fight against us. See what it will result. My, my dear brother, he's not yes. an intelligent man. I want to debate Wilesha Inka. I don't. I can't debate okay. him. He's not intelligent. For Panika, that does kiss and tell. He's an idiot. Yes, I bring back in the mechanic. My son will debate him. In the mechanic, will debate him, not me. I want to debate the finest brains that Yorubas can produce. I will remind Yoruba people that they are more divided than anybody thought. This is according to Lugard. Yoruba people distinguish themselves from each other. They are not together. Lugard never made any reference to Ibibio, no reference to Efik, everything from the both banks of the Niger going down refer to them as Igbo people. Lugard. The Yorubas had the Jebus, the Egbas, and the Yoruba people. Three distinct people there. Egba, um, um, Ijebu, and Yoruba. The people don't know this, do they? We are radio, Biafra, we are enlightened and we educate. They have the temerity to come and divide us, calling them uh, a Bendel Igbo, Delta Igbo. Yoruba will not tell you that Ijebu, Egba, and Yoruba are not the same. They can't tell you that, will they? This is Radio Biafra. We must go to the coordinator's line to take a call. Give us your name and where you are. We are in London. Go ahead. Uh, my name is Odenibo, calling from the United States. You are welcome to the program. We Thank have you. One, something you will deliver to them when you go to the conference. It will be like a nuclear bomb. We have the original amalgamation documents. You will deliver it to the people of the zoo when you go there. Please go ahead. All right. Um, Namdi, may God continue to bless you. Amen. Thank you. I want to congratulate the people of Biafra on the successful achievement of the first stage of the restoration effort. That stage will be at midnight tonight when the legal document attacking Biafra to that is for me uh, the restoration of Biafra de Jure. Uh, if uh, Barista Mamadou um, can come to my help, de yes. Jure. Yes. Then there will be the restoration de facto, uh, which will begin in January next year. Yes. So we are perhaps halfway or quarter way to our destination. Now, um, I want also to plead with you uh, to give this uh, Lugel speech uh, as wide a publicity as possible. Let we, people we know. We will. Yeah, let people know what happened. And um, um, it is happening, isn't it, to note that even as early as 1940, when people were still in the dark, there were serious opposition to the fraud called Nigeria. Yes. 1912 and 1919. Yes. And that opposition is what we are carrying on today. Very simple. Nothing has changed. Our forefathers did their best, but the British ignored them. But uh, they have done so to their own detriment, really. So... All I'm saying, congratulations to all, congratulations to all Biafrans and all lovers of peace and unity among Biafrans all over the world. Thank you, uh, Coordinator, um, Director. You are very Thank kind. You. When people hear your voice, they say it's like the voice of an angel. That is the closest, that is the closest they get to an angel. We Thank are humbled and we are delighted that we are blessed with people like you and Dr. Justin Akujese. Because I'm sure when Frederick Lugard said the great Iboris across, oh dear Lord, he had men like you in mind. And we are humbled, we are honored, and we thank Chukwu Abiyama for everything because the zoo is ending. Thank you very much and God bless you. Thank you, Director. Thank you. Bye. This is Radio Biafra. We must continue to preach this gospel. We have to preach it. Give us your name and where you are, the caller on the phone. We are in London. Yeah, hello. Good evening, Landy. Uh, my name is uh, Godwin Ezekwe. I'm calling from Germany. Which part of Germany are you in, dear brother? Yeah, yeah. I'm in Mannheim. In Mannheim, please go ahead. Yeah. 
Um, Mandy, I'm saying thank you. Um, we have had what uh, everything that the British has done to us. I mean, what Lugard and his girlfriend and others has done to us. I'm using this opportunity to call on the British people to talk to their government so that they will give us Biafra. If they refuse to do so, they should get ready because we are going down to Nigeria to destroy that place. We will destroy Nigeria. There is no doubt about it. We will destroy Nigeria. There is no doubt about it. Of course we will. Germany is with us. So <laughs> we want peace. If they don't want to give us peace, we will destroy that place. And if we destroy that place, it will affect everywhere in the world because of the, a lot of refugees, Jews, millions of refugees, Jews, and they say that will not solve the problem. We will destroy Nigeria. So I am pleading to them that they should give us Biafra. We have suffered a lot. We have suffered a lot. Our forefathers suffered the same thing over 100 years up to this date. And we are still suffering. This. My kids cannot go through all this again. So they should give us Nigeria. Yeah. Uh, they should give us Biafra. I agree Thank with you. you. Thank you and God bless you. I like what is coming out of Germany. I like it so much. I knew they would wake up. The same way that your Denny was in the USA. Clifford Urania is there. Moses Mibo is in the US. We have men there as well. Akujeze is there. One man is there too. We want United States to rise up and match what Germany is doing. And that will be the final piece of jigsaw in place. The funding we require will be in place and we go and meet our enemies head on. Everything we say we will do, we've done. The amalgamation document is with us. What else do you want? This is the clearest sign from heaven that what we are doing is right before God and before man. Nobody has this, not even good Lord Jonathan. And we're here. The documents we have, the documents I'm surrounded by, is, is is worse than than a bomb is is worse than dynamite nobody has it only us that goes to show that god is with us give us your name and where you are the caller on the phone this is radio biafra hello director d johnson carlo from manchester please go ahead yeah. and uh, that i wanted to thank you for the way from um Germany to back to london here yeah? i said thank you very much and also thank Kalamonde and Batman Mezu. And also I'm happy to hear the voice of a journey boy this night. I say God bless all of you in Jesus' name. Amen. And also, um, Director, um, I don't even know what you said. I just want to say thank you for educating me this night. I'm very educated this night from you. From all these informations that you've been given this night. I just said, let God Almighty keep on dear man, keep on guiding you and protecting you for all these educations that they are giving us this night. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you very, very much. And the education must continue. This is Radio Biafra. If you're joining us, please tell those around you. People are calling and saying, oh, we can't get in. Ask them to go to peopleofbiafra.org. It has an overspill. Our website is heaving with too much traffic. So some may not get it. Ask them to go to indigenouspeopleofbiafra.org. I have asked TK Chikwe Nyago, Karamonde. Keep posting this every five minutes. People should go to the sister website and listen to us there. This education must continue. We promise that we shall deliver it. I have here in my hands the words of Mrs. Lugard. What she said, why she fell in love with Hauser people. This was the woman that gave you to Hauser to control. And I'll tell you why she did it. On what she said, what Mrs. Lugard said, it is evident 
that civilization did not start in Europe, it started in Africa. Because by the time the warriors in England were fighting with bows and arrows, there were armies in Borano fighting with muskets. Not from Radio Biafra, from Mrs. Lugard, it is here, and I shall read it. So the world will know. We have a treasure trove. We have something that other people do not have. We must read it. People must listen. If you don't have a pen and paper, I feel very, very sorry for you. But we must read it. But at the same time, the state of the north before Lugard must be depicted as one of chaos and decadence from previous heights. And the impression must be left that the coastal areas were a sink of iniquity and a wretched failure of British administration. This is the conspiracy. This is the plan they hatched. I'll read it again. British, their plan is here. I'm reading it, not my words. This is from them. This is by one Sir Alfred Jones, who was determined as much as possible to overlook the achievements of Southern Nigeria and in trying to boost Northern Nigeria. The name of this person is Sir Alfred Jones of Liverpool Steamer. These are the ones taking the slaves and going, bringing them to Liverpool. The people and the states of northern Nigeria were described. The Hausas had seven legitimate states, others were illegitimate, only the Hausa land, to which had been added illegitimate states. I'm reading verbatim. Many of the principal states of Nigeria, which stretched almost to the southern coast, there was Bruno. People must listen carefully, please. Listen very, very carefully. In the time of Queen Elizabeth of England, that is Queen Elizabeth the first, not the second, many 14 something, when England's arsenals contained chiefly bows and arrows, Boranu possessed an institution obviously regarded by Lady Lugard, who is the daughter of a general and also married to Lugard, who is a general. He looked at them with special approval. And this is her own words. A standing army equipped with muskets. On the Fulani people, she added just a few words. Speculating from a moment on their unknown origin, nobody could tell where Fulani people came from. Not even the woman that called in Nigeria. They are not Jewish. They are not Phoenician. They are not Indian. They are not Roman or Egyptian. And noting their ascendancy and power in these cunningly chosen words. Fulani want to rule wherever they go. Even Lady Lugard knew this. Florence Lugard knew this. In dealing with them, this is her own words. This is now Lady Lugard speaking. In dealing with them and with their houses, we seem to be in the presence of one of the great fundamental facts of history that there are races which are born to conquer and others to persist under conquest. Fulani people are born to conquer, Hausa people are born to be submissive to their conquerors. They, I'll continue to read. Yet these are the words of Lady Lugard, please, not my words, the words of Lady Lugard. We have all the documents from Frederick Lugard and the wife. We have it already, therefore. No other person has this, only us. Yet, I'm continuing to read from Lady Lugard. Yet, both are persistent races, and it will be curious and interesting to see what development each will take under a rule at once stronger and more powerful than they have ever known. Mrs. Lugard is now experimenting with them, saying we want to see amongst two of them who will succumb first to foreign British rule or who will make trouble the most for them. That was from Mrs. Lugard. Florence Lugard. This is Radio Biafra. We must proceed. The caller on the phone, give us your name and where you are. This is Radio Biafra. On a night, we are educating humanity.
Please go ahead. The caller on the phone, can you hear me? The caller on the phone, can you hear me? No, they can't. They cannot hear me. When they wake up, they shall come back to me. Uh, maybe they were testing our lines. This is Radio Biafra. Once again, if you're joining us, our lines are open. We know people are listening. We know they are moved by what they're hearing. But this is Radio Biafra. It's our job to move you. Give us your name and where you are. The caller on the phone. This is Radio Biafra. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear Please you. Please turn your system down or you move away from me. This is Radio Biafra. Go ahead. Yes, yes, I'm Ramel Okay. Calling from Hamburg, Germany. Thank you very much. Did you come out to see me when I was in Hamburg? Yes, I was there. Thank you very much. Please go ahead. Yes, I was there. But first of all, our program in Hamburg was a little bit poor. was not well organized from the people that handled it but anyway that's not your problem and uh, we appreciate your work we appreciate uh, what you're doing and it's very very important and very very nice so you can see and testify by yourself that all the whole evils are longing and crying deeply to see that Biafra is regained back Therefore, we are looking forward for that. And, um, you know, it will not be very... The war, what we are doing right now is that the case whereby we want to fight a war, good. And it's not an easy war, as you can see. Good. And we don't want to lose any single dam thing we are doing this is why we don't want to waste our energies even we coming out is a big energy therefore i will appreciate if you can wherever you go spend time talk to the people let the people understand and bring their own opinion this is very 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 important i will not like you to run around Maybe trying to be jack of all trade and master of none. Please. Wherever you go, water the grass or maybe the plants you planted. Let the people bring out their opinion, bring out their ideas, what they want to do, what they want to give, what, whatsoever. Make sure you got the people before moving. We know you are very, very busy with this radio Biafra communication. This case is propagating this, which is very, very, very important. For example, when you came to Hamburg, I could have appreciated if we spend time enough after you spend this time, we all will make a time to march in the central Hamburg city to create an awareness this Christmas time that we are alive that Biafra is still existing. I still have in my house the newspaper written those years ago. Written by the German journalist. So I appreciate that. That is very, 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 very important. I have a lot to say, but I cannot talk about it right now. I would appreciate to visit your program once more again when you'll be around. So thank you very much. And God bless you. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. This is Radio Biafra. Everybody is entitled to the opinion. We may not agree with it, but you have every right to say it all the same. We spread the news, this gospel of Biafra, according to this radio station, that the world may hear, that they may know that there is a people called Biafrans. And that they, in their infinite wisdom, may be aware of what we are doing because we are not going to beg anybody. Our lines are crashing all over the place. Even Skype itself has crashed as well due to the volume of calls. People are listening to the finest education series they can ever encounter in their lifetime 
we are telling them how they we are made it's like going back in time and unraveling the secret of god's creation we don't only have lugard's papers we have what the wife said as well we have it no other person does when does on win you will give us your name and where you are this is radio beer for the color of sky please hello yes your name and where you are please uh, my name is uh, Bonta Face to Zone. I'm calling you from Malaysia. From where are you calling from? Where are you calling from? I'm calling you from Malaysia. From Malaysia, please go ahead. Yes, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, uh, Director Nandi, uh, I just want to ask a question. I said, who give uh, Lord Luca or whatever they call him and his wife for the authority? And uh, I'm again with us because I'm just crying and I'm hearing what they're talking about. The order came from one man. His name is Cecil Harcourt. They named Port Harcourt after him. He is Cecil Harcourt. And the reason why they named Port Harcourt after him was because there was a problem where to site the terminal from the north. Is it going to be in Bonny or in Port Harcourt? They were playing politics between Glover and Lugard. Lugard said, I was the person that chose this very place and to impress the ogre at the top in London, the Secretary of State, Cecil Harcourt, he named it Port Harcourt. Yeah. It's him, Cecil Harcourt gave the order. So he is the Supreme God. No, he's the Holy Spirit. Lugard is the is the God. Then this other one is Holy Spirit. And Lugard's wife is the son, making the Trinity that gave birth to the zoo called Nigeria. Nigeria, in fact, Nigeria is the name. Please go ahead. So as uh, Nigeria is expired yesterday, we have a meeting on the shop. So as they told us, and I, as, I, as I know that Nigeria is already expired, what is the next thing or what is our condition with the effort now? Are you listening to this radio station? Yes, I'm listening. Then I suggest you keep on listening because here you will get everything you need to know. Keep on listening and you hear what we are going to do. Our people are in Malaysia and they will also tell you what we are doing. We have a caller on the phone. Your name and where you are. This is Radio Biafra. What is going on? The caller on the phone. Can you hear me? We have a caller on the phone. Can you hear me? No, they can't. But, but exactly, it's gone. I can hear the sound, the termination sound, but not um, not not what they're saying. I don't know. I suggest they try and call us back. Our lines are jammed, of course, because a lot of people are calling. They are calling. They want to be part of this very program. And please, we suggest you listen for a while before you contribute. Germany is taking over our lines, and we welcome that. Give us your name and where you are, the caller on the phone. Hello, Mr. Director. This is Ozemenam speaking from Germany, Cologne. Ozemenam is our coordinator in Cologne and he's one of us. He's a great man. Please go ahead. Uh, director, uh, in fact, my heart is broken this evening, you know. For many of our brothers who don't believe in where they come from, especially the land called Biafra. Look at what Lord Lugard says, we are the great, and we are the greatest in this world. I never believe that there's no one greater than me except Chukwu Abiyama, you know, because most of our people, they are still in doubt. They don't know what we are doing. They don't know that they are free. They don't know what is called freedom. They don't know the way to fight for their freedom. They believe in living in Europe, making their money, shipping their containers, sending their cars, and then building their houses in Danzu, Nigeria. But this time around, Director, you broke my heart because tonight, we in Cologne, we are going to bury that name called the Zoo, Nigeria. Tonight, at 12 o'clock, Danzu will bury it. We are all ears around the world right now. You can hear me saying that tonight, we are burning that name. That name will never exist again in our mouths. The name that will exist in our mouths from 12 o'clock in the night will be Biafra. 
can I wear that it's Nigeria flag? If you if you're a Biafran, you have a Nigeria flag anywhere in your home, you are trying to wear the flag during the World Cup, please burn that flag tonight. Because we are waving our flag at from twelve o'clock tonight. The, the sun will be shining. That rising sun, that rising sun will be lifting up tonight. And we are in our knees praying for the whole different youth all around the world, especially here in Europe, who are still in doubt. They should come to Colonel and see what is going to happen. We are burning tonight. We are destroying tonight. We are burning tonight. That name called Zulu, Nigeria, tonight. Professor, Director, I will rest my case here because my heart is broken. Thank you very much. Thank you, but don't go away. Don't rest your case. You have brought up a very good suggestion. You know when they play football around this part of the world, people put small, small flags on their cars, on the window of their cars. Yes. That is what we want everybody to do. I will do so myself. We are going to make available small Biafran flags. You wind it up. It's winter in Europe. It's a very yes. small flag. You put it up on your window. You wind it up. It will be flying on your window. Biafran flags must be everywhere. In and around the whole world. Wherever you yes. are, if you are driving, you put Biafran flag on your window. You wind it up. It will be fluttering in the air as you are driving. That they may know we exist. That Biafra has yes, come yes. to stay. We are here analyzing. I have the precise place here in front of me. In these documents here, I have about me how the name Port Harcourt came to be. It's here. It is here. Yeah, I had it, director. I had it. So my heart is broken because how can a man from uh, uh, nowhere come into our land and trying to speak? What, what, what God has meant, trying to show us the way they want, trying to create and call the names that they want to call, and trying to, you know, revelate their names on us, trying to force us to do what we don't want to do, trying to put our, our culture, trying to, that is, I'm full of ways. I'm, I'm angry right now, you know, I'm angry. For those of my brothers in Germany who came into a country where we were visited off, yeah, we were there together. For some people who walked away, and in, in, in Hamburg, some people who refused to give their names. You know, director, I'm, I'm angry right now. I feel like to be on the trigger right now. I understand that we all feel the same. That is why we are here. Thank you very much. Keep up doing the good work. Ike you will instruct all the coordinators. Tell them there is a very small plasticky flag that they do. There is a, something they put on it. You can put it on your window and you wind it up. If you are driving, it will be fluttering. Please, we are telling you it is not against the law. Biafra has every right to exist under international law by virtue of the expiration of the zoo. Nothing will happen to you if you refuse to fly our flag. You're a coward. We broadcast radio Biafra from the seat of the people that caused this chaos. And I'll be flying Biafra flag in the car when I drive. Everybody must do so. Everybody must do so. Everybody must do so. That they may know that Biafra has come to stay. You cannot delete us. Somebody who is not from Iguacha, he is not from Okrika, he is not from Eleme, he is not from Elele. This man doesn't come from anywhere close by, but today Iguacha is known by his name. And you are asking me to accept that? It's impossible. The name is Iguacha. That is the name. Not Harcourt. Harcourt was the man that gave the go-ahead for Satan to do his bidding. We must confront evil regardless of where it's coming from and we must defeat it. That goes to tell the world that you're the children of God to be defeated. Give us a name and where you are. We have a caller on coordinator's line, please. Your name and where you are. We are Radio Biafra. Good evening, Director. Are you talking to me? I am speaking to you. You are welcome to the program. Please, you may proceed. Good evening, Director. This is Oscar Chukoma, coordinator for Sweden. Calling. Thank you very much. Go ahead. Uh, Director, I want to thank you for the good work you are doing. And I also want to thank you for the great journey you went to Germany and delivered the good news to them. I did. And, and they uh, are with us. They are with us. Yeah. Germany is with us. Go ahead. 
Germany people, I thank you people for the good work you have hosted our director for going to one week, for being with you people. I give you people a very good kudos. Take good care of yourself here in Germany. And I also want to thank you director for the good work you do to every dear friend, the good message you deliver to each one of us. In fact, when I hear your voice, I feel marvelous. I feel like my days have been completed. And also thank Chukwa Bema for bringing you back to the this destination where you are in London, that, that your work, will, your mission will continue. And wherever you are going from London, Chukwa Bema will continue to guide you and protect you in Jesus' name. Amen. I also want to... I'm very happy for speaking to Radio Biafra this evening because I'm just smiling in two hours time, in Swedish time, the Nigerian called the zoo will be expiring. And in fact, I am very glad to call this night and say this. And in two hours time, I will be flying my flag that ah, everything in Nigeria is illegal and we can do whatever we want to crush that country crumble and i also want to take my my Biafran family in sweden for their great work they are doing for their marvelous out and they are coming out when we have our meeting they are contributing donating making sure that we actualize this our country that is coming which is Biafra. and i also want to enlighten them that this saturday coming that we are going to have our meeting as usual and uh, they have posted it in our facebook page a Biafran in Sweden Facebook page so everybody should take note and be online during that time and that I also to I also I also want to tell you that we have already sent our monthly contribution to you people and it's already confirmed it's confirmed we've seen it it's been seen yes we've seen it yeah so but I don't have much to say the only thing I want to say is that I am happy that Nigeria is expiring today in fact it's very I'm so happy and God will continue to bless you for the good news you are broadcasting to the world. And also God will protect Odenibo who has spoken this night. And Barista Imam Mezu, Ike Chukwe Nyago, and Uche Mefo. And all, all, all the whole people of Radio Biafra Editorial Board, God will continue to bless you people and protect you in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen and amen and amen. And thank you for that. Before I go to the barrister, I will take this call. The caller on the phone, give us your name and where you are. The caller on the phone, can you hear me? No, they cannot. Maybe they are testing our lines. Let's go there. Barrister, please stay with me. We have a caller on Skype. Is that correct? The caller on Skype, can you hear me? No, they cannot. Yeah. They are testing our lines. Please Let's turn go. your system down. Turn it down, please. If you're speaking to me, you will turn it down. Caller on Skype, is that correct? Yeah. Go ahead, please. Turn your system down. Go ahead and say what you want to say. Your name and where you are, please. Turn your system down. Turn it down, please. If you're speaking to me, you will turn it down. Oh, dear Lord in heaven. Give us your name and where you are. The caller on the phone. This is Radio Biafra. Hello. Yes, your name and where you are, please. Oh, hi. My name is Becky. I'm calling from um, Milton King. From Milton Kings. You're welcome to the yes, program. That's the United Kingdom. Yes, Thank please. You. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes, go ahead. Right. Um, I just, I'm just so happy. I'm just so excited about what is happening today. Um, I'm happy we're going to have a country called Biafra, and I'm happy to be a member and a citizen of Biafra. But what I want to ask is this really coming, what is happening in Nigeria at the moment? Have they really recognized this country called Biafra, or are we still fighting for it? We are still fighting for it. They have not recognized us. And we are not seeking for them to recognize us. It is for us to enforce every instrument that will lead us towards the safe establishment of the sovereignty of the Republic of Biafra. Okay. So we are still fighting for it. There is no, okay. what, what we are celebrating today mm -hmm. is the 100 years anniversary mm -hmm. of the establishment of the Zoological Republic of Nigeria by one man and one man alone, Frederick Lugard. That's what we're doing. Okay. Into. As oh, a matter okay. of fact, I, we must make it clear, my dear sister, as a matter of fact, no formal treaty document exists. There is no treaty. Okay. There was no treaty between the Northern and the Southern Protectorate. This is the mistake that some of the Yoruba media are making. There is no treaty, no. What Lugar did, because 
the place you call Nigeria belongs to the British. They own it, it's their protector, it's their colony, they own it to do with as they please. So they decide who to march together, who to remove. It's like a pawn. I don't know if you have Lego land in your house. People play kids playing with it. They decide which piece goes where. If they decide to cut away Calabar, it's their business to do. It doesn't concern anybody. That okay. experiment resulted in the joining up of the North and the South. People at that time protested. But Mrs. Lugard loved the fact that Fulani people are conquerors. The, her father was a general. She married a general in the shape of Lugard. Then she loves war. She loves people killing people. She loves war. So she said, why don't we hand over these uh, monkeys from the south to these people? Why we sit about and watch them? Today we celebrate the end of that nonsense. Called okay, Nigeria. We are still fighting, of course, we are fighting on returns. We will get our full sovereignty. We will definitely get there one day. My dear Lord, of course we will. We will. In okay. Before the 1st of January 2016, there will be Biafra or Nigeria as you know it will be like Somalia. Take one. They have to take one. Okay. Okay. Because we All right, that's right. thank you very much. Thank you for calling and God All bless right, you. Thank you. All right, thank darling. you very much, Barrister. My Mezu was with me. The barrister left me. I was calling him, I couldn't find him. But I'm sure I have been able to find him now. Barrister, please confirm that you're with me, please. Barrister Man Mezu, can you hear me? No, he cannot hear me. He cannot hear me. The barrister has gone missing. The barrister is sleeping on duty on a day like this. Give us your name and where you are. The caller on the phone. This is Radio Biafra. Hello? Yes, your name and where you are, please. My name is Paul Elagote. I am calling from Dakar, Senegal. Dakar in Senegal. We have strong people there. Please go ahead. Yeah, uh, I just want to thank you for the wonderful job that you can uh, examine for connecting our people and the way that they, they, they treated you and following the program I see how you people do uh, things and the way they the way they uh, uh, treat you I'm very very grateful and I want to thank you for your work I think that the honor of people continue to bless you which is what's best Amen and Amen and Amen thank you very much yeah. Yeah, but I don't have much to say. Uh, when I will say something, it will maybe tomorrow or next tomorrow, which is first of all, when we will be celebrating our, our, when we will be celebrating the amendment of uh, that country to call Nigeria. Thank you, God bless you. I said, may the MNC God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen and Amen and Amen. Thank you very much. We have a caller on Skype. Your name and where you are, please. This is Radio Biafra. Good Monday. Oh, one day we call Indonesia. Can I only my phone to put out the Anna Megan? No, please go ahead. You can speak. He's off the line. You can speak. Please go ahead. We are listening to your voice. Go ahead. This is Radio Biafra. Good Monday. Two more calls on the from Jakarta, Indonesia, aka Governor Chibo. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead. Um, Adam, sorry, Nanam, Nanaja, Adam, me here, Adam, me see a long walk in Indonesia. Ah, for me. And uh, please, I want to mama how you are. So I'm very sorry that I always love to use my mother's tongue to speak to my people because they are my brothers and my blood. So I prefer using this my mother's tongue to talk to them because it's just the best way I can communicate. So because I want to only major you will be way. I would know who buy no because I thank God for a brother like you in Biafra. Um, God will strengthen you. I will 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 I
Thank you very much. Ewa ago. Ewa, in fact, ewa uye kwezi, ewa Christmas. Ena abe utu ibo no to afo. Be den man, ewa ura ala, ewa na site. Thank you. In fact, ina wange zoku, ewa ura uwe site, ewa Facebook. Ina wange zoku o. The Maguanya and the Naganako, Nagana, Choka, Hari, everybody, who are no really because who then I said, Raga, who are in the Bahamut. I'm a Moya, Yeni, my name, and I'm a Bagania, and I'm a Bagabaga. I'm a Bagabaga. I'm a Bagabaga. From my own point of observation, I'm a Bagabaga. I'm a Bagabaga. And even Okunabande Zoo, Nakanda, I don't know, be a one of my Okubaka, seriously, as the Ama, Ebahamut. Oh, na ba hoi zibo oku naka. And that I'm sure, na yorom, mo o e joni of 400 miles, e joro fun bido ko bido ya. So, as we are starting and as we are going, it will definitely come to be an achievement. Because every achievement was once a dream. Kam so no yino. Yes. Yoni yino o e chire eche. O ora, yoni na ati ke eme eme tra ya o o ihe. O ora aro, o ola aro, ka aro na aro, before ya o o something. Thank you, so, thank you, my, my dear brother. I welcome what you're saying. Do you know the documents we have with me here today? Do you know what they are? Then, man, then, man, I cannot doubt your power. So, uh -huh. I it, 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 is, it is here. Even, somebody had us broadcasting, uh -huh. somebody who had us broadcasting in English, and they made available these documents to us. These are English okay. people, these are British people. They gave us these documents. If we were speaking in Igbo language, yeah. they wouldn't have had us to give us this very document that ensures our exit from the zoo. We have it here. If I give you this document, my dear brother, to read, I swear to God in heaven, if you don't come out of the library jumping like a mad person, you will go on mad. This document I have with me can make any man go insane. If you have self pride and self worth, so that is why we speak in English, English, my dear brother. We speak in English so that the world can be our voice. Mm. Kindly, kindly send a copy to um, Isaac, the Indonesia coordinator. I will get it. It is um, our, it is our document. It is our property, and we have to keep it safe because if one die, another one has it. It makes sense than losing the document. We can't the lose it. We are going Chinese to mass produce. We are going to mass produce the document and give it to respective coordinators to set up their own library because our people must be educated with facts and figures. Definitely, we need to educate them. Every coordinator we need, will have it. We need a very strong archive. Exactly. A, not not only in London, in Asia, in Africa. In Europe, every part of the world where there is Omo Africa, Omo Biafra, we need a very strong archive. We have to keep records. My father was, um, those days, one of um, the ruling uh, signatory signers in the old Abazon. He used to sign it, some documents, he would write it, keep in view. So I learned those things from my dad. It's good to keep some things in view, you know. Kindly expand and extend those documents to every of your coordinators so that it will get to us. We have, must have copies of it. Then Monday, then Monday, come on, you go see. I want to know one person that goes in the car. I took the go see the button. Only the men are so normal. She never goes in line. And the Alamway Tower. Abu Moni si alamba, aho ho aga ifwa ya. Tengo ke nkusi len ke taya, amala aho ho aga ifwa ya. Aje ge lo, la Israel, komo biafra, ya ga jeno. Ndewo, thank you very much, thank you, thank you very much, thank you. We have a caller on the phone, your name and where you are, please. Hello, is me, tell me right now. I'm talking to you, you've waited very patiently and I acknowledge your resilience. Thank you very much. Please go ahead. Uh, thank you very much. The chicken is going to be to have my job. Yes. We just had our meeting last week and our connect also. I don't know, maybe you already said something that we already contributed yes. for the cause yes. of the Biafra. Yes, Belgium is waking up. Anyway, the go ahead. 
Anyway, I didn't call for so long because I tried to be an I was a good soldier in Ant. That's only what I am because I was raised and born in Anicha. So I was a good soldier. Anyway. <laughs> Yes. Yes. I heard about everything that's going on about Nigeria, my major how the craziest white woman from your big dad was very high and stuff and made the how Nigeria have to be together with the house that and the flyman to be the, the Afrans. So anyway, it already been a long time ago, but this time around like we the Afrans of today, we are not buying that anymore. Probably, Vanessa, thank you so much for all the days I was listening. I don't try to call, but I was listening all the days it was in Germany. It was, it was, it was very good that people in Germany are coming out. And I also want people in Belgium to come out, but some people are keep on saying sleeping. I've already told a couple of weeks ago that sleeping is a cause of death. Because, after all, to be I came, being directed, I came to the Vanessa, dear friends, there are a lot of fools who didn't understand it, asking questions like, we don't know what time we raise. This is coming 2014. We are going home. Before the director, I had a, 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 I mean like, um, I had something, I had a machine I want to give to my coordinator here in Belgium. I mean, yeah, I, I want to give it to my coordinator. I think it's, to, to put it down for the for the course is like um, it's a DVD injection with uh, amplifier together. So the machine will be a lot a little bit time in my home. I will, I will give it out to the radio director because this is always what we always thinking always thinking about. I don't know if our our contribution for measure is already um, I don't know, maybe already in, uh, in the radio we, we, have, because, uh, we have received instructions from Belgium and we are happy with what you people are doing. And, yeah, um, thank you very much. So we have tried to work more harder. We work more harder because people stay doubting us. We work also hard fighting to that's why I didn't call for so some weeks now because I tried to put down my feet down because I said them I will die in my two feet as a dear friend. And also the as and also director. Let's say my name as a uh, uh, front soldier. My name is Chika and nobody from Nigeria and North Kedite. Put it down as a front soldier. I want to be a contributor in terms of money because that's the reason that makes all of us happy to some people too. Also put my name down as a real soldier that whenever you call me, I have fought you in a road. Whenever you call me, I will go to anywhere the cost of Japan will send me, even to the point of death. I will. I'm Chica and Nebuk, I live in Belgium for Regina and North Cape City. Thank you very much. If there's a place that will put in many of people that are already put there. Yes, speak, speak to your, speak to your, we are going to the coordinators, put your name down, the coordinator will come for you. My name, my name, the Lord, just now about my number, everything. Wonderful, then wonderful. Put my name, every side to sit right there, I'm gonna tell you, fight for their friends, a front soldier. After all, I have the best passport. Before they gave me the best passport, I went to this, what they call this, in Holland and Amsterdam. You have to start to see 18 months before they give you the best passport of 1990. So, I claimed that a soldier. Nothing wrong about that. Put my name down. Thank everybody that listened to Radio Biafra and thank directors, everybody in one major, which is the four, Karumonde, and the world in Nigeria. Just thank everybody and the reality too that we are coming. Forget about people that always think about how can I need the one living in Nigeria. We have no different for ourselves. But now, 2014, tomorrow morning, I will hang my Biafra flag in my window. From the Nothing. window, Nothing. it's a very good idea. Everybody from your window, my window, from your window, window wherever you live. If any person to cross anywhere I am, and I live in Amsterdam for 20 years, I live in Belgium for 2 years, if any person cross my mind or telling me anything about hanging that flag, in fact, I will cut off the leg just to take the necklace. 
I cut up your leg, just from the necklace. Anyway, by the book, I need to remember to talk about my blood every day for all over the world. I need to all of you. Thank you very much. Thank you, and may God bless you. This is Radio Biafra. Not many people know this, but today is a night of education, so we must educate our people. How many of you knew that Onecha was a big trading port before? We have the photos. Onecha was a big trading port. Ships will come and dock in Onecha. Do you know that? Do you know that? That Onecha was a big trade. We have the pictures. I said we have something that will turn the whole world upside down. Our thinking, our mentality is changing. Thanks to Radio Biafra. Now you know. Everybody who has contributed a dime to Radio Biafra, now you see what you have done. You must hold your head up very high. We told you that we are whiter than white. We told you we are righteous people. We told you that we love our country. That we will die for Biafra. And that's what we are doing. We will serve this country. God knows we will serve Biafra. With every sinew with every strength with every ounce of blood in our body we will serve this country because we know we are not serving man we are serving god's creation the same people that lugard said they are a great people we are their friends and chukwa abiyama has heard our cry we have a caller on the line your name and where you are please your name and where you are they are not following up they are not following up this is radio biafra this is radio biafra wherever you are once again we are welcoming you we are transmitting from london no your line is not clear barrister can you hear me barrister man mezu can you hear me barrister Yes, Director, I am here. Barrister, you went missing. No, Director, I may be upset. Barrister, Very upset. you went missing. Director, I am a bit upset. I understand. Why am I upset? Because people will use evil language to praise you. And then you allow them to speak. Comfortable at all. At the end, the guy started speaking Igbo. Uh, we are not playing here, director. Did you have to be more disciplined. When people come here with Igbo language, stop them. We are on international forum. This is not a private business or where we drink beer and wine. We are here to restore Biafra. You have already made it clear. Without English language, we have obtained the documents we have. Why do we go up and then we go down? Director, you are the director and you have to control events. I don't like anybody creeping in. If I start speaking, but barista, says, ba barista, 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 we sometimes we have to make an exception. Our language... No, don't make an exception. No, no. Or get it, it isn't the way we handle it better. We cannot come... After reading what Lugard did to us... We cannot then appear to be clamping down on our own language as well. We educate them, we say, from speaking English, we attract more listeners, other people are listening, they understand. But if we are brutal about it and say, forward and say, no, 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 Tibo language, it sounds like what they did to us when we were in primary school. If you speak Igbo language, they flog you. If you speak Igbo, you pay fine. Even when I went to boarding school, I go and call it, if you speak Igbo language, you pay fine. People laugh at you. So we can't allow that to continue. We do it in such a way to explain to them and say to them, please, 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 this is why we're speaking. And most of them say yes to it. You know that very well. If we don't become heavy-handed, we are not different from Lord Lugard. Or from Frederick Lugard. No, oh God, I keep calling him Lord. Director, oh. director, hang on. In the book of Ecclesiastes, Oh dear Lord, I don't know. Barrister, please get back to me. There is a very massive static on the line, very big static on the line. We must get the barrister back. Speaking Igbo language is key. It is key, I accept. But please, we must do it. Yes, please, barrister, go ahead, go ahead. Barrister, can you hear me? 
Yes, I can hear you, Director. Because there's a static said, on your there is a static on your line. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. Go ahead. In the book of Ecclesiastes, the Bible says there is time for everything. You have already explained it that once we get the Afra, there will be non-stop broadcasting in Igbo, in Ethic, in every language, in Anioma, in Igbo, whatever language there is. First, seek ye the kingdom of God. You are talking in in the of a sudden you go in evil. The people listening to you will be distorted. Don't allow anybody to praise you. And let me tell you the reason for that evil speaking. People who do not want to be recognized, people who don't want their name to be heard, they go on the evil speaking business. Don't allow it, director. We are at a critical position where we should be seriously disciplined. Don't allow any downgrading of information. Let's we carry are, on as we are, we are not downgrading info. We cannot. I, I, I was traumatized personally as a child. People telling me don't speak evil, don't speak evil. It brings back very bad memories to me. You educate them. You say to them, after you allow people, they say, next time you won't call again and speak evil language again. I told him. You don't, this is, these are the things you have achieved. If you keep clamping down, there is no difference between me and uh, Mrs. Lugard. That's what I'm going to say. For me, personally speaking, if they speak, barrister, you can clamp down on them. For me, it gives me nightmares. When I was growing up, I tried to speak Hebrew, they wouldn't let me speak, Hebrew, speak my language. I had to study it. I had to study Igbo language to be able to be proficient in my own language as well. So when I can understand the need of people saying, hey, I want to speak Igbo, but when you correct them, they take corrections. The same thing happened in Germany last night, in Stuttgart, we corrected and they took correction. So a lot of people calling Radio Biafra, one person speaks Igbo, and at the end of the day, we corrected him. That is not the end of the world, Barrister. You yes, are very tolerant. Yes, 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 yes. You must well read all those documents in you so that we know we are moving forward. Barrister, you are not going extreme. No, you are not going, oh, not going extreme. No. Let's, let's, come saying, no, no, let's come back. No, no. I said to you before, and I will repeat what I said. Out of thousands of people calling Radio Biafra, one person says he wants to start or finish in Igbo or whatever. Barrister, we cannot be hung up about it because our language anyway. But what I'm trying to say to you is that what we need to do is to keep educating them as we are doing. And they will keep learning as we go along. If we if we come down very harsh, once they start open their mouth and Igbo starts coming out, and we clamp down very hard on them, I'm telling you, me personally, it happened to me as a child. And it gives me nightmares. I'm telling you this. But that was then. We have a mission now. Please don't make comparison with when you're growing and what we are trying to restore. Don't make comparison. You are too much big man for you to compare what happened when you were a baby and now. We are on the mission. And do you know what happened? At the end, the guy started speaking English. Because Why I told him. Always be because big? I told him. I explained to him. They know. Director, they know. Director, they know English is spoken. Wherever he is, does he speak Igbo to them? That when he's going to go to somebody's country, do they speak Igbo? I Let me make my comments. Yeah. Because I get fed up with all these Igbo speaking business. We are Igbo people. Know, Barista, we are Igbo. Barista, we are Igbo people, please. We are Igbo people. I know that. Here. No, no, no. Barista, we Igbo. are Igbo people. No, we are Igbo people. We are. Yes, and Igbo. so what, Director? So what? We, we have a mission. Our mission is very clear. People speak to us in English. One or two people delving in and wanting to express themselves better in their language is not going to kill us. To who? To who are they expressing to? To the man in, 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 in Alabama or in Oklahoma. They should speak English. They, if they don't want to, let them not call. Let them ask the, the next door neighbor. No. We're not here for a, a joke. No, it's not. A, but it's, it's our language, for goodness sake. What are you talking about? I know, director. I know. Oh, but you know I speak Hebrew very well. I speak it's our Hebrew. language. Uh, so if, if somebody don't speak, speak your language, are you going to kill them? Because the devil. No, you language? don't. You don't let them. You don't let them. Oh, no, no. I, okay. I've told okay. you. No, barrister, I've explained to you, please. People delve into Igbo language. We don't assassinate them. We explain to them and say to them, these are the reasons why we speak English. They understand. Okay, let me speak Igbo then. You can. In my, in my, okay. Then if you, I speak it, how many people will hear me? I'll translate for you. Anyway, director, let's not digress. We are not. Seriously, maintain the policy. English speaks. English. It is English, but barrister, uh, we cannot be too rigorous on it. We cannot be. If we remain too rigorous on it, it will drive our people away. That is where they come from. That is who they are. 
we can't stop them from once in a while dabbling into oh you've had a glass of wine today barrister haven't you eh? you've had a glass of wine or tea today haven't you no no i haven't you I haven't i've been drinking today the water <laughs> the water water like, because director don't forget we'll be on air for eight ten hours of so today to. is a celebration that that blood issue is gone okay. so we don't want any 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 joke on, on this line there is no joke your language is not a joke barrister you will proceed to give me your comments please if you may thank you director what i wanted to say about what i said earlier the retributive justice do you know that this flora uh uh uh, uh Lugard was born in woolwich <laughs> in 1852. <laughs> Do you know where the Yoruba, how Haram killed this soldier? Woolwich. In Woolwich. Woolwich. So when I say what goes around comes around, that is a practical example of it. What, did they ever know that the creation and the mocking of the Biafrans will come back to haunt them? The woman who pronounced Biafran land and named it Nigger land was where the atrocity of killing a soldier where she was born. Whatever goes around will definitely come around director. What Lugan has committed will definitely come back to hurt them. We are in our own peace. Somebody came from somewhere to come and distort. Knowing that we are very capable of anything but just to destroy us for no apparent reason and since then we've been destroyed we've been ruined our women, men and women have been raped children behead, beheaded women womb cut open and this was brought about by amalgamation which was refuted completely refused but they still carried on what the British people did to us was still yet to be told in the years to come but what we are saying now is that my my fellow Biafran lady although he didn't ask her second name she says her name is Becky she has kept her second name she was asking you is this carrying on or are we still searching you told her we are searching but the fact is Nigeria will not recognize Biafra because that was their own existence. Biafra to die for that zoo to exist. Now that the zoo is dead, Biafra will exist. We don't need any sanction. We don't need any permission. We don't need any go ahead from that zoo because it was artificially created. Therefore, director, we are going home with or without any single permission from nobody. Luca did not get any permission from anybody. He did not have any visa. But look at what we are suffering in, in the Western world. Jaffa has been pursued all over the place instead of them to give us that safe passage that they have wronged us. They have misused us. They have raped us because they put us in the hands of the out of the Boko Haram just to make sure that they achieve their own aim. That was the reason for putting us into the hands of the devil, the evil people. And that's where we remain today. But today is a bell of that particular zoo. And we are moving ahead. My sister Becky, wherever you are, Biafra will be restored by the League of UN, by the permission from the European Union. Go to Radio Biafra Facebook. You get all information you need because everything Radio Biafra talk, they put it on Radio Biafra Facebook. If you want to be educated, go there. You'll be glad you know Radio Biafra. Thank you, Director. Thank you very much, Barrister. Thank you very, very much. You will remain with me. I hate looking for you. You will stay with me. Ike Tukwenya is with us. You will proceed to introduce yourself to the wider Biafran community listening this very moment. And then you continue. Please go ahead. Thank you very much, Director. Good morning from here. And um, um, happy um, demise of Nigeria from here. 
because here it is the first of January uh, 2014 and uh, for those of us who are yet to come to the first of uh, January 2014 we are here with you and together we will bring down that abomination called Nigeria this is just the beginning before I refer uh, before I speak on the, the book we are, we are dealing with tonight I want to um, beg our barrister to bear with me I think uh, there is a uh, his aggressive insistence against Igbo uh, language um, uh, speakers on the radio, even with the credible evidences and reasons he is brought forward, um, is becoming somehow to us. And uh, we don't want to delve in, uh, to personal matters and begin to wonder why he's so personal about it. We can't, if it's not because of uh, uh, our brothers and sisters in the, in the so called South South today, we can as well begin to speak Igbo language and translate it to whoever wants to listen to us because we've spoken for so long. BBC have not said anything, CNN has not said anything, others has not said anything. None of those people we are, we are uh, bending towards have said anything, including the so called Britain we will be trying to be so kind with. If I am not so kind in saying the truth about the wickedness of Ohaneze and our governors, why would I be so kind in saying the truth about the person who caused the, 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 the problem in the first place? Britain is evil as long as we are concerned until they come out and, and, and set us free as set us free, quote unquote, from what they have uh, done against us. Otherwise, we will keep on hammering to them that they can they can keep their place at peace and want us to die. If they continue what they've done in the past, in this time, they may have to well uh, initiate the Third World War because I believe there are a lot of people out there who cannot sit by and repeat a, uh, and watch a repeat of what has happened before. A lot of people will not allow that nonsense to go on again. Even if the world chooses to allow it, I better die than continue living like this. A British man, a British woman thinks better or is better than uh, than than their friends, whereas they are sitting on our access and our uh, and on our, on our resources and on our willingness to move forward. And we are trying to uh, protect them. That is, if I can protect my people, if I can protect my fathers from the truth, there is no need protecting any, anybody. This is an open place. We have to say it the way it is. British government, even those those born now, they are still complacent because the documents are there. They are people that are well read. They have been hearing us. They should have uh, uh, searched out to find out exactly what what we are talking about. And we should have uh, heard from one or two from uh, from that place saying that we are saying the truth, but they kept quiet because people who were born in evil, people who grew up in evil, people who got fattened with evil. It takes only God to take them out of that level. That is why, why we have been struggling with Nigeria, with the politicians. They want to maintain evil. They don't know that eventually evil will swallow everybody up. So I beg you, Barrister, please, uh, some of our people might from time to time delve into evil language. We should not uh, um, uh, bent on them speaking strongly English language. If you Continue to begin to wonder why is, is there somebody there hating evil language so much that ends up it becomes it gives you worried. Please, if that, we don't we don't want that again, we can't say we want our people our we want Biafra and we say no 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 evil. If you are not if if an evil man does not come out, how can we pursue this Biafra? Those of them in the south south will be calling. They have not come out yet. A few of them are coming out because they understand the truth. And they do not just understand it. They want to come out. So please, let nobody stop our people from speaking Igbo. We can translate it. If somebody wants to speak Igbo, he, he, he believes that is the better way to speak it. Let him speak it. Let, let's not just continue this as if there is somebody there trying to whip Igbo, Igbo, Igbo from us. It's impossible. I've been Igbo. I've been uncorrupted to this moment. So uh, there are millions of people out there who understand what we are doing better than we do and can even contribute better in Igbo language. For those of us who, who, who are proficient in the two of them, those, you are a barrister, please, all you can do, because you've seen that you can't take Igbo away from some people, is to try to translate what they said 
into English language. But for most of us who understand the importance of speaking English language, for us to understand, we go on speaking. I think I've made my point, uh, point uh, director. Let's not cut out Igbo language as if it's a taboo. If there is any taboo in this, it should be English language. <laughs> People in the European Union, they speak their different languages. Malaysia here spoke their language. They hated English so much that they banned it in this place until they grew up and they said, now we cannot begin to speak uh, English language. But many of them don't know English language, but they are far better than uh, all the countries uh, in Africa. So why would we be so so hard, uh, hard on Igbo language? As if there is something deeper than what we are talking about. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. Ike Chupu, you people celebrated the death of the zoo. We are very grateful. And because you are our coordinator of coordinators and doing a very fantastic job, I must say, we all, all the friends are grateful to you for the wonderful work that you are doing together with our secretary, who is a man for. We must, therefore, I will leave you with this paragraph. You will stay where you are. We are now reading from the Nigerian press and the amalgamation what they made of it in 1919. This is from the Lagos Weekly Record. This is a publication of February the 1st, 1919. We have the ammunition to destroy the zoo and that's what we're going to do. This was how the news of the retirement of Frederick Lugard was greeted by people. The news, I'm now reading, please, verbatim. I won't analyze until I finish. The news of the retirement of Sir Frederick Lugard from the Governor Generalship of Nigeria, which was flashed down by Reuters during the latter part of January, has been received with great joy and gladness by the loyal natives of Nigeria. So overwhelming is the people's emotion that almost in every nook and corner, but chiefly in the inmost recesses of their hearts, they have offered and continue to offer day by day some silent prayer to the God of the Negro for his tender mercies in delivering his dusky children from the baneful effects of an inglorious administration which constitutes not only a standing disgrace to the cherished traditions of British colonial policy in West Africa, but is also a positive libel upon the accepted principles of British culture. Sir Frederick has earned the notorious distinction of being the originator of a system of government the product of his exuberant imagination entitled the Nigerian system. That system has in the pregnant words of ex-George Stoker been described as a setback to a condition of things resembling the barbarous ages. Another white man described what Frederick Lugard did by amalgamating us with Hausa people as resembling something a setback to a condition of things resembling the barbarous ages the time of darkness in the world this is from a george his name is stoker s-t-o-c-k-e-r what lugard brought us was what lugard called the nigerian system that system was described by another white man as being, in his words, verbatim, a setback to a condition of things resembling the barbarous ages. Let's take this call. This is Radio Biafra. We are in London. Give us your name and where you're calling us from. Hello, Mr. This is Christopher. Hello, I'm calling from Hamburg. From Hamburg. Thank you very much. Please proceed. Mr. Nandi, I'm boiling where I am now, and I hope the whole world is listening to me. They yeah. are. Someone from Hamburg called you and claimed he was there on your visit to Hamburg. He was a liar. If he was there, what stopped him saying with them? We cannot achieve our victory like this. We cannot have liars coming on Radio Piafra to tell us don't come. 
We cannot allow what happened in the age back to happen again. And uh, once again, I want to contribute to what you just argued with uh, Mr. Uh, Barisema Mezu. I love him so much, but uh, this time around, I mean, I am so highly disappointed from, from the kind of argument he's having with you. Um, he should not allow anybody to speak to a evil language before you can correct the person. That means if anybody calls you and tell me his name is uh, Johnson uh, Benson, uh, nobody would be asking him where he's from. Or oh, where are you from? From uh, where are you from? In Ibo, in Gafra land. So I think we should give people a chance if they want to speak Ibo language. Yes, we we'll correct them that we are broadcasting to the to the whole world. And the person can speak English, not to stop anybody who wants to speak Igbo language to call it the Afra. That is no good. That is, I, I don't accept that idea. So please, my brother, if anybody calls to speak Igbo language, the person is welcome. We are fighting for Biafra land. We are fighting for Biafra land. So he shouldn't go ahead of being angry. I mean, there is a long measure is so pissed. I don't think. Why must he be so that somebody from Biafra land called and speak Igbo language? Why? Are we still celebrating? I don't buy that idea. I'm boiling where I am. Okay? I'm boiling with some Nandi. Somebody called you from Hamburg telling you he was at the meeting. I am pissed with what I experienced at the meeting as he came to Hamburg. And another person calls a lie on top of it. It's rubbish. We cannot achieve our victory like this. I am boiling. Don't don't burn, please. If, if before the was there, if, you, if the person was there, what's something to say his name? What's something to say his name? And he called you to tell you don't come. So please, by the man, measure, every Biafran soul is allowed and welcome to speak Igbo language. Yes, we will correct him. And if not, if even if the person does not speak English, we can translate. We can. Even you, uh, director, you can easily translate what the person has said in Ibo language. So why must my barrister be so quick? I can understand where the barrister is coming from. And I can also yeah, see know, where people are, call, are coming from as well. Welcome. Because the thing is that a lot of people are following us. And because they are following us, it is good. We hit and we hit them very hard. And our transmitter is coming soon anyway. When our transmitter yes, comes, the, the, we'll director, the director, when Barista is so big, it will scare people away. But listen, um, we have been duped before. Okay? Wazika has duped up before. So many people have duped up before. So people need to be careful. You mentioned you both are scared, you both are scared. Yes, they were scared because if I remember what my father told me in the history of the Afra war, you cannot test to go war again. I lost, I lost my senior brother in the Afra war. My father lost his brother in the Afra war. So many of my family lost their beloved ones in the Afra war. So everybody is scared of going to war. Hello? We are listening to you. We are no. listening very attentively. So this is the problem. If you become so peace, people will be afraid of coming to Biafra, Radio Biafra. He shouldn't be peace. He should wake up everybody. My data from Bayasa, from anywhere that speaks Ibo language. The person is highly welcome in Radio Biafra. We will advise the person and tell the person what we are struggling for, what we are working for. He shouldn't be angry at all. Okay? Nobody is happy. My father is on this side, he was not born the only son. Brothers who have died in the in the in the death of Gaza War. So everybody needs to be careful and understand what we are fighting for, what we are struggling for, and who we are standing for. Okay? Yes, my brother, you have spoken. Thank you very much. You have spoken. Thank you, my brother. You yes, are welcome. Thank you very you much. Uh, yes. Um, but in defense of the barrister, I will say I understand where it's coming from. Barrister speaks Igbo language very, very well. I understand his concern. He doesn't want us to waste any minute, not one single minute, without getting our information to hit home. That is why. So that anybody following us, following an argument, or even as you have spoken, if you're angry, and you're angry with the majority of our listeners all over the world, and you're angry in English language, it will hit them as well. 
but what we are saying is that sometimes people sleep in terrible language maybe inadvertently we must pull them out very gently from it so it will not look um, very bad we are here we are transmitting and we must continue in order to get people going even further <laughs> people don't know how frederick came to be in that part of the world in the first we will tell you already the offer. we said we will be on air for eight hours non-stop a world record never attempted by anybody i will sit here on this seat for eight hours and i'll broadcast i slept yesterday around 3 a.m in the morning this morning in fact 3 a.m when the one i must tell people to acknowledge the way that chica Eke took care of me all throughout my stay he was traveling to places and meeting me making sure i was okay providing his form of security chica Eke is dedicated he is loyal dedicated he's one of us i have here in front of me what led to Lugard coming to that part of the world in the first place? People bring pen and paper. pen and paper become. Bring your pen and paper and write these things down, please. So when you go out to defeat Nigerians, you debate them into the ground, they will run away from you. Get the pen and paper. So we give you the facts and the figures. We said today is the rapey mass. We are burying the zoo today with facts and figures. Today, everything we studied, every school we went to will be brought to the fore. I want you to bring out relation. I want to debate him. They couldn't have debated Chinua Achebe because Chinua Achebe is of a greater caliber than him. Before discussing, this is from Marjorie Panam. Marjorie wrote this in, when did Marjorie write this particular um, um, epistle? Marjorie wrote this around the time of independence this is a white woman i will read what she wrote verbatim this is the second paragraph from her submission on frederick frederick lugard the creator the maker of nigerians nigerians i present to you your god your creator his name is frederick lugard and i read please verbatim before discussing how far Lugard's reputation deserves such a recoloration, we should consider whether the claim that he did most to form Nigeria as a state is just. He was concerned with its affairs four times in different capacities. In 1894-1895, he went out in the services of the Royal Niger Company on an arduous pioneering expedition to raise the French to the supposed key point of Niki in Bogu and prevent them pushing their Dahomey frontier further west. I will now interpret this for our people. Frederick Lugard came to work as a mercenary for Royal Niger Company. This is the god that made Nigeria people must listen to the man that came to build and give you one nigeria he came to fight as a mercenary the french people were in Benin republic that is why they speak french today he came to stop the french from pushing further into lagos and into into Egomu, into um uh, uh, Ondo, Ogun state and all your states that's why he came to stop the french from expanding and gaining more territories they were racing the french to see who is the european master that will take these black monkeys and take their land from them that is how you came to answer i'm telling you how you became nigeria today from here 1894 to 1895 was when frederick came he was a mercenary for the royal niger company they were trying to stop the french from expanding westwards from 1897 to 1899 he was with joseph chamberlain's forward impulse behind him he played the major part in creating from scratch 
listen very carefully he created an army called the west african frontier force which was to play a vital part in nigeria's development this west africa frontier force was made up of black men black soldiers from ghana to go and get nigeria for him black foot soldiers with english officers they came and they fought us and they defeated us that was how this man came i have the paper here he's here in front of me if you can listen you hear the ruffling is the paper i have original documents that is how nigeria was. this is a, a this is a vandal a, a vandal that came to stop the french and he stumbled upon your life and from then the life and the blood of over 10 million people suffering the killing at the hands of boko haram the deportations at the hands of yoruba people is down to this one man frederick lugard here he did not come from heaven he was not sent by god he came to look for land he came to look for palm oil by force he came to sell us whiskey he came to steal he came to loot he came to pillage that was why that is why in nigeria there will be stealing there will be looting forever and ever because the setter understood nigeria this frederick luger this vagabond that created nigeria was a looter himself he was a warmonger he was a criminal masquerading as a gentleman it is here not my words in the words of marjorie Parham. is here i have it in front of me this is radio biafra we must bring you the truth we told you that we are here to broadcast the truth and that is what we are doing the world must hear us let us go and take this call give us your name and where you are the caller on the phone this is radio biafra hello yes your name and where you are please yeah, my name is Ndubisi. I'm calling from Nigeria. Ndubisi, which part of the zoo are you in? How can you be saying Nigeria? An expired product is about to expire. <laughs> I'm calling from um, from the expired Nigeria, from Nigeria. Uh -huh, you're calling from the expired product. I'm <laughs> zoo, what is the product of Nigeria? No. Go ahead. Uh, we are no part of India, and we are looking up to. You people to come and liberate us. All of us is going to put hands together and liberate ourselves. But before I continue, are you hearing me? Loud and clear, so is the whole world. Humanity is listening before to you. I continue, please go. Before I continue, I want to talk about the, the other barrister who called now, who called a few minutes ago and was condemning our own language. Our, our, our language, I think it is not proper. If somebody called, I want to speak our language. What our language? I'm even thinking that it would be good that we get somebody that will be interpreting for those of us who want to speak Igbo language, which is our language. We cannot do away with it. If we get, if it's even part of promoting our language, it's even part of the, what we are doing. It's not dope, as he explained. Speaking our language is not a as he said. They are part of our English language is not better than my language. And besides, there are some who can even speak English very well. Are you denying them for participating in the forum? I think it is uh, not uh, proper. So please, the commissioner should correct himself and understand why the Igbo language is very, very necessary, even more important than English language. But what I want to say now is that most of people in there don't even know about this document and the amalgamation issue. Most of them, two of them don't know, you know. Business have diverted the attention of some of us here. So I think, and even the channel that the, 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 the radio that has, some people know about it. So I think there is a, <laughs> we need to see a way to sensitize them so that we know that something like this is going on. Even the, the, the document, I think it, it is necessary that the people living in Nigeria here should see it and know, and know the content. And in fact, the details, most of them they even believe. If I tell them, Nigeria expires today, I will say them. So we are laughing. So we are, you know, Nigeria expires today. From tomorrow, every, every group has the right to succeed. So 
most of them are the the lead men. Some don't know, some new anyway. I think this one to try to get that the all the very very necessary. So that the masses are mara, if they are on and they are safe, the Nigeria have expired. I my other brother, money and I actually you with on one. My other brother, let me give him the phone. Thank you very much. Hello. Hello. Yes. Yeah, this is Emeka from Nigeria. Emeka, you cannot answer Emeka and you come from Nigeria. I will give you another opportunity to tell me where you come from. I'm from Biafra. That's better. From Biafra. That's better. Yes. Hello. Yes, go ahead. Uh, I'm this, uh... Oh, the credit has finished. We have a caller on Skype. You will give us your name and where you are. Are you talking to me directly? I am speaking to you. This is Radio Biafra. Okay, my name is Kelecho Follett. I'm calling you from New Zealand. Kelecho Follett is one of us. He's in New Zealand. Please go ahead. Thank you so much. Well, director, I thank you, and um, I, you know, I have not been able to call you when you were in Germany, but I thank God you returned safely. I'm actually calling today to contribute on just a few things, and I want to touch on the key um, people that have been leading us. I want to start from um, Good Luck Jonathan. You know, I'm just going to put it as a question. Does it mean that Good Luck Jonathan is not aware of this document? Or, uh, you know, does it mean that he has never seen this document before? He has never seen it. Jesus Christ. And because he, 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 doesn't, he doesn't have access to this type of classified documents he doesn't have them what we have here is the amalgamation and the amalgamation document did not it's not a treaty because yes. the british had the they were the ones governing the southern protectorate they had the northern protectorate they had two um, um governors governing the two protectorates yes mm -hmm. so the when they sent Luga to the north to the northern protectorate luga then wrote to somebody who who wanted the wife cecil harcourt loved um i can say was admiring um, um lugard's um, um, um girlfriend and wanted her so much so anything lugard wanted in order for for cecil harcourt to impress um um, um flora harcourt had to do it so when lugard submitted his proposal to match the two and to get the king to get king um, edward to appoint him as the overall um, um, um governor general then everything was sealed and settled because anything that flora wanted cecil harcourt was willing to do so nigeria came about as a result of a love affair of affection between cecil harcourt and them um, and uh, uh, flora flora uh, Luga, because cecil harcourt was was charmed by the woman so the, the, in your life today as a Nigerian is came about because a ma an amorous man here somewhere in London wanted a woman. That's all. That's how you that's that's how you, you existed as a people. Okay, thank you so much, Dad. I think you have actually exonerated um, good luck on that note. So I'm just gonna proceed. Well, uh, we we are not going to exonerate UK people at all at all it does not matter whether this thing was actually caused by one man they sent him and he delivered message back to them and when he did why didn't they stop nigeria from continuing and why didn't they restore us why hi i have lost i have lost a full letter i must find him i have to find him i must i must find him Oh my goodness me! What what happened? Oh, hello, hello. Yes, hello. We have lost. Of please, um, or for letter, stay where you are. We shall come back to you. Or for letter, you must stay where you are. We will come back to you. Our lines have frozen because of too many calls coming in. Way, way, way too many calls. Way too many calls coming in. Let's try and take this one. I'm sorry, or for letter, please. I'm sorry about that. Give us your name and where you are. The caller on Skype. Hello, um, the director, can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear, please go ahead. Okay, um, this is Jude Colin from Sweden. My name is Jude Collier. Uh, I want to ask one question and I also make a contribution. Jude, you're, you're sounding very deep. Okay, can you hear me now? I can hear you now, you're sounding very deep before. Okay, maybe it's uh, the, the mic I'm talking about. 
No, it's not, it's not very clear. You may have to call us back. Please, your follow continue. Thank you so much. So, why didn't um, um, the um, people of um, uh, the government of UK, you know, inform uh, our people about this document? Because, you know, if we if we have to say it's not the UK people, it's the government of UK. They elected, the, you know, we know how parliamentary system of government works. They elected these people. They are talking to them. They discuss things like this. How can a document so sensitive as this one be hidden under the cupboard for these 100 years? People are dying. Boko Haram are killing us. We are even begging them to make Boko Haram known to the world as a terrorist organization. There, we are saying that the, the money that they, they, they donated to Nigeria, 60% of it should be given to the people that are killing us. Yes. When they, you know, so what I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to say today is that this thing is not over. The UK people should take note. It will be, it will be noted. To, you know, if we have barely one hour before Nigeria expires. It will be noted today that UK people are more than culpable on this than every other nation. Forget about the people that fought us during the war and things like that. UK people know more than the you know they know more than every other country on the earth, and they should have stopped the killing of the three point five million people that died, and they should have stopped the killing of our people by the Boko Haram, and they did nothing. Even David Camera, even as well as he just came in as a um, Prime Minister of the uh, UK recently, he is aware of this document. He is aware. He, the Queen of England is aware of this document. How can they be sitting on their throne, eating very well, dressing very well, you know, doing things that we can never dream of ever doing? But we have more than UK and the island and every other uh, European com country, if I should say, combined together have got. We, have, we, are the, we are the fifth largest oil producing country in the whole world. Where is the oil coming from? From the Afrika land. Yet, we cannot boast of three square meals per day. You know? So what I'm trying to say, we cannot remove our anger from the UK people. The UK citizens, I'm sorry to say this, that the, you know, Carmondo is still helping us, and I'm, and I'm saying this. But, you know, we have to say it. They have to come and put our land back to where it was. Restore our Uri, our uh, the Uri that they destroyed. If they don't do it, when we get Biafra, we will still make them to pay for it. For it. You know, when Israel was fighting and they, you know, trying to liberate themselves, their neighboring uh, uh, countries didn't believe that when Israel gets free, that uh, uh, you know they will give them tough time. So Biafra is coming, and when Biafra comes, United Kingdom is not far away from us. I'm making this very known to them. But if they, if they want us to, you know, live in peace and have, you know, harmony, they should take it upon themselves now and move in, stop Nigerians, stop whoever that is going to, you know, interfere in what we're doing from ever attempting it. Allow us to restore Biafra without killing any other person. Without even going to, going to this war that we are preparing for, we are not scared of war. We are not. But I'm saying they have to do something now to kind of, the, in as much as they cannot actually cover up what they have done already, but it's just to try and come closer to covering it. They need to give us a sense of closure to this. This is the worst abomination against humanity. They can't do it and get away with it. We are not promising them anything. They have to come and restore the land that they destroyed. It's simple and, and, and they have to do it. I'm speaking to Queen of England directly and I'm speaking to David Cameron directly. They have to do something because they are the people that are piloting the affairs of the United Kingdom right now. And they have to do something about this. That is if true. they fail to do it, we will still hold them accountable when Biafra is restored. Of course we will. We will. We will. Thank you very much. That we want them to play their role. We want them to invest in Biafra land. We want to cooperate with the British because their way of life is closest to our way of life. We both believe in capitalism. We believe in fairness. We believe in transparency. We believe in um, government or governance um, by the people for their own benefit. So why won't they be with us? They have a lot to gain from us than they ever can gain from Hausa Fulani people. The house of Fulani people, we are poor from the beginning. They were poor. Their budget couldn't balance. That's why they gave them our resources and it's happening to you today. That has to come to an end. We have somebody understand them. 
you can hear them because we are beer friends we are not only beer friends we come from a very great race as acknowledged by lugat himself he called us a great people the great race he called us the only people he referred to in such terms you are very special all we are trying to do sometimes we're a bit overcritical is to bring out that greatness in you we don't hate you why would we hate you we are fighting for you sometimes we use languages which you may which you may find slightly difficult to comprehend it's because we want that greatness to show oh then there was a three me how are they mama we're talking about two pure pure um different people not those fathered by imbeciles they call her on skype your name and where you are this is radio biafra yeah, mama. yeah hello yes your name and where you are please this is yeah. prophet joshua godwins from munich germany the prophet you're welcome to the program go ahead you're welcome shalom i was i spoke i spoke the other day um last week when you were in germany yes you did and uh, i'm so glad that today again i uh, i had i received them um, um, a facebook message that you are still on the line today yes i can sense as a prophet i can see i can sense what is going on today in our land in our homeland in Ibo land i can see the awakening I can see that the Ruach, that the Most High is moving our people to desire. The Most High is moving our people and He's shaking our people up to really seek Him. The message, what is going on today in Ibolan is that people do not know who they are. But today, the Most High are raising the dear friends, the most high are raising brother Kano to challenge our people to desire and to seek and to seek who they are. And this message of Biafra, as I said before, and I'll continue to say it again, there's gonna be Biafra. In the new Biafra, that's not gonna be a whole name. The Most High, Yahuwah, our Elohim, shall bear his true name. We will not take a name from the Christianity. We are not going to take a name. The problem we have in Ibolan, why we are being killed today, is because the children of Israel, the people of the book, Christians told us that we are black people, we are apes, and this and that and this and that. They lied to us. They didn't tell us that we are, we are the right people, the children of Yahuwah. They kicked us out of our holy land 1500 years ago or 1700 years ago, and they still came to Nigeria and haunt us. They sold our brothers, sold our sisters, raped our mothers, raped our sisters, and they brought us Christianity. They gave us a whole name. Our people forgot the Most High. Our people forgot the Gadosh in Christianity. They said the Holy Name. And today, we are being slaughtered by Islam. We are being slaughtered by all all um ethnic groups all groups in that country but today i thank the most high people are rising up and we will call the name when we begin to call the name i see the awakening my brothers mr Kano. i see the awakening we will call the name in the new biafra there will be only one name that will be called the true name of the most high and the true name of his son so it shall be if not we still continue all this fighting and liberation all this fighting and liberation it's about that our people has forgotten their maker they have forgotten their maker please let us not deviate we are going to get there from
We are going to get free, but we will not forget the Gadosh one, the Holy One of Israel, and we shall call him by his name. He said that the name of Yahuwah is a strong tower which the righteous run in and be saved. Hallelujah. We will get Biafra, but we will get it only by his true name. We will not accept any Christian. My sister spoke so mightly, but we will really educate our people about the Most High. We will educate them that we are not what we are told in Christianity. As a pastor, I have been as a pastor for five, six years. I have church in Nigeria. I had in Munich, but I have studied and found out that all that Christianity taught us are nothing but fake and wrong. Jesus never hesitated. They twist all the things, twist everything about the black man, the Hebrew man, the Hebrew man. And then they made us to be second class citizen, wherever we are. In the Holy Land, the white people are there. In Nigeria, they are bugging us. But time is coming. And that time is now. We will make it. We will succeed. But we will not forget the name that is above any other name. Yes. Shalom, my brother. Thank you very much and God bless you. Shalom, shalom, shalom. We call him to Kwabiyama. Shalom. This is Radio Biafra, the color on the phone. You've been trying and I admire your persistence. We are in London. You will give us your name and where you are, please. Okay, my name is Clementina, calling from Manchester. Clementina, what is your surname, please? My name is Clementina Eckert, calling from Manchester. Thank you very I'm much. Back to you. Thank you. Please go ahead. Welcome, Director, and thank you for what you are doing so far for the people of Biafra. Thank you. I just want to use this opportunity to thank every of my fellow Biafrans all over the world trying to bring this dream to reality. I said, God, we bless you all. Director, my reason for calling is about the debate that has been going on. Even for the past few weeks that you are in Germany, this same complaint people have been asking me. Why is it just Igbo language? Is it that the Biafra land is for just the Igbos? And this argument has been going on before today again. Just like me, I'm a cross reverend because in the war, the Biafra war was going on. My father happened to find himself in Calabar. That is why that's the language we speak today. And now we are fighting these Muslim people that are trying to Islamize the whole Nigeria to be Islam world. Now the same thing is like, it's bringing in stress again that it must, is like everyone can speak Igbo. Can we just stop? Because there's no one, so long you have access to the internet, I believe we all see have access to speak, even if it's a common broken language. Everyone can understand. Because so it's just like, my, my own personal opinion, when they are speaking Igbo, I just find myself lost, asking, does it mean the Biafra land, or this Biafra journey, or the land, our promised land that we are going, does it belong only to the Igbos? So this is something we just have to clarify. For the time being, it has to be English. When we've got in our land, we can make it compulsory all over Biafra land, we should start learning Igbo for our own benefit. Because many of us are lost, just as you said. Our children here, for a few years time, they don't know where they are or who they are. Please, Director, please. Yes, uh, my dear sister, as you can see, as um, I think it was Clifford and I that commented, it was only one person I've spoken Igbo today, and I corrected him at the end of it. And uh, yeah, there's another thing, there, like there is another thing, thing. yes, we, we must make some it things has been going on. Yes, we must make some things very, very clear. There are, so if I go to Nsoka today and they speak at Nsoka, they speak Igbo language, I can't understand them. There are some parts of Abroba you will go to when they're speaking in their dialect, you can't understand what they're saying either. Yeah. Is that, I, I take heart from what Lugard said. Lugard, even despite all their evil and wickedness, yeah. <laughs> when he was describing the area all the way to Calabar, when he was yeah. describing the area all the way to the present day by Elsa, 
he said this is the region inhabited by Igbo people. Yeah. So what I'm trying to tell you is that Europe has had their own distinction. Egba land, Ijebu and Yoruba as three distinct people in that part of the world with different ac as accents and intonation. We are one people. I must say that what we have is what we have. Yes. Teaching people the language overnight. No, I'm. I'm not saying. No, it's not it's it's like that. So it will now discourage some people no. because you know with the land, the zoo where we are from, people are still fi finding it difficult to trust one another. Are you yes. getting me direct? I you know, but what you're saying is also <laughs> correct. What you're saying is yeah. correct. But I don't want Join us to have the mindset, this Yoruba mindset. That that is one thing I, I resent. I don't want us to come into Biafra have our minds having been conditioned by Yoruba media. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Because On I want to hear <laughs> I have encouraged, I have asked for people to come on radio biafra and speak other indigenous biafran languages and i can assure you my dear sister that once our transmitter comes once our transmitter comes people will hear a fikibibio language on it they will hear a jaw language on it they will hear Igbo language on it they will hear idoma if Urobo wants to come with us, they will hear Urobo and also Ishekri language. Can I make a suggestion? If someone speaks Igbo, can we have a translator to translate it immediately and just put it for our fellow Biafans that don't understand Igbo? This is what has been said. I agree with you. I accept, and that is going to be done. We have taken this on board, and everybody must see the concern we all have. And uh, we Thank hope you. that people can learn. What are we, we will keep reminding them. If they start, we remind, remind them and say to them, please, there are people listening and we explain as we normally do so that we can move forward. We want to go forward as one. I wish it was another language, not English. The same people that are killing us. Thank you very much, my dear sister. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, this is Radio Biafra. We must move forward. We must make sure we take calls from our listeners. And very shortly, I will go to Barista Mamuzu because I have a very interesting passage <laughs> that I want to read to our people. The caller on Skype, your name where you are, please. Hello, my name, uh, my name is uh, Chigozie. I'm calling from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Chigozie, who are you? I'm Chigozie Okongwa. I'm from uh, Imo State, Biafra land. I'm calling from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. You may proceed, please. Thank you very much. Go ahead. Uh, you're welcome, brother. Um, uh, first of all, I'm very, very happy uh, um, about uh, we coming out from the zoo. You know, it's not easy. I'm very, very happy to say that you know, we, are, we are free people. And uh, I'm, I'm proud to say that I'm a Biafra man because it's not easy. It's what we have, we have worked to have for a very long time. So happy to be, I'm very, very happy. Um, secondly, I want to talk on uh, the language you're talking on, on this Skype, you know. Some people call uh, that man and they were saying that he would do this, he would do that. To be honest, true, true, this is uh, Ibo Radio Biafra, we have to speak Ibo, but not when it's not, there are some times you need to speak Ibo, not, not all the time, because this is like a water lake, come, everybody is listening. The reason why we speak English is not because we speak the most, but we are speaking English, so that the other world, that those people we are asking to help us with understand what we are saying, so they can know where they can start from, not when you speak, because if you speak Igbo, they will say, uh, they're talking to themselves, right? they can't even do anything. <laughs> you know so for those people that don't understand, uh, the reason why the boy is angry, he's angry because, and the argument is because, um, he's trying to make you to understand that you are not the only one listening to this radio. That those people are asking for help can't understand Igbo, what they understand is English. So you should try to speak English, so they can understand and know where to start helping you from. Uh, that's number two. Um, number three also is a uh, director. Um, you know, this radio calling, radio calling, radio calling from Genesis. If, it's, if we call on this radio, you know, from Genesis to Revelation, nobody is going to do anything. The better thing is for me, as, 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 as I'm talking to you now, I'm 100% prepared. If you call me in Nigeria to come and do this, or I'm, 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 I'm ready to go there. I'm even, I'm even die, I'm even ready to die just to make sure that we have that. Therefore, even if I didn't have it myself, I want to have it with my own uh, upcoming children because it's very, very important. But the way I see Nigeria now, if you continue with this uh, in the next, this year or next year, mm -hmm. I'm not going to be So the best thing is 
for us to because uh, my father is not the board of Ghana. Only is a joke here in Nigeria. This one will go home, we fight, they will not ask what, what is happening. So here we are making this video now. Good luck, that. I'm only. But it's something where people must understand. Yeah. And sometimes I get astonished where we don't understand that. We cannot yeah. fight this war without media. We cannot fight this war without media. If you fight it without media, you'll be drowned overnight. Nobody will hear you without radio Biafra. Will I have known you? Yeah, you know, nobody. Exactly. So that defeats the argument. You need yeah. to meet people on this very platform. I went to Germany and I came back and I thought about six cities in Germany. And there are Biafrans whistling with confidence. They are talking to Biafrans in Malaysia. They are talking to those in Thailand. They are talking to those in Japan. They are talking to those in Australia. Australians are talking to those in China. Was that possible before? Are we going to use a mobile phone to connect our people? No, we must appreciate the importance of media. That yeah, was why we were sleeping when we were waiting and doing our useless petty trading in Okrega. They yeah. were busy removing the name Biafra from maps and from books because we had no media. Nobody raised an objection. This media is critical. 80% of the work will be done via media. You sensitize your people. You get them to have the right information through media. And then you go and act. That's what we're doing. Okay. Thank you very no, much. Thank you. And God bless you. Thank you very, very much. The barrister is with me. Barrister Mamesi, you must come in. But before you do so, I have something to read for you. Barrister, could you please confirm that you're with me? Barrister, can you hear me? No, he cannot hear me. He cannot hear me. The barrister should please try and get back to me. Try and come to me, please, if you may. This is Radio Biafra, the caller on Skype. Your name and where you are, please. Hello, as a director. Happy New Year. The same to you. Yeah, this is Emeka. Hello. Yes, I can hear you. Go ahead. Okay, this is Emeka, the from Malaysia. Yes, go ahead, please. Emeka. Yeah, I'm so happy to hear your voice and to wish you the people to be there for Happy New Year. Thank you. That's right. And I'm very happy to go with the old Jamie, the old Jamie, and come back safely. Because the device now, the device now, you go out there and I'm there, and I'm not going to be So I want to, I want to, I want to keep on our things. I'm selling it at five o'clock, but it's time to see if you can buy it on the road. Yeah, brother, it, it will help us if we, if we have something very deadly on our hands. Yeah. It's amalgamation documents and supporting documents as well. I would yeah, prefer yeah. if we discuss that and leave this language business. There are much yeah. more important things for us to discuss, please. Right, Go ahead. Yeah, the, yeah, the government has learned that we are not handling a lot of about the amalgamation documents. Because the yellow bad media have so, so much creates in in our life. They hide all those things in, 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 in us. Because that makes us to them then they, to play South South and not South East. Because in, in, in this there is nothing like South South or South East. The two they are that they used to create that thing. Go to North, you will not hear any talk about, about North North or North North, South North. But they, they look it, they look it like that. To my good to my good another that that where they call bit of bunny. They now name bit of bunny to, to bit of bunny. That, that is that is actually absolute bunker. Understand? Because because they are media. Understand? Yeah, that does I'm tired of this video Biafra. Look at that, this is now up to seven to seven AM in Malaysia time. But they are still listening to Radio Biafra because we need a lot to this video Biafra. Uh, let me tell you something. Since I started listening to this video Biafra, uh, all my friends are not calling me to do because I am I'm not mentioning the what is happening in Nigeria or what what I have have done now with the Biafra. And because this this video I've talked to a lot, and I have I'm trying to use the people that still in darkness. Nigeria. Understand? 
and I'm, I'm so happy that in for us to for you to be able to tell us what now because if this year, if you this now is first January here in Malaysia, and you all to be tell us the next step for us to follow here in Malaysia so that we will make this Malaysian government to know that they have to exist and nothing like that even anymore. Because all these immigration people that are that are chasing us, all these police people that are chasing us here, we need to make them to know that we are we are, we are all there are not for Nigerians anymore. Understand? Yes. So that, 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 that's what I want to say. Very much people ask us what can they do. We say you volunteer yourselves to serve with us. Yes, are you we are good funds? Yeah, we are 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 seeing each other. We are 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 this is Radio Biafra. We must take this call and then we go to the barrister if he's there. We have a caller on Skype. He will give us your name and where you are, please. This is Radio Biafra. Yeah. Um, my name is T. Walker. And where are you calling from? My name is T. Walker. Also. I, I'm the person who called and spoke in Hebrew language, my mother tongue, and I am so sorry that i got my brothers and sisters of my beloved mother and fatherland biafra aggressive Please, no no, I no you apologize. don't need to there is no need for you to apologize i really want to apologize to you all if i have offended you please i am very much sorry let us face what we are fighting for I need us to concentrate in this amalgamation issue of Mr. Frederick Lugard and um, I need also for us to face on the facts that Nigeria has really come to an expiration date. So please, let us please, let us kindly, I urge you all, please my good brothers, my good sisters all over the world, I am really apologizing. Let us stop this issue of Igbo language. If that will stop us from going to our promised land, I'm sorry. Let us face where we are going to, please. Thank you very much. You have spoken very well. And I believe that draws the curtain on this very issue. It will no longer be discussed. I think that's, he started it. He wrote to say, I should take his call so he can clear himself and we can move on. And that is done. So we will not discuss it anymore. This is Radio Biafra, wherever you are, we are welcoming you once again. We are on a marathon session. In the next 15 minutes, we would have been sitting down and broadcasting for five solid hours, non-stop. That is who we are. We serve our country because we love our people. Give us your name and where you are. This is Radio Biafra. The caller there disappeared. They disappeared. Let us see who is on the other side. We have a caller on the coordinator's line. Give us your name and where you are, please. Yeah, director, good evening. Good evening. This is uh, I'm calling from Barcelona. Yes, I'm from Barcelona. And I came from Amoka here, local government, and I'm state. Thank you. Go ahead. Uh -huh. So, director, I want to thank you for the great job you're doing. I want to welcome you back to London. And I can realize the sacrifice you are doing for our people because I know this Christmas you did it without your family, and God is only Almighty that will pay you back. I thank you for the education because we are learning a lot from this very radio station. I want to thank you for everything you are doing, and the board of radio be for each of my four Karamonde barrister. I want to thank all you guys, director. What I want to say here is that uh, we are expecting you, and we are. We are preparing seriously for your coming here, at least in Barcelona. Uh, we pray that uh, whenever you're coming, your journey will be very smooth, and I believe we'll give you the best we can here. That's what I can assure you, because the guys, our guys here, they are working very hard for it. And uh, the few contribution I want to make is that I want to tell all our brothers worldwide to wake up. This is the time. We have suffered enough. We can't come with a, in a land full of honey and milk and scattered all over the whole world. 
I was born outside that zoo. And from then, I don't know until I came over here. If it is not the spirit of the zoo that is taking me back, or the spirit of Biafra that is taking me back to my father, man, yes. I might be a lost child by now. But I thank God that upon all that, I'm still knowing my way to the village. So, director, there is one story I want to let you know here. When I was growing up, I was born in 73, just about three years after the war. I have a lot of friends that we grew up together. But as I grew up now, I've been asking about four of them. And some people in the village, they're telling me that they have gone back to the north. I say, why? They told me that their father, they don't have parents at home. They were pregnant, uh, they were born by Hausa people. I can't believe it. You know, when you are saying this, many people might not understand. I'm telling you that I, can, I don't want to name names here. But I know at least three, four people from my village. We grew up together in the village. So, this thing you are saying here, everything you are saying is true. We are God sent. I'm just begging our brothers, mostly the ones in the uh, uh, US, to wake up that this is a fight to finish. We can't remain slave in our land. We have petrol, have gas, have intellectuals, have everything, human resources. See, everything. We don't have any reason to remain here working uh, eight hours job to collect peanuts. So all our brothers should wake up. Let us do this once and for all and, and, and go home. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. I will the Biafra app or indeed via Biafra television on YouTube. We are transmitting live on a day. We are dissecting the zoo. This is a raping mass. We are presiding over the funeral of the zoo that country oh dear lord i despise it with every bone in my body i hate it it signifies death when somebody mentions nigeria i think about people dying in horrible circumstances when you mention nigeria i think about criminals presiding over the affairs of hopeless innocent people when you talk about nigeria i think about disease when you talk about Nigeria, I think about hopelessness. I think about lack of water. I think of a lack of electricity. I think of mosquitoes. Even mosquitoes, I can't sleep at night. When mosquito buzzes in my ears, sleep is gone throughout the night until I find a mosquito and kill it. Nigeria is evil. Satanic. The most evil country any Satan could have made. Give us your name and where you are, the caller on Skype. This is Radio Biafra. Hello, Director. Good, uh, good morning uh, from Kofi Island. My name is uh, Lawrence Chukubia uh, Sokas. And where are you calling from? I'm calling from Kofi Island, Greece. From Greece, please go ahead. Okay, I want to say long live Biafra, death to Nigeria. Exactly. Okay. So I am so grateful that our dream country have come to stay and have come to realization. So I urge all Biafras to keep faith and continue in this restoration struggle that God Almighty will give us our Biafra this year onward because all of us have put uh, together for this struggle and continue to pray for it and it has come to reality today so we are saying long live Biafra so everybody rejoice for us to go to our promised land there's no more uh, one Nigeria one Nigeria is abomination is I told my pastor in the church even today they are uh, killing a lot of our people in the name of one Nigeria that we are Christians we are the people of God we don't have anything in common with these people and the everything about it is it is not hidden that we are the people of god we're supposed to go and serve god in our land and not serving it with the people that approve sharia law the people that approve child marriage the people that approve all kind of atrocity to make us to look as one that we are not one we are going to serve god in our way in our own way without no hindrance without no falsification because these people are trying to islamize us are trying to force us to be one whereas we are not so i said to my fellow Biafras, 
long live Happy New Year's. Thank you, Director. Thank you, and God bless you. You have spoken very well. This is Radio Biafra. We had a caller on the line. I don't know if he's still there. He is gone. They couldn't persevere. They could not sustain. And they left. We ask people to please, when you call Radio Biafra, you stay where you are, and we shall come to you. You will give us your name and where you are. We have a caller on Skype. Your name and where you are, please. This is Radio Biafra. Hello. Your name and where you are, you are having a party. When you finish your party, you call Radio Biafra back, please. We don't have time to waste. Wherever you are, we are welcoming you once again. But we must take your calls. All of you who are saying, oh, you don't take our calls, today we'll take it. Give us your name and where you are, the caller on Skype. Wherever you are, we are welcoming you once again. They are not listening. Give us your name and where you are, the caller on the phone. Your name and where you are. The caller on the phone, can you hear me? I can see a number here, 62. Is that Indonesia? They are no longer there. They are not there. Let's go to the line. This is Radio Biafra. You are welcome to the program. Go ahead, a former. Go ahead. Yeah, hello. Uh, my name is Sergio a former. Um, director, I want to thank you for your um, journey to Germany and uh, everyone there with you. And um, I'm thanking Major Brown this day for us to witness today the end of amalgamation and the new year of our Biafra. And uh, I want to urge everyone now we have seen that nobody is holding us, we are holding ourselves. So, I ask every every one of us to get up and let us march. March forward and go and take what belongs to us. If we're just sitting down there, people, other people will take what belongs to us. And we're just all over the world doing all kinds of dirty jobs just to live. Not even where you are, they don't even like you, they don't even love you. You're just there, shameless. We have become a shame of ourselves that uh, we don't even ashamed. I mean, we are no longer a shame of ourselves, of who we are. Let us realize who we are and return back to our land that God has given our forefathers. Let us go back there and worship him. He's calling us back. Yes, he's calling us yeah he's calling us back and i'm asking every one of us those who say oh if we get this biafra what are you going to do with it to have a, a second thought about it that's the only home you have if you don't as directors we always say all of us regardless of well regardless of which wife you married as long as you live overseas your family your generation is finished whether you marry a foreign wife, whether you marry a Nigeria, be a foreign wife or whatever, your kids are not going anywhere with you. So just know that, get it into your head. You have to provide a better alternative. When you say, my children, let's go. The work you're doing here, you get it in Biafra and they will follow you. Just like the Israelite, the, the uh, Israeli does. I remember those years when I used to live there. Their, their children, some of them already retired, returned back to Israel. Their children are in America, other part of the world. They migrated, they come back. Some of them already back because they have a better alternative. So they have a platform to return back to. But we, we don't. We used to send their kids back to the Nigeria, to the Beverly. They were kidnapped, no light, no road, nothing. Basic standard, basic stuff is not there. And director, one more thing I want to raise with you is, uh, please, um, not everyone started listening to the broadcast. Maybe it might be good to recap of uh, the document you are reading so people who miss the first part will uh, pick it up. This is all I want to say. And then the, finally, I want to use this opportunity to remind our executive committee, our final treasurer committee, that we are going to have a meeting this coming Saturday. I've already sent uh, him, uh, messages through Skype, but I uh, will send uh, a text message to remind everyone this Saturday we are going to have our treasurer meeting. That's all I want to say. And um, Happy New Year to my fellow beer friends and uh, director. Thank you very much. You've done well. And Happy New Year to your former friends from Australia. In Biafra land where we come from, 
in that very sceptered land, that holy land, the blessed land of Chukwabiyama himself, where he comes from. We are the children of the light. It is New Year. We have gone into 2014. We remember, we honor, we celebrate those that died that this man, this particular name may live. Those that gave their lives in service to Biafra, those who were killed because they were Biafrans, those who were despised because of who they are, those who were hated, those that are bombed, those of them who were deported, those of them who are economically disadvantaged, those who are politically disenfranchised, all the people suffering under the yoke and burden of the zoo, on this very day disappointed time this very second you are free you are free to pursue your freedom you are free to seek the face of god once again and once we have sought it and have revealed ourselves to him and him to us behold biafra shall come it shall come to stay we are the children of the most high we are the children of the sun and where we come from on this day, this very precise second, this very minute, that is light, once again, we offer our praise and our thanks to Chukwa Biyama, the Most High, the Supreme God, the Creator of the heavens and the earth, that upon Him we make our pledge, upon His statues we lay the foundation of the new Biafra, to offer to Him as our praise and our sacrifice that Biafra will be used to worship God and nothing else. We are holy people and we must remain holy. Any day we depart from that holiness, he will withdraw his blessing from us and we will be like those of the old. There will be no human sacrifice. There will be no infanticide. There will be no killing of any sort. There will be no discrimination. In no way can we tolerate bribery and corruption. There will be nothing at all that will drag us back or remind us of our time in the zoo. In Biafra land, it is the 1st of January in the year of our Lord 2014. The day that that yoke, that burden has been lifted, we go forth boldly, armed with every knowledge, armed with the documents we have at our disposal to proclaim to the world to all those that want to hear to all men and women of goodwill that Biafra is free and we're going to get it we are free the born that very burden has been broken what we now need to do is to put it into practice we are going to pursue it rigorously we are going to be peaceful we are going to fight we will do everything humanly possible to establish the sovereignty of the republic of biafra we are republicans by nature that is how we're going to remain and our land will be used to worship chukwa biyama god in heaven this is radio biafra wherever you are we are welcoming you because of the time and the significance of this very day we are going to recap our headlines we are reporting to humanity that radio biafra broadcasting from london has in its possession the amalgamation documents signed sealed and delivered by frederick lugard we have it with us we also have what they refer to as confidential documents we have the words of mrs lugard as well wherever you are whatever you are doing this is radio biafra we are broadcasting live on air you will give us your name and where you are please can you hear me no they can't hear me it is happening all over the place let's go to the phone give us your name where you, you are please. hold on a second can you can you hear me the caller on the phone this is radio biafra we are live on air give us your name and where you are please no the caller on the I'm phone can you hear me 
Yeah, I can hear you. I this can hear you like so clearly. I want to ask a question. I am still to work over. I want to ask a question. I have a very important question in my mind. I want to ask this question. Is there no way we can convey a letter to Good Lord Jonathan, sorry, Mr. President, Mr. Good Lord Jonathan of the Zoological Republic of Nigeria? Is there no way we can convey a letter to him, just like Obasanjo, the um, old gorilla of the Sango Water Farm, did to him, so that he will be able to? The understand that there is the existence of the Afa because a caller from New Zealand by then can make you for later ask some questions if Mr. President Guru of Jonathan is aware of the existence of the Biafra Republic and I want also to use this medium to refer to my brothers and sisters of Biafra that our strife and our efforts should be that of an ant because all and sundry should rise up because just like the um, previous caller said we should rise up we should fight with one heart one mind and one blood because if we really want to get this thing called biafra this is our most glory called biafra there is no time we don't have to keep wasting our time or discussing issues that are not relevant so these are my questions my dear brother tell me the issues you consider relevant what issues are relevant yes, in your opinion tell me I want my, to know. my suggestion my suggestion is this are there no way we can convey a letter we have done that we make a radio do you listen at all to radio biafra we have written to yes. governments of the world we have written to the senate we have written to Hanese. we have written to traditional rulers we have written to jonathan yes but if you start from nigeria you told her that we not is not aware and the whole letter also asked the same question this is why i'm asking the same good question. luck is aware of what we are doing he's aware of what asked is he aware of the existence of the amalgamation document which we have and the answer is no he doesn't have it nobody does or, or, or uh, i mean of course uh, he's still here with me hasn't gone anywhere else they don't have yeah, it thank you, sir. Thank radio biafra has it nobody else does please we have written to them and we shall continue to do so this is radio biafra we have Please give us a name and where you are, the caller on the coordinator's line. We are in London. Go ahead. Director, good evening. Good, uh, good morning. Good evening. Good evening. It is morning now. And uh, on behalf of my family, I bring greetings to all Biafras and friends of Biafra all over the world. This is Engelsen Mado and I'm calling from Sweden. At the same time, say Happy New Year. So, uh, I don't have much to say. At the beginning of this uh, program, I was so heartbroken. But at the same time, I told myself, there is no reason to cry. A voice said to me, wipe your tears and I shall cry no more. This year is no longer for shedding tears. Rather, it is for us to be strong and do what is right. And I want to call all my brothers and sisters all over the world to arise for the time has come. With what we hear this night, what they describe as their secret document, you can indeed see that God is with us. It arrives at the appointed time. God does his own things when he wants to do it. And whatever God wants to do, no man or woman can stop it. When we started this, when I started listening to Radio Biafra, 
it's like a like a play like a play but today look at where we are today and i appreciate all our efforts i appreciate those who are supporting us and at the same time a special thanks to the board members of radio biafra may almighty god continue to keep and guide you people till the end of this struggle and to all their friends all over the world may our god help us in this year 2014 the beginning of our freedom i call it this is a year of freedom and from today we are free because who god has set free that person is free indeed that is why we have this document just uh, on the 30th this document arrived for for the world to know what they did on 31st so as we have stepped into the new year we have entered into our freedom as time goes on we will begin to move step by step and then we, uh, uh, if Nigeria tries to stop us, like my sister Anita Lubog said, <coughs> I pity them because uh, this, uh, if this fight, if there will be any fight, it shall be a payback time. We will pay them back in ten fours. There will not be pains we feel in our hearts. They think we are happy the way we are living. Then they will know what they have cost. And by the time they realize it, it will just end the way they will want it. Thank you and God bless you all. And God bless Biafra. Thank you very much. You have done very well. God bless you and your family. You're a great lady. And it's an honor to call you a Biafra. We have people on Skype and they must speak to us we have people on the phone we must also take their calls give us your name and where you are the caller on the phone this is radio biafra my name is uj tiku i'm calling from toronto canada toronto is in canada you are welcome to the program the world is listening please go ahead yes see my greetings goes out to fellow biafra all over the world and um, I'm using this medium to, you know, get an insight as to what our initiatives are to galvanize our various um, ethnic groups around the Biafra region, more especially the ethnic, the Ibibio, the Anan. Um, for going through social media, you know, getting a lot of comments from people from various, um, from, from these um, various um, ethnic regions in Biafra land, I get this notion that most of them need information as to what our plans are for the inclusion in Biafra. So I would like an insight as to what our arrangements are to galvanize the various groups that makes up Biafra and not only the evil speaking part of it. Are you aware of um, a man called Goswil Apabio of Akwaibom State? Very well. Are you aware of, um, did you listen to yesterday's broadcast? Yes. Yeah. We said something. If you had listened attentively, we have said it time and time and time and time and time again that the people of Efi Kibibio, the people of Anang, the people of Ejo are more prepared and ready for Biafra more than we are. Did you hear the speech made by Apabio? Apabio said he wants economic integration, not cooperation between the south south and southeast so there are moves on that front we are one we are together they are waiting Uyo is one of the strongest bases we have back in biafra land they are ready and they are waiting that work has been done forget about those who we are fathered by house are full any men you cannot convince them we have them all over the place because when they came in they raped our women they impregnated some of them and they gave birth to rubbish they are the ones who will bear our names but they will oppose you because they will always behave like their father that is how you know a house of flani person anybody who violently says no to biafra you know the father is house of flani as simple as that that's that you don't need to do dna test that's the test for you 
Yes, and I'm um, very uh, thank you. And I'm can be a good one or no leave or make our own Biafra million or all over the world. Um, because this is an opportunity, in as much as um the board of directors in the Radio Biafra are doing their own part to pass on the information and energize most of us, you know, into achieving this life. This is a lot of this is once in a lifetime opportunity for us to achieve something that our forefathers, you know, set up set set up for us. So. I cannot appreciate any other strong young men in any other generation that can achieve this other than this generation. Having said that, I just want to remind every one of us all over the world that this is an avenue and an opportunity for us to empower ourselves economically. When I mean economically, it doesn't mean, you know, stereotypically, you know, giving us names that brings us down. This is an opportunity that, you know, you know, empowers us both with information and every other thing to empower ourselves economically. You know, so I just want to encourage every Biafran all over the world to do what is necessary to empower yourself economically and wait for the time to be called upon. Because okay, and when that time comes, I believe we're not gonna be wanted. So thank you so much, Director, and more grief to your elbow. Thank you very much. You have spoken very well, and we welcome that. Um, my heart was pounding. Um, I, of course, I'm very happy um, the way you spoke. What you said, in essence, is very simple. This is 2014. This is Radio Biafra. It is time to put your money where your mouth is. If you want us to succeed even greater than we have done, you support us. We will do, we will perform miracles, you will see it. But we cannot commence any action we cannot sustain. This is not 1967. We don't want to fight anything or go into anything for three years and then we hands up. No. Everybody, every coordinator must know that the people under their command, they must give us men and material to carry out this campaign men and material and that is this document we have is the clearest indication that god is with. what else do you need is it for god to come down from heaven we have the amalgamation documents we have every supporting document everything you need we have it let us go and get biafra for goodness sake mm -hmm. we need men and material we need to buy everything we need to go and take on our enemies and defeat them i don't fight to lose i don't fight to run away and come back and start talking rubbish I want us to fight and win. You are great people. Even Lugard said so, not me. You are great people. You must discover that greatness in you. And come and fight this battle with us. This is Radio Biafra. I hope people are still calling. Of course they must call. And I promise I'll be here for eight hours and I will do so. The time it takes people to wake up in the morning, go to work and come back, we shall broadcast to the world. I, I'm not like Barrister. Barrister sneaked away. He's having something. I'm not taking anything. This is Radio Biafra. Your name and where you are, please. Your name and where you are. Hello? Yes, your name and where you are, please. My name is Tinebu Akatiko. I'm calling from Malaysia. Malaysians, I love them. They are good people. Please go ahead. Yeah, I'm so happy that you have traveled and come back in peace. I swear God to God, I bless you all, always. And you too. Uh, but Nambi, I don't have much to, to do, but I want to make people that have been, uh, you forget to make people to know that we are now in a new country where we don't belong to uh, the Zoo Republic. And uh, I would like people to call in that country a zoo because there are living things in zoo. The country name has changed, Republic of Hellfire. Because <laughs> Republic, of <laughs> Republic of Hellfire means living things are in zoo, but that Nigeria is dead, and those people that believe in it are dead. So we should call it Republic of Hellfire. One more thing I want to contribute. You try to make people, remind people about uh, our donation as we are doing. Um, those people in, in our country, our Biafran land, should not forget that there are the way and do some little contribution because we need to be that temple. We need to, our transmitter is not going to stay outside and those land that have been donated 
with it. If they cannot contribute money, I think they can contribute something like cement, zinc, iron, plank, and some other things to build. Some people can volunteer themselves even to go and clear the land, even if it has never been cleared. You understand? So, for people to go contrary on need, at least we will remember those things for those people in our, in our country to know what they can do about it. Thank you. Thank you. Don't go away. When people call from Malaysia, they are always in a hurry and I like it. Their dedication to this sacrifice and paying this very tribute to Malaysia today on a day which marks the 1st of January 2014 in our land where we come from. I must mention Malaysia so people understand that they did not see but they believed. They recognized that there was something very special about what we are doing and they came out in force to support. That is why I don't forget them. That is why they are in my prayers. That is why anytime somebody calls from Malaysia, they always do me proud by the way they speak. I will take this opportunity following what our dear brother said to instruct you will tell all the coordinators in Africa through Rita Nibog, our dear sister who is representative, that they must fund Rita Nibog's office. Things are going to happen. Rita Nibog must have enough funds at her disposal to be able to do the work we ask her to do. They will contribute to make sure that they run their own offices back over there. They must start doing that immediately with immediate effect. People in Africa will contribute towards the running of Rita Nibogu's office. It should be done with immediate effect. Thank you very much, my dear brother, and God bless you. I love people in Malaysia. I love them very much. Thank you. This is Radio Biafra. Wherever you are on this planet Earth, once again, we are welcoming you. On a day we are going through the amalgamation, on a day we are bringing to the attention of humanity, the injustice, the humiliation, the treachery, the betrayal that is the amalgamation. We have the document here and we are bringing it to your attention. Let's take this call. Oh. Give us your name and where you are. This is Radio Biafra. My, my name is Emeka, calling from Biafra Land. Emeka, what is your surname? one name. Oh, beautiful Biafra name. Land. Beautiful name. I love and your surname. Uh, I, I want to it. find out. Uh, happy New Year. To happy New Year, my brother. Thank you. Um, Thank you. I want to find out. Where can I find your people in Biafra Land here so I can be the one of you, man? Do you want to be one of us? Yes. Are you a Biafran? I am. No, no. There is a difference between being an Igbo person and being a Biafran. Are you a Biafran? I am. I am a Biafran. I am a Biafran. So you accept that Chukwa Biama is your God? Oh, yes. He is my God. Chukwa Biama is my God. Thank you very much. I have taken down your number. I will pass it to our dear sister Rita Nibogos. I'll pass it to her office and somebody will call you. She's in charge of what happens in Africa. Somebody will give you a call and will direct you on what to do. Okay, thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you. And God bless you. God bless you, my dear brother. This is Radio Biafra. We are continuing as we said. The caller on the phone, can you hear me? We have a caller on the phone. Can you hear me? Yes, I, I can hear you. I can hear you, Director. This is Ute Ono from Ireland, from the Republic of Ireland. Please go ahead. Uh, good evening, uh, Barista, and uh, happy new year. Very happy new year to you, and welcome you to to London back. Thank you. I'm happy. I've been following you everywhere you go, and I'm very happy. Thank you. I just want to suggest because I, I heard when you were saying that uh, they have wrote uh, letters to all the world leaders and uh, all the traditional rulers, both in Nigeria and uh, in abroad. But what I want to suggest is this you know, all the big commercial markets in uh, in Nigeria, that's in uh, in Dafra in land, sorry. I, I'm just suggesting it, it would be also very good to send a letter to their 
they are leaders there, like uh, 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 the main market, Enugu, Aba, and the main market, Aba, on the main market, to enlighten them, because these are the people that we speak to men and women, uh, that, that business women, men and women in, Ibu, in uh, Biafra land, so that the news will start to secrete everywhere, because most of them don't know what is happening at the moment. So I didn't know if the, the letter had been sent to them too. So I just said, let me suggest this to you guys, so that it, it will fatten our movement. Uh, and I, I also suggest that my, one of my, <coughs> one of my uh, uncle, is a, is a chairman of uh, Obwetemen Market in Ugu. I didn't know, but I've, I've called him, he said he don't know anything about that. That was why I said, let me just call, you know, if they are saying anything, we are doing to, re to reach them. It will be a very good help for every one of us. Hmm? Yes, um, you have, your suggestion is, um, is taken. It's a very good one. And um, yeah. EKHP is listening and is going to do something about it. We'll make sure we write to all those people. We've written to traditional rulers. Um, I don't know, and Igbo associations, I don't know for, for, um, market leaders. Uh, but it's a very good idea. We need to reach them and also to reverend ministers or to reverend pastors or ministers, whatever they call them. We need to reach those people as well. We need to make sure that nobody can come up and say they are unaware of what we are doing. It's a very good idea and I welcome it and we're going to carry it out. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, okay, my man. Thank you so much. I'm still waiting for you to come to visit us in Ireland. Yes, I'm coming to Ireland. Yes, from here I will come to Ireland. Yes, and then before I go to Spain and then and then Italy. Thank you very much. This is Radio Biafra. Thank you very much. Thank you. And we are still broadcasting. Isn't it nice to see that a lot of people, uh, the calls are not coming as they used to come before. And we are still here. We said if you have been complaining before and saying you phone radio Biafra, you can't get through, this is your opportunity. If you call us this very night, you will be able to get through. We are transmitting from London. We are making it very clear to the whole world. We are bringing it to the attention of humanity that Biafra is here to stay. The amalgamation is here. And I shall go to the barrister. Barrister, can you hear me? No, Barrister can't. Let's go and take this call. This is Radio Biafra, the caller on Skype. You will give us your name and where you are, please. Hello, Director. Um, this is Valentine O'Shuela. Um, calling from London. Val is one of us. Um, yes, and my mother is calling. She's been calling since um, since New Year, but I can't pick her call because we have to remain professional. Please go ahead, go ahead, Val, go ahead. Thank you so much, um, Director. I, I thank God for the journey mercy that uh, Chukwu Abiyama has granted you, um, and you have uh, returned safely um, back to London from uh, Deutschland as a. Uh, um, Germany. I also want to thank you for the wonderful work you've done for us over there, unifying our brothers in Germany with the rest of the Biafran family. Um, I thank God and I know that more Biafrans are coming on board. I'm very happy about that. I just want to use the opportunity to wish all Biafrans, apart from those working directly in the uh, board of the area board of Radio Biafra and the Biafran, um, um, indigenous people of Biafran structure worldwide. Um, friends of Biafra, I just want to wish everyone a wonderful uh, uh, and smooth change of the year and a happy, healthy, and prosperous 2014, which will be capped with our, uh, our restoration of uh, the sovereignty of Biafra. I just want to say that everyone should continue to do what they have to do, continue to attend their meetings. Um, Director, most of the time I don't call that off any longer. What I do more is more of strategic work and spreading and doing the work that is done uh, behind the um, off, off, off air and um, contacting and strategizing. I think it's very important in, you know, that some of us realize when to allow some of the new scholars to do the calling in and then we continue to do other more important jobs that need to be done. 
I thank you once again. I can't continue. I can't. I mean, I thank you a billion times. Yourself, which of my four power on Monday, get going. I got it. I'm going. I thank every one of you for all the wonderful time, and you still continue giving us putting our time in this struggle. Uh, I, I don't know what are not enough, but you know that we are, we are very, very appreciative of what you do. And we are with you, shoulder to shoulder, not behind, shoulder to shoulder. Uh, just be confident about that. Thank you so much, and continue flying the flag. I God bless the African. I don't know if you permit me to sing our first stanza of the national anthem. What? Of course, please sing the Biafra national anthem. Welcome back. Sing it. Okay. At this day. Land of the rising sun, we love and cherish. Beloved homeland of our brave we shall protect the lives of we shall perish. We shall protect our hearts from all our foes. But if the prize is death for all who hold dear, then let us die without a shred of fear. Bravo, 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 beautiful. Thank you very much. That, that was wonderful. It is very fitting that on this very day, that a vocal rendition of our anthem will be sung on Radio Biafra. Thank you very much. You are one of us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. This is Radio Biafra. We have a caller on the line. We are on live transmission from London to the whole world. You will give us your name and where you are, please. Uh, this is Kelechi uh from Dallas, Texas. But I'm in Biafra land for the Christmas holidays. Thank you very well, much. You're welcome to the program. Please go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. I just wanted to wish you a happy new year from Biafra land. I've been listening to the show for some time. Uh, this is my first time listening to the, this is my first time, uh, going to Nigeria since I've been listening to the show. And everything you've been saying has been so, so true. As a matter of fact, I was listening to the show right now with some of my cousins who live here. Uh, I'm trying to spread the word. One of the things that I like that y'all do is that y'all enlighten and you educate. And I think one of the biggest problems with the people from America that you discuss is the fact that a lot of the people in America think that Nigeria is good. And I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that whenever they come back, they only come back during Christmas when everybody's happy and everybody's spreading money. And it's just not realistic. So one of the things that I did just to give myself a perception of what it was really like to be here I tried to put myself in a position of those that really live here. So before doing these things, I asked myself, for all those people in America that think that Nigeria is good, do two things. And if after this you still think Nigeria is good, I'll give you anything you want. The first thing you need to do, travel by Keke for five days. Go where you need to go. Run errands. See how things go. See the level of frustration on these people's faces. And then you tell me if you think Nigeria is so what have you seen so far is a good thing that you're from the U what do we have to do to get our people in the u.s to do what our people in germany are doing to do what those of them in malaysia are doing what do we need to do to the people in the u.s to wake up to be honest with you Demanti, Demanti. to be honest with you i think the thing that really needs that unfortunately i think something needs to happen just because i guess the adage is the evil man sees rain but he doesn't run until he gets wet. And I think a lot of the people in America are just so comfortable that they just think that, oh, well, the people there will make it. And they don't really realize. Whenever they come back here, they just think that everything is okay because they're only having to be here for 10 days or 14 days. And then the last thing I'll say before my credit runs up is that if you really think Nigeria is good, come to Nigeria with one of your white coworkers and then see what they think of you after they come back. And then you tell me if Nigeria is good. I like that. So... <laughs> I like that a lot. I, and I'm going to use it. 
I've learned something from you, and I'm going to use it, my dear brother. If you think that Nigeria is very good, bring one of your white friends with you. Take them to the zoo and see what they will think of you after that. After that, when they go back to work, they'll be dashing you banana from the window because they'll know you're a monkey. This is Radio Biafram. We are without fear in the presence of our enemies. That is what makes us different. We are without fear before them. We are at that God, Chukwa Biafra may love us. We are people that we do no wrong in as much as Biafra is concerned. It's important. That is the number one cardinal rule. You must be without fear in the presence of your enemies. This is Radio Biafra. We are broadcasting live all the way from London to the whole world. I have called the barrister. Barrister, you must answer me and come in. Please, barrister, can you hear me? Yes, absolutely, director. Clearly. You sound refreshed, but please go on. <laughs> director, you always have something to say. When I was speaking with you before, I said, please, take your mommy's call. You ignored me, and you took another guy. I said, well, they are all our brethren, according to the Jamaican. They, they are, they are I can't take my people. mom's call because I'm, I'm on duty. I am on duty. Yes. Biafra comes first. Please go ahead. That is true, but director, if I'm in your position, I will take mommy's call. To be honest, <laughs> because yeah, I don't want boy, you to act why. like Jesus Christ. I don't want you to act like Jesus Christ. He said those who are my family are they are the ones that uh, take the words of my of my father. As simple now, as that. Now you understand. Whatever it is, director, take your mommy's call. I tell you because we fight your mom. You will not be broadcasting for the whole Biafra. That is correct. I, I love and that. Barrister, you will stay with me. Barrister, man, is with me. Let me take this call. Barrister, remain with Go me. Ahead, okay. Remain with me. Give us your name and where you are. The caller on the phone. This is Radio Biafra. Uh, good evening, Nande. Good evening. Uh, this is Celeste Uchuku calling from Sweden. Okay. Thank you very much, Celeste. Go ahead. Uh, please, uh, once again, I want to say thank you to my director. You have so been wonderful, man. I love you. Thank you. Um, please, director, I want to complain a few issues concerning uh, this affair here in Stockholm because um, I must lament on this because it's giving me a little concern. Um, we are shouting about, uh, you know, crying about uh, for people to come out. And a lot of people here in Stockholm we need to come out, but they don't know how to coordinate. We need our direct coordinator call Oscar. Understand? So we have to make his number public to the masses. To the people, because I have a lot of men that I want to coordinate to join this movement. I have a lot of men. You understand? You, mean, I mean, uh, you, you have a lot of men in Sweden, is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. I have a lot of men that I want to join. I love this movement immediately, the ballot is here in Sweden. But I, this, this uh, idea of Sweden that they have here by you know, having their meeting on the scale, is, uh, I, don't, I don't understand that kind of... Uh, that kind of uh, it won't happen anymore. They will divide Sweden into the... Let me finish, please, my dear brother. Sweden should be divided into districts. If people are finding it difficult traveling, you should divide it into districts. There must be contact. There will be no meeting on Skype anymore in Sweden. That is what I said. There has been contact because, between people. Yeah, Ike Chukwe Nyagu should see to that immediately, please. Ike Chukwe Nyagu is there. There must be human contact in Sweden. If Sweden is too big, divide it into zones. We want Biafrans to know each other. It's important. That is, that is exactly what I want to complain. Thank you, my director. I'm good man. Thank you very much. And we have the brother's number. If you want it, we shall give it to Sweden. He knows a lot of people, not just that. I went to Germany, there we are together. In Frankfurt, we met people. They meet together in Frankfurt, meeting. In Munich, the same. We are not asking them to hold Germany to come to one place. No, it's difficult. You divide it up into districts, into zones. Let those who are within walking distance or traveling distance of each other get to know each other. We are the Afghans. Let's take this call. The caller on Skype, give us your name and where you are. We are Radio Biafra. Hello. Uh, no. The, let's see. Give us your name and where you are. The caller on Skype. Hello. Yes, your name, please, and where you are. We are Radio Biafra. 
Yes, I'm Mrs. Seabak. I'm calling from Greece. Mrs. Seabak, I'm from Greece. You're welcome to the program. Please go ahead. This is Radio Biafra. Yes, I want to know if you people have a representative here in Greece. We have people in Greece, my dear sister, we do. Okay, how would I contact them? Go to, are you on Facebook? Yes. Go and do a Facebook search. You know where you search for your friends on Facebook? Yes. Go there and write, be our friends in Greece. You'll find them. Okay. They are there. Okay, thank you. God bless you. Thank you very much. We are still taking calls from people as I give Barrister break to continue to refresh. Give us your name and where you are, the caller on Skype. This is Radio Biafra. Hello, Director. This is Chukwadu. Okay, we're calling from Sweden. Thank you very much. Okay, we, we yeah. are here. Go ahead. Okay. What do you have to say? Okay, okay. Uh, I, just want, I just want to comment on the guy that called um, from Sweden and saying that the coordinator here is not uh, doing, doing a great no, job. That, that is not that. I know that Sweden is strong. Okay, 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 okay. Sorry, okay, 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 okay yeah. please, please. Sweden no. is strong. What else? Nobody, say. nobody can say that. We are not saying that at all. You all we are saying I, is that I, we need contact meeting. That's all we are saying. But what I am telling you is that the, the, the guy, he would have asked him, have he, have he joined us to do any meeting in Skype before, before he start complaining. That what he would have asked him first. But if you complain that Swedish is doing this meeting through Skype, you ask him first, have you joined them to do the meeting? Then if you say yes or no, then you know what? What else to say? Not whatever he say. He said, "I give to to Iketch Iketch going. I go for him to talk to the Swedish people. We live in Sweden. We know how it work best for us. We have last week we have discussed that the people that live in Stockholm, they have their own coordinator. They will do their own meeting, but we have our own general meeting through Skype." You understand? People that live in Mambo, because the Mambo go to Mambo and Sudan and Stockholm is a big city that you can find their friends in, in over here. Other cities, maybe you can find two people, three people, four people, three people doing. They, 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 that's why we have Skype, Skype meeting. And we can join us one day and make, do, do our meeting through Skype. And you see that we are, we are connected. If that guy has uh, 10,000 people or 100 people that he said that he has in Sweden, you should start from Stockholm. You should contact him because he might, you know, because he might is not hiding. You have somebody that connect Stockholm. Why not to contact to contact those people? Why must he call a a a a a a a, 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 a and start saying what he doesn't he does not know? You understand? We have been telling people in Sweden that if you come out and we should do meeting in Skype, you know. I don't know, we have been doing meetings for since, since more than six months ago and I have been participating, participating on all the meetings. I don't know if, if he has joined once and he just come out and start uh, 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 talking against somebody. Uh, uh, he's not talking uh, against uh, anybody. Well, what he's saying is, 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 is I don't see uh, anything meaningful on what he's saying. Just continuing that the connect is not doing uh, what he should be doing. No, no, not at all. I will also defend him as well. I understand Sweden meets on Skype. Yeah. Coordinators of the various zones can meet on Skype. I have given an example here. Even in Malaysia, they are doing it. In Germany, they are doing it. You have coordinators everywhere. Those coordinators can meet on Skype. There is no problem. But the followership, the larger body must meet. There must be human contact. And we are saying that that has to happen in Sweden. If it's only two, three people, they should start it. The reason you say like not of Sweden, we have only two people there, only two people, you know, and they don't live in one city. Only two people in of Sweden? In the north, not of Sweden. We have only two people there, and they don't live in one city. Now and listen. Maybe take them, uh -huh. now, now listen. Do we have our people in the north of Sweden? Yes or no? Only two people, and they don't live in one city. We can I'm take them. I'm saying, are uh, there? Forget these two people. Are uh, there beer friends in the north of Sweden? I don't think so, because that's only two people we will find. Nobody's coming out anymore. We have only two people there, and here the city I live here, I am only be for here in the city that I live. So you are telling me that the whole of Sweden, the whole of Sweden is only, uh, no, no, please, I uh, just, just, uh, I'm not in Sweden, so I wouldn't know. I said the whole of Sweden, I said the north of Sweden, Kiruna, north of Sweden, is yes. two people, but the city I live here is two hours, 30 minutes to Stockholm, and Swedish transport is very, very costly, so for me to go to Stockholm to make, uh, to make a meeting every two, two weeks, I, how much do I contribute every every month? That I, 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 and how much do I, where I get the money? So we go to Stockholm every two to make. No, you are not getting the point. 
and like people that understand the point. Oh, that's not the point you're saying. No, 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 no. no. You, I don't, I don't think you are. You're not following my point. I said, what you're telling me is that beer friends are not in Sweden. Who says I, mean, so? I, will not, I will not contribute to money every month. No, that, and the money is irrelevant in this case. Uh -huh. We want people. I said in the city, Swedish is not, like in the north of Swedish. And you know, less people live there. Even Swedish people that live there is, is low. Foreigners don't live in the north. We have only two people there. The city I live here is after the distance I live here is Oribro, is two hours or three hours, three hours to, to, to Stockholm. If we are not up to uh, uh, the people that believe in Biafra, it's only me as the coordinator. I have, we have been connected in this city. I've tried to talk to them, but they, they're not interested. I've shared more than uh, 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 50 uh, uh, flyers, giving both the, the new people, but they're not interested. Okay, so stay, stay where you are. Let, let's take this course from Sweden. Just uh, remain okay. where you are. Don't go away. Stay where you are. Okay. Um, yes, we haven't got some mad on the line, please. Go ahead. I'm listening. Yeah, director is me. We have solved uh, this issue. My brother got called from Stockholm. Uh, we discussed that on our last meeting. We will be coordinating ourselves on the uh, on each cities then the the coordinators will be meet uh, we then we have a skype meeting with the overall coordinator who will be reporting to the rep the european representative then to report to radio biafra that is how it's going to work now so we are going to coordinate ourselves if you are in stockholm we now have a coordinator in stockholm very soon you will hear from him from 1st of January to, 30th, uh, to 31st of January. These three main cities in, uh, in Sweden, Stockholm, Gothenburg, and, uh, and uh, Marmor, we hold their meeting and we will see how it goes. And from there, they will, uh, the coordinators will take it up. Then in other little, uh, other northern area where there are no much uh, Biafrans there, then the Biafrans will still be meeting on Skype with the coordinators because this Skype something has a limit, uh, limit, people, limit amount of people that is allowed to get uh, to do the Skype contact. And we cannot be holding this meeting when our people comes out like that. Therefore, it is, we, we have dissolved it and we will be coordinating ourselves on, uh, on different cities starting from this January. So, don't misunderstand the person that called Destiny and then uh, don't misunderstand him too, director, because <laughs> I don't really know what he That's it. It's been, it's been clarified. I don't know if it's... Okay, can you hear me? Yeah, don't say that we have uh, let people that will connect to stock of okay. Mamu and Gotham from our last meeting. That the person would have asked for our, our cabinet or not coming to online, saying that he doesn't understand how they connect to Sweden. That no, he, he, I'm, he I'm sure he has had this conversation yeah. and I will make his number available to you people so he can contact him and make him part of the family that is what we want to see we want that to be contact thank you very much for calling we want contact to exist amongst our people this is radio biafra the barrister is still with me barrister man music can you please respond to me Yes, director, you have to update me. Please go ahead. Because my alarm is going to be intermittent. <laughs> you have to update me so that I know where to follow from this. Please go ahead. Um, we are reporting, of course, the what else is there. Today is a new year for us. It's a new dawn. This is the year that Chukwa Biyama has decreed that we have to do everything humanly possible within our powers to get Biafra this very year do you know barrister that the 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 new moon starts from today can you believe that no I don't this is amazing it's a sign the sign the new the moon starts the good things to come on our head a sign that we've been liberated a sign that that is freedom for the Africans. a sign that we didn't do anything wrong because for you to be punished, the director, you have to do something wrong. Okay. According to the law, according to the criminal law of England and Wales, where we are, for you to do, for you to be punished, you must have done something wrong that requires your punishment. The people of Biafra, the people of the empire, did not do anything, but we are punished for doing nothing, just for being clever. Just for being intelligent, that's why we are police director. And in the big shame 
that we allowed this crime for too far too long. But my utmost happiness is that it's ending, and it's almost ending, Director. We are ending this zoological country called Nigeria today. Tomorrow is a fresh day. As you rightly say, every theatre man or woman should look for the flag. Fly it anywhere you want to fly it. Fly it with power, with influence, with pride, with your heads standing up high. That the subjugation, the slavery, the marginalization has come to a big end. The houses are not too happy because their flares are going away from them. They are not happy because all in the loot and steel will very soon cease. The young ones are not happy. These are the people who are coming for conference. They are no longer happy when they saw the reality. Everybody remains quiet and now they are behaving like good boys and girls. Unfortunately, we are going home. And director, nothing will stop our going home. Nothing. God has given us that particular audience. He's given us the passage. He's given us the power to go back home. And that is why we are all going home. Very soon, we will clear the Afra because the time is almost 10 minutes to 12 a.m. here in the UK. Director, you take it. I'm still standing by with you. There is no refreshment, Director. I'm not standing by. Barrister, uh, uh, you know, I care so much about you. <laughs> but this <laughs> evening, I am struggling to believe you. <laughs> Director, please take this away from me. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're a good man. This is Radio Biafra. We must continue to transmit. I am not tired, but most people are tired. Some has left this very program. Some have gone to parties, but the phones are still ringing. I must answer them. The caller on Skype, your name and where you are, please. Yes, hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Your name and where you are, this is Radio Biafra. Yeah, this is President Chibuke Okobo. I'm coming from Dakar, Senegal. Dakar is in Senegal and they are wonderful people because there are beer fans in Senegal. Please go ahead. Yes, please forgive me because my voice, I have prayed so much and I'm so much happy. I lost my voice in the process because I've been praying for us to see this beautiful day that the Lord has made. <laughs> so I want to say Happy New Year to all the radio beer fans. A crew, we are from at home and uh, the rest of the world. And I want to say Happy New Year to you, and Khan, uh, Karen Monde, and Barrister Mamezu, and the rest of us. I have um, a little contribution that I want to bring up here. But before then, I will not forget to say that you are a great man. And you are, I, I used to call you uh, my, my compass of our time. Martin Luther King of our time and Nelson Mandela. Your voice makes the enemies to run away. And I want to tell you that whenever I hear your voice, I, I see a volcanic eruption coming up from every, every side of the world. So I want to congratulate you once again and welcome you back to your base. Here goes, yeah, here goes my uh, suggestion. I think uh, it is high time we begin to push some kind of strategies down home while we are waiting for our translator to get home. The strategies that I'm trying to bring up here, you know, during this period of time, December, January, Easter, there is a lot of marriage going on here, traditional marriage, white wedding, and people used to bring a lot of cards and uh, gifts given to people. I think it's, it's going to be also a uh, 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 a link for us to see if we can print something like stickers of Biafra flag, distribute it to people at home, even share it to the other people, share it to the taxi drivers and uh, the, the, the car owners or car owners, just as we used to have in Nigeria, uh, 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 the Zeus flag, you know, the stickers uh, uh, printed and pasted on the cars and everywhere. 
I just want to see the, 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 the flag of Biafra flow everywhere in the eastern part of Nigeria. I mean, in the Biafra land. If something of this nature can be looked into, and uh, I think people at home will begin to know what we are doing. Why do we wait for our transmitter to get home? Because <clears throat> I have talked about bringing this topic for a very long time, but I think today is the right day for me to bring it so that we can get into it. When you look at some stickers that people are posting on their cars and their shops and what have you, most of them doesn't even make any meaning to me. It doesn't have any significance. Therefore, it's a word that the whole world needs to see. And the people at, at home must be carried along with us. So by doing it this way, for example, if I'm having a wedding, if there are gifts that I want to give to people, after printing my picture of my me and my wife or whatever, I will make a small <coughs> flag of Biafra, print it and put it there, so that when I give it to you, when you look at it, you see the idea. What is this for? I will explain to you, this is flag of Biafra. Biafra is here now. We are not talking about 100 years again. I'm talking about now. That is my first suggestion. Then secondly, I want to say, something about the amalgamation of Nigeria. When you are reading the, should I call it the, the, the letter or whatever that uh, Lord God and his wife uh, uh, put together to bring us together, I have about several friends with me. Most of them were crying, shedding tears, asking, is this why we name our currency, our Nigeria currency Naira? That some people have come to transcend that Naira into never allow Igbo rule again as Naira. So I begin to look into some facts that you, you brought up from that particular uh, documents. So now, what I want to say in Russia is this because I don't want to waste the time. We are their friends, we are everywhere in the world, and we are going home. Nigeria is already expired. We are celebrating the new dawn of a new era. I mean, a new country of our own. And I want us to stop arguing. Stop questioning. You speak Igbo, you speak Igbo, you, you speak this. No, the language is not our problem for now. We need to speak one language that the world will listen to. So I don't want to go there. Polar that spoke Igbo have called back to say sorry or whatever and we that it doesn't even any hurt to anyone. So I want to go out from that side. Um, if we should start talking this transmitter should go back home on what is left, if it's money or whatever, somebody has been calling from Sweden or from Germany somewhere asking how much is it possible for the money to be divided up among the among the among the people according to uh, among the countries where their friends are lived or whatever? The answer has been done. It's been done, but I thought it's been it's been done anyway. It's been it's been I don't know if your coordinator haven't told you already. It's been done. What we are telling people what they must know is that there is need for us. It's very important to sustain this struggle. If people have been contributing monthly, they should look to contribute every two weeks or every week. It has to be a weekly thing because we have so many things to do in 2014. The world must know we exist this very year, even here in London. Thank you very much, my dear brother. What you're saying is very valid and I accept it. We must make it very clear that we have gone into 2014 in London. We have gone into 2014 in London. This is Radio Biafra. We are announcing the death of the Zoological Republic and from its ashes, like the phoenix of legend, comes Biafra. Wherever you are on this planet, we shall offer a very small prayer to Chukwa Biama. But let's take this call first. Give us your name and where you are. This is Radio Biafra. They call on the phone. Uh, good morning, uh, Director. Good morning. Happy New Year. Happy New Year and uh, and uh, Happy New Year to all the members of the Radio Biafra London. Thank you. 
Thank you, my dear brother, and God bless you, and Happy New Year once again. The barrister is with me. Is that correct, Barrister Mamezu? Is that correct? Barrister Mamezu, can you hear me? Director, I am almost at your disposal. You are a I good man. Here. Barrister, we are going to pray. I want to pray to Chukwu Abiyama. I have to pray in a language, language of my ancestors, in the language of my progenitors. If there is anybody who can, please pray also in the Bibio and in Ethic languages that are welcome to do so. If you have people in Jordan, must do so because this year is pivotal. This year is important in our history as a people. And we must start by dedicating it to Chukwu Abiyama himself, direct and no other. Because he gave laws to Moses and he said, Thou shalt have no other God but me. Those are the words of Chukwu Abiyama, handed down on a tablet of stone to Moses in Mount Sinai. Or on Mount Sinai, I must say, because my grammar has to be correct. On this very day, na bokonyo wani Jehovah kusuri le kendiaga eze bube onye kere libe no wachukwa abia ma chukwa kike aine dra hayanso anye na boku yani me moone zio kuna aria yana asna fanka ni banye ni me ya ko wete organi hu ko wete hona anye ko wete udoni me ndo mo biya febo blahano onye wani na chineke. I never love your friend and your friend. I can ask you because you are not going to be able to do it. I can ask you because you are not going to be able to do it. I can ask you because you are not going to be able to do it. I can ask you because you are not going to be able to do it. I can ask you because you are not going to be able to do it. I can ask you because you are not going to be able to do it. I can ask you because you are not going to be able to do it. I can ask you Anye hapro gine fechi ozo Anye mene mpuni ne Anye na rogi sigi biko ba aranye Sachanye kanyedu kwa hongo ozo biko 
Mihi ni beta mazi kaya Ebo ndaga boko Sinezie nezie na hapo kuru nyomwa Habu jihova nkuse lenkendiaga Hapo kuru tupu abia mwabaza huku Mihi nkewa Uwea hoza njine pepera Uwea hoza njine abia alirua Mwabu na hagu mwabu chuku abia ma Ise 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 Barista you with me you're a good man. In God's name, Amen. Of course, in His only name, Tukwa Biama. Barista, I shall proceed. I can see you're looking at a glass of red wine. Something is telling me that Barista is looking at a glass of red wine. I don't know why. I don't know why. you're right. For a change, you are right. You see. You see, I told you, because I know Barista very well. Barista, you will remain with me, you're a good man, and whilst I take this call, and I will say Happy New Year to the person because Biafra has come. I will say Happy New Year to you, the caller on the phone, this is Radio Biafra. Automatically. Go ahead. Um, good day, sir. Happy New Year. The same to you, my dear brother. Happy New Year for all Biafra tonight, this morning. I, I, I thank the Chukwa Drama himself. And then um, he has said the prayer. I have been waiting for this prayer. I started from the beginning and um, I'm going to wait to the end. So um, I promise to worship on Radio Biafra because this is where we worship. We started it and we're going to end it together. You see? And I um, want to assure you that 2014 is now, and nothing will change any situation. There is nothing that will shake us, there is nothing that will make us shake or to fear. Now, the music has started, and um, I want to assure you that as long as this life we are alive you know and you have confirmed that you are with some people you are with people there are people who are with you for me to stay in this house since 6 p.m to this hour and waiting to go further we tell you there are people who are there with you and um, I want to tell you that starting from this year to the first, that all the things that we've been asking for God to, to, to deliver, everything will come under, under, under seconds as we ask. Because everything today I have listened, I have watched, I have, you know, Listen to all things that happened today, and I, I, I noticed that everything that we have been asking God to do has been delivered. So there is nothing more or things to worry about again. The only thing that we will be doing for this moment now is to celebrate and to thank God more and more because God has given us everything. All the instruments, you will see it before. Before before the, the the end of this January, you will see all the instruments, all the things that you, 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 you ask for the friends. We have been doing it. We run around every day to to tidy up, to get our equipment, to go to our land brother. And um, I believe that God Himself has done His own work for us. So. I am pleading for all our members, all the global citizens, all over the whole world, whether you are white or black, as long as you are Biafra, this is the time God has finished his own job. And this is our time to march on. Now, nobody should cover his face anymore, because this is the hour. The hour is right now. The time is now. So there is nothing to fear anymore. I don't think we should use any word like fear anymore. There is nothing that will stop us to move on. I wish you Happy New Year, Barista Manmezu, Karo Mande, all the members of Radio Biafra, people in Malaysia, all over the world, all the people 
anywhere they hide. I wish every one of them Happy New Year and good year. And I will say, my God Almighty, our God, Ukwabi Amaro, should take over everything that we are doing in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen. We must continue to broadcast. A lot of people have fallen asleep. Some has given way. These are the people who are taking to battle with us. I, I'm sitting down in one place for six hours. In fact, for six hours and 32 minutes in one single spot with only water as my company. And I'm not tired. I slept very late yesterday. I am not tired because we are Biafra is concerned. I can never be tired because the good lord is my witness there is something i want to tell people to do who is on the line give us your name and where you are please do we have the caller on skype no we don't we don't have them that is something i want people to do i would like them to consider go and tell your wife for the men for the women you do the same tell your husband not to call you darling or honey or whatever it is that you call yourselves ask your wife to call you Biafran as a term of endearment your wife your husband should call you say good morning Biafran to you in the morning you will see how you feel just try it for a few days it is also a very romantic name in case you've forgotten you can say you are a Biafran. Let your wife call you Biafran rather than calling you honey or sugar or sweet. This is Radio Biafra. Give us your name and where you are, please. We are in London. Hello, Director. This is Arthur Milton Johnson coming from Norway. God bless you. Please go ahead. And bless you too. Um, on the back of the Bible, I have uh, read the Psalm 80, which uh, the title said, a prayer for for the nation restoration restoration then i have also pray, also prayed on psalm 107 just a moment please go ahead go ahead yes a moment yeah. can you yeah yes go, are, are you okay now yeah i'm okay i'm okay yeah yeah, yeah. the text the title on 107 said, In Praise of God's Goodness. Then, uh, the next, uh, the next uh, uh, verse will be 79. Psalm 79. Just a moment, please. Yeah, it says, A prayer for the nation's deliverance. So, that's the next uh, verse now we have to pray for. For Biafran, for the great nation of Biafran. And at the same time, I want to inform, I want to remind you about what a brother said a few minutes ago about message to be delivered. I think uh, I I I buy the idea with him that message also delivered to schools in the Biafra land, in the motor parks, in the marketplace, in the churches. Let the message be delivered because since the transmitter have not been in Biafra land. Then, if this message we send to schools, marketplace, motor parks, and the uh, 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 churches, I think uh, we will get more people who know more exactly what we are into before our translator will land. So, I yeah. say, let me find and uh, inform you about this. I'll send a text message, but I find out the text message has not got to you yet. So, I'm um, using this opportunity to say, May Almighty God bless every Biafran all over the world and the Biafran dreams. And may Almighty God bless the board of radio, uh, radio Biafra, uh, board of directors, you, which you are the head. May God strengthen you and your members. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen, amen and amen and amen. Thank you very much. I will keep telling people, ask your wife to call you a Biafran rather than darling and see what will happen. Thank you, thank you very much. I will say that to my please, wife. Bye -bye. Tell, tell your, tell your girlfriend, tell your partner, 
anybody that calls you any name tell them that the nickname you like just call me a Biafran. that will do the business you you'll be amazed as to what will happen this is radio biafra we have people still calling us i love biafrans i'm telling you they are dedicated your name and where you are please the caller on skype your name and where you are can you hear me no they cannot hear me they cannot hear me we must go back to the line and take this call we must go back to the line and take it they have been waiting we have the caller on skype can you hear me yeah your name and where you are please your name and where you are yeah this is um Odinda is a calling from san antonio texas united states you are welcome yeah. to the program from san antonio this is radio biafra we're in london please go ahead actually um i am highly impressed by this program going on and um I know it's actually a leap into a greater exploit that the Biafrans are going to do. Um, I was listening to Radio Biafra, especially last week on the, um, when the, the director was in, in Germany, in Bern, Germany, and uh, I was so impressed that people all over everywhere are coming together to see that we actualize this dream that the late leader of the Igbo land left for us. I am really, really impressed. And um, I send my greetings to all Biafrans that has actually been by your side, the director, making this program a reality. And um, you in particular, that actually has taken it upon yourself to make sure that we are informed because basically having Biafra alive in diaspora tells us that definitely Biafra is going to be alive in the land of Biafra not in the land of Nigeria that is correct yes because uh, it's a dream and today in the United States uh, we are still in 2013 but I know back in Nigeria I've spoken with my people they are already in 2014 and um, I usually call Nigeria an entity the entity Nigeria has aspired the vacuum Nigeria has inspired. It is occupied by people we don't know. I do not actually see a place where insecurity, uh, religious disparity, and uh, inequality is the order of the day. As a place I belong. Because injustice to one is injustice to all. And a single injustice method on any Biafra anywhere is injustice to all Biafras. And um, my director, I want to urge you on my own part to keep up with this space. And do not forget that we have infiltrators, which I have actually noticed. Some people pre pretend to be their friends. Like as I said, I introduced myself as the Odina Charles. I'm from Enugu State. Government, a hallow at the community to be precise. I know my but some people will actually go on Biafra pages that we are using to bring ourselves together with fake identity and pretend to be Biafra and infiltrate all these things and they end up bringing up one issue or the other in common, in common flash they, they actually engage the real Biafra in war and it will be Hello? Yeah, good evening. Uh, good morning, uh, my brother Nambi. This is Ufanya Diba from Denmark. Your name and where you are, this is Radio Biafra. From Denmark. Can you hear me? All right. Um, uh, from Denmark, uh, we're sending our greetings and... Um, uh, blessings to all the friends all over the world. Thank uh, you. Thank you. Thank you for being my for keeping us alive to this point. Uh, we just want to say happy, happy New Year to everybody, and then uh, happy New Year, to all of us. 
Thank you very much. Thank you. Breakfast. And uh, I, want, I want to just add something that uh, we're suggesting that every Biafran from now on will tell the country that whether, wherever they reside or wherever they are, that they should not no longer refer to them as Nigerians. That okay. All right, no problem. I'm here. So. Okay. This is Radio Bia for the caller on Skype. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Director. Happy New Year and Happy New Year to all Bia friends. This is Mrs. Priscilla Nussim from Atlanta, Georgia. Thank you very much. You're a great lady. Thank you very, very much. And we wish you the same and your wonderful family. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, we are all happy that today we are live to get that document of uh, the end of the amalgamation of the of the Nigeria or the zoo. I would say today it's not the zoo; it's the Republic of uh, Looting, <laughs> the, the Republic of Bribery, yes, the Republic of a uh, uh, killing and the republic of uh, all atrocities it okay. is not a it is not by by our power or by our might but the lord made it that the the appointed time is this time and all of us everywhere in the whole world all their friends must put all our hands on deck to make sure that this does not slip away from us Yes, I agree with you. I, I yes. agree with you completely. I agree. Thank with you. you. Yes, Lord Luga said that the, like, mm, the Igbos are great people. Why is it that we wait for the the paper that Lord, Lord Luga wrote hundred years ago to tell us that we are great? <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I think we waited too long. We did. We did. Then when we go to the Bible, everybody is saying in Psalm one thirty nine. Verse 14 said, say, I, thank, I thank you because I am awesomely made, wonderfully made. The, the same verse said that we are all wonderfully and fearfully made, which means the Lord has already made the evils great before Lord Lugas, in only that Lord Lugas saw it, not that he said it. Yes. He saw the greatness in the in their friends. It doesn't matter where we are. We are either we are in Igbo land, or we are in Akwa Ibom, or we are in Cross River, or we are in Bindu, Bindu, um, the uh, River State. We say today is the beginning of the African nation, and we are not going to relent because we have the mantle on our hand. And we must pass it. You know how the the relay um, relay goes. Of course. Every country must hold their battle, uh, uh, the, um, baton. Yes, that is and correct. And pass it on to every indigenous of Biafra. That is correct. Until we pass it on to the person that will be the president or the prime minister or whatever in of Biafra, and that day. We will cross. The, we will finish the rest. Of course, we will. And I thank you, uh, uh, our director. And uh, we are going to wait because we are going to invite you back to United States. I and know. this time around, <laughs> it will be a different ballroom table. I look forward and, uh, to that. Ha yes, Happy New Year to this all your friends. <laughs> Happy New Year to uh, Barista, to director, to everybody all the coordinators all over the world more greed to your elbow and i say more greed to your elbow until don't relate on never never yeah, until we get our girlfriend and i have my 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 best man here i called him today i said i called my say happy new year mr biafra that's better that is okay. better he wants to say something to of thank course, you. Of course, he's a Biafran. That's his name. Don't yes. call him sweetie or darling anymore. Call him a Biafran. Hello. <laughs> Hello. 
Yes, Hello, Martins, you are listening. You are one of us. You are yeah, one of us. Yeah, this is Martins. I miss you. I'm calling from Atlanta, Georgia. You are one of us. Please go ahead. Yes, I want to say Happy New Year. I want to say thank you very much for the great work that you are doing. Traveling all over the world, preaching the gospel of Biafra. I'm impressed. Thank you very much. I want to use this opportunity to say thank you to uh, Barisiman Mezu. I, I, I like his analysis, especially when he's talking about the um, uh, all the things concerning the zoo, uh, the legal issues, um, the uh, uh, economic issues, as he gives the analysis. I want to thank him very much. And I want to say thank you to Uche Mefo, who has done a great work for the Biafran people and is continuing to do so. I want to say to him congratulations uh, for, for your baby and may God continue to prosper you and your family. Thank you very much. And to the great woman, uh, Tara Monday, I say Happy New Year. Thank you very much for coming out. Your love for the Biafran people will never be forgotten. You are a great woman and we love you dearly. Thank you for the work that you have been doing for us. I want to say to the Biafran people, Happy New Year to all of you, wherever you are, all over the world. You have done a great job. All of you that have contributed in one way or the other in advancing this cause, I want to say thank you very much. And there are some people from my home area, Obas in Berry, that have spoken. Uh, some are from um, Mbitolu, Ikeduru area. I want to say thank you very much for being brave and coming out uh, for this struggle. This is a very important struggle for all of us. We must continue until the restoration of Biafra is fully achieved. Thank you very much. Happy New Year. And I'm glad that the zoo has expired today. It, it has gone into the into history. That the amalgamation, the criminal amalgamation of Nigeria has come to an end. And our people must begin now to see themselves as a free people because we can no longer go back to slavery. Never again. I say never again. And I use this opportunity to call on all the heads of nations that are listening to us, all the people around the world that are hearing our voices to know today that Nigeria has expired and we have nothing to do with it again. We are a free people and we want you to help us to restore our freedom. Uh, we, 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 we want to avoid any conflicts or killing of people, innocent people. And this is why we want you people to come out now and help us to bring this about, uh, bring it about, uh, peaceably. But if Nigeria refuses and those monkeys, uh, the, the, the rat that calls himself, Ulusego Abasanjo, he must remember this. His days are not bad. That rat, that ragged man of utter farm that has consumed the lives of Biafrans and have made our lives miserable. We warn you to stay away from Biafra land. All of you, President Goodluck Jonathan, begin now to walk to let the people surrender, go hand over sovereignty to the peoples. Let the Hausa people go their way. Let the Fulanese go their own way. Let the Biafran people go their own way. Rather than prepare the papers to hand over sovereignty to the people, these idiots are running around in APC. I don't know what they mean by APC. This is the time for Yoruba to go and form their own Ududuwa Republic. This is a day for the Arewa North to stand for their own independence take your own arewa and form it and leave the Biafran people alone enough is enough 100 years in the wilderness of death and destruction is enough and we want all people all over the earth that are listening to hear our voice today 
and this is my contribution. Thank you, Director, and good night from Atlanta, Georgia. You did very well. Thank you very much, my dear brother. Thank Martin Sanusim is one of us. He is one of us. He is part of the family. Him and the wife are part of what we are doing. You have been calling. The caller on the phone, you will give us your name and where you are. This is Radio Biafra. Yeah, good morning, my director from Pakistan. And my name is Igwechuku, a Pesuku, and from the state in, in Sulaka government. I want to use this opportunity to thank you so much for your good work you have been doing. I've been listening to your voice every year in, in Germany. I've been following this program up, and I'm very, very much happy for you. For working uh, for all black friends all over the world, I thank you so much because I'm I'm very very much happy. I want to wish you happy new year and all the board of other uh, black friends and the workers and all your crew members. I want to thank you so much for your wonderful job that you're doing. I'm very very much happy hearing this for in this in Biafra. I'm very very delighted. I'm very very much happy to hear this once again in my lifetime. Thank you so much, the, uh, me, uh, Director. I thank you for your wonderful job. May God continue to bless you. And I wish all your family members happy new year and prosperous new year. And I want to thank all the blessings for all the good work that they've been doing. I want to thank them, to, I want to thank them so much to keep on working together as the blessings. May God bless us in Jesus' name and prayer. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you very much. You have spoken very well. This is Radio Biafra. This is your radio station. This is how we know those who are men. Some have stayed with us. Others have fallen by the wayside. We are resolute. We are resolute. There is nothing we will not do for Biafra. If we have listeners, I can broadcast for 12 hours non-stop. And I will not leave that same spot. Because this battle we are in is a battle that requires resilience. I don't give up easily. Heaven knows I don't. I do not give up easily at all, at all, at all. Because Biafra must come. The caller on Skype, this is Radio Biafra. You will give us your name and where you are, please. Can you hear me? The caller on Skype, can you hear me? We had a caller on Skype, they are not there anymore. Uh, the phone and see who is there. The caller on the phone, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Your name, please, and where you are. We are Radio Biafra. That's good. This is uh, Sunday Ukraine. I'm calling from Ukraine. From the Ukraine, please go ahead. We are listening. The world is listening. That's good. Uh, actually, I just want to thank you, Mr. Mamdes, for the work which you have been doing for your relentless act to, towards the, the Biafra store. Uh, I've been a member and a, 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 a very good listener of this radio Biafra, but the fact that today happened to be my first time of calling the radio. You know, I've been listening since uh, the broadcast started. <coughs> Unfortunately, I left for somewhere. I came in and I, I, I find out that you're still online. That shows me in the kind of money you are. You know, uh, this reminds me, I could remember very well that when I was a young, you know, when I was a kid living in the village, uh, I was we were like doing some work in our house. So uh, we find out a lot of guns. That I've been buried, you know, some of us that were grown up uh, in the village, you know, how we, the village toilet, something of that nature. You know, I asked, yes, yeah, that is that. So I asked my mom, Mom, what is this? Where are all these gone? She told me that this gun belongs to the Biafran soldier, that they buried it here in our toilet because after the, 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 the war ended, they have no other option other than to throw away their gun. They now put all the gun in the toilet. This is what happened then, I don't know when, 1960 something when they do the fight. So this is happening in my own house, in, the, in our village that my mother, they raised where they bought me and they go me. In 
me switch in other state. I am from there. So I'm calling from Ukraine. Namde, I just want to thank you for your work. And I'm praying that God will give you the heart, the power, the all that you needed to carry us along. You know, I've been in canvas to be here in Ukraine. I happened in the city that we are living in Harry I happen to be one of the first person who listened about this radio therefore. I told a lot of people, but today I don't just really know why I decided to call. Sometimes I will call, but it didn't go it, it doesn't go through, so I decided not to call since we have been listening for the past seven months for this radio therefore. But today happened to be the first time I call. Why? The amalgamation of this Nigerian, I mean, Biafra from the, 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 the unwanted marriage they put us into. The, the lugar of a thing. Thank God today we have come out of it. 2014 is our year. For those of us who are still sleeping here in Ukraine, because I used to tell a lot of our friends, they said, some of them tell me that guy leave this thing. Um, let's wait and see what will happen. But I'm still happy the fact that some people are still even without sleeping, going to the club, doing other things, but they keep on listening, calling, all the all over the world. But I just want to thank all the editorial board as well, those that are working, doing all that is necessary to make this thing a reality. I pray that the God Almighty will see us through in this. Biafra is a spirit. Anything you want, you will get from Biafra. As long as your hands are clean and you serve this very wonderful country that Chukwa Adama himself made. He created this country and he put us in it. I consider myself privileged every morning, afternoon and evening, anytime I rise up and I remember where I come from, any day I wake up and I say to myself, I'm a Biafran, any day I wake up and I say to myself, you are a child of the sun. I feel very special. Not many people can say that that God is indeed where they come from, that their country is holy. Where I come from is called Biafra. That land is sceptered. People don't know the meaning of when you say that a land is sceptered, they don't know the meaning of it. They should go and check it in the dictionary. That land is holy. That land is for blessed people. That land is for the brave, those who stand in front of their enemies without fear. That is the land that we are going to reclaim. That is the land we will dedicate to the praise of Chukwa Biyama for eternity. That is where I come from. That is where I was born. That is where I will die. That is where I will be buried. Because that is where I come from. I am a Biafran. We have a call on the phone. You will give us your name and where you are. For ourselves, we are in London. Yes. And it's me again. Go ahead. Me again. It is me again. My name is Chineke Mam from Germany. So you have been with me for the past seven hours. I will not go to bed until you, you go to bed. Oh my goodness me. There is no I better captain you. than you. My dear you Lord, are, I would like you to serve beside me. I swear. You are everything. Why should somebody go to bed when you are awake? Why should they deaf and go to bed when you are awake? Excuse me, what are they doing? And please, I don't say you are not right. You are right. You are a genius. You are steadfast. You are just everything. You are the way that Barrett, that, 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 that Nandi flies with. I am here. I will stay awake until you go to bed. And there are friends, many are awake until you go to bed. What I'm trying to tell, tell the British people, they should tell or look at that you shouldn't rob our, our ego by telling us that we are great. We are great. We've been great. I think he copied, they copied the name Great Britain from the Eagles. <laughs> we have been great people. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm not sure that we are asking that name before he wrote that we are great. I'm not I'm not sure either. I'm not sure I can tell you that. Exactly. So what 
what am I saying? The fight goes on. I am so happy so many Biafans are ready. I am ready. Whichever way. If you say we are going home tomorrow, I am flying home. I don't care about that. All I care about is Biafra. Now, many people are still awake, waiting for you to close. And I'm telling you, if you don't close, we wait for you. <laughs> if you broadcast it tomorrow, we wait for you. <laughs> I like that. I like that. There are dedicated men and women, for that matter, who will come with us on this struggle. And we say to them time and time again that our belief is unshakable. We yes. have done everything that God asked us to do. And don't forget to take on on what I said last time. Jonathan should stop spending his energy on fighting with the Yorubas and, and the houses just to do extra for years. We offer him 10 years. Of course, I agree with you. I agree with you. We offer him 10 to 3 years. That was the, 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 the resources are from all our side. We have everything. So he shouldn't, he shouldn't waste a second. People who are saying we should understand his language should stop that. He should just get up there, say, you know what? I've had enough of this. Everybody going away. He has the army, he has the police. He has every power to say, from this moment now, we'll quit and we'll finish. And then he has... 10 calendar years to rule us. You should come over to us. Yeah, and my dear brother, brother, I like your tenacity and your resilience, which I witnessed firsthand only yesterday because you were with me. Or the day before, you were with me two days ago, I would say. Yes. You were with yes. me in Stuttgart. There yes. is something I used to say on Radio Biafra. But before I do so, I must acknowledge Gozier, our brother, who has been with me all this while, the same thing as you, my dear brother. Especially the guy who was with you, somebody Eke. Somebody Eke spent all his time with you. Of course, I had when you gave him that respect. Oh, yes. I want to boast it by saying that that guy is a dear friend. Eke is a strong man. Chika Eke is one of us. So also Naka DK is one of us. They've been with us all the true. They've been with us for seven hours of broadcast. They are still listening. The same thing as you, Chineke, my, my dear brother. We are formidable. God knows we are unrelenting. Anybody who understands me, my love for my country, I am fanatical about Biafra. Insane Thank about so my much. country. I love you. Remember, place. I told them, I said to them, listen, Inan the Kyle is not a journalist. Don't expect him to fashion and design words. He is saying it how he pays him, and everybody should get up and join him. Finish. There are no two ways about it. My mother keeps calling and keeps calling. Somebody must tell my mom that I'm serving my country. I can't take her call. Oh my God. I am serving oh my, my country. I cannot take her call. This is Biafra. And I must go on to read. The text, my dear brother, if you're with me, I will go on to read the text. It's not only us who have been complaining about Lugard. People complained about Lugard in 1919. They said, this man, what you're doing is wrong. And we'll go into it. Listen very carefully, please. To the natives of Nigeria, in particular, and of West Africa in general, the Nigerian system is the most infernal system that has even been devised since the days of the Spanish Inquisition for the express purpose of humiliating and depressing the units of any loyal and progressive community. It's nefarious well, laws like. that are talking about the British in my land. It's nefarious laws and ordinances read like the word contents of some musty first documents on earthed in far off cafe its 25 lashes its public floggings of general offenders britain was flogging people publicly in my land when such oh practices God. we are forbidden in england Imagine official that. documentation of the british 
is 25 lashes is public floggings of general offenders stripped naked in the public markets is maintenance oh of so-called white prestige at all costs is subjection of the judicial to the executive exactly what has that copied from them and its obnoxious criminal code bespeak an administrative system which is the exact prototype of german culture in africa and is in diametrical opposition to the traditional principles of british justice and fair play i will continue to read so that people may you understand are, you, the you are our anger. you are my country we, we are have been you. humiliated you we have been insulted we have been denigrated we have been trampled upon we must bring the news the truth to our people because only this truth will set us free nothing else will only the truth i will continue to read this very text its abhorrence of legal practitioners and denial to natives of the principles and procedure of british courts of justice is judicial folly in investing in district commissioners whose innocence of english law and practice has been officially and naively admitted in an apologetic memorandum by the retired chief justice of nigeria with powers of life and death in the provinces over natives of whatever standing without any trial by jury or the right of returning counsel powers that are denied even to the chief justice of the supreme court of nigeria is detestation of educated people the natives who are educated are detested there is no trial by jury the same laws that are obtained in england are being denied people because they see us as lower than monkeys they see us as savages these are official british documents from the era we are being humiliated as a people we are being insulted and the, the good lord is our witness the affair is coming nobody can stop it hello you will give me your name and where you are this is radio biafra your name and where you are hello i'm chibi what is your name chibi what type of name is that i said i'm chibi chibi and what is your surname Ugo Kaili. where are you from i'm calling from malaysia and i have an address this beside but i'm staying in malaysia go ahead yeah, so I'm just waking up now due to the time difference. So I heard one of the callers say that you people have gotten the documents. Yes, we do. And we have the yeah. information papers, yes. Yeah, do you mind do you mind maybe sharing sharing it on Facebook because I'm I've been following people for a while now. We are not going to share it on Facebook. We are going to send you copies of them. Okay, okay. We are no longer trading crayfish. We will okay. send people copies of these materials so they can have it in their entirety. We will not only publish the amalgamation reports, we will also publish what is called Frederick Lugat's confidential memo. Confidential. The one. The one. We have it because we are Biafrans and this is radio biafra for goodness sake not any other radio station this is radio biafra and as i told them in germany and as i tell them everywhere i go to before us they were not like us after us there will be none like us confirm none like us because we are resolute. we are determined we are indefatigable we are not going to retreat one inch we cannot surrender we are without fear before our enemies nigeria should be scared of us not us scared of them and god is our witness if they do not give us biafra we'll burn nigeria down we'll destroy it completely and then they will know we have the documents they don't have jonathan do not have these documents he doesn't have them but we do because we are Biafrans and because this is Radio Biafra. You will give me your name and where you are. We are in London. Go ahead. We have a caller on the line. On the phone, you will give me your name. 
No, they are not saying anything. They are not saying anything. And I wish they can come back to me, please. I wish they can try and say something. Can you hear me? The caller on the phone? No, they are not saying anything. This is Radio Biafra. The time here now is approximately 1 a.m. in the morning of the 1st of January in the year of our Lord 2014. A people to year, a remarkable year for all of us. Biafra has to come. There is no choice. Or we die getting it. Give us your name and where you are. This is Radio Biafra. Hello. Yes, your name and where you are. Nandi, Marika, Kudo Bunu Memre Jedo Ekmi Takwaka Biafra, living in Bishop Auckland, County Baran, UK. You are a good man and one of us. Please go ahead. Happy to be here for the Thank, Thank you. Thank God that this year has arrived. Have arrived. Now that we've gotten our our donation papers, this has gone to confirm that the whole business of the African restoration is the one ordained by God. Of a course. lot of people, a lot of people have spoken about their happiness, what they want us to do, the shape of everything we take, man, the Biafra restoration is of course. Of course what I'm is. trying to say is, at this point, what we need in this struggle is a cool head, a focused mind, and a steady hand. All this is within you, a man mezu, and this you may fall. So you know we are you know each each one each 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 one and each and every one of you knows what each and every one applies to. The put the put the challenge in my view which we will get as time goes on is the ability of we dear friends to really believe that what we think we take up years to accomplish is now within an inch. It's for us to believe it now. Because this amalgamation paper has nailed the coffee off all the complexities that people might throw, throw upon us that is it really how are we gonna do it? Wherever we lay the amalgamation papers our case has been our case has been presented. You know that what I'm trying to say is that with this amalgamation papers, people will now say that yes. Not only that there was a country as said by China, but there, there was a people, not just a country, but there was a people, which is more important. Yes. Yes. So and these people it took them all these years for the world to hear their voice and they realize and come to agree with them that yes there was a people indeed not just that there was a people but there were the people there were the jews there were the ethiopians and then there were the arabic their friends so what i'm in other words what our focus should be now is all our arguments will now be based on this our commission paper first it is illegal. Second, it is criminal. Fourth, it is racism, racism for excellence. Fourth, it is even immoral. It is against. It is immoral. It is against the ethical laws of nature. It is against humanity. It is a crime against humanity. That was why the UN in 2007 said no. Because of this document, because of the likes of this document, because of what they did in Africa, the bastardization of our ways of life, that was why the UN gave us a ray of hope in 2007 exactly. by saying you have the right to self-determination. Nobody can exactly. stop us. It is true. So, when we say it is illegal, everybody knows that. When we say it's criminal, we know what it means to do. Because in an attempt to support a people, a God-given people, that is also a criminal offense, punishable. I don't know whether 
the international court of justice is there. When we say it is immoral, and now because it is immoral, that is on the moral high ground we are finding. In fact, the discovery or the possession of this amalgamation paper has so emboldened, has sort of, you know, and uh, what, 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 what that is, has sort of, you know, established the case for the Afra beyond all reasonable doubt. I'm not a lawyer, but I know what you mean beyond all reasonable doubt. So, as a practical step, because I know what is in your hands now is much more than the Constitution of the United States of America, which is where every country on earth that practices government of the people, for the people and by the people, always like to take a clue. So what you have in your hand, what you have in your possession now, is much more than the government and the Constitution of the, US, the United States of America. So, because we want to make it open, all the Africans should be able to go through it and read it. Hey, this is my own suggestion. The Eastern pilot should be in position to publish it so that people back home should read it. In print. Now, whichever method Radio Biafra will now use to disseminate it and to whoever organization or international institution like UN, AU, um, AU EU, and the other world president that we have position of it, I'm fully in support. But all I'm, my happiness today is we've now got an incontrovertible evidence that these people crying, that these people that have been crying that, yes, they are a people, they are being subjugated, they are being killed, and they are still counting, and they are still being killed. That really, there are no doubt that there was a country called Biafra, but there are people called Biafra. And these people, by right, based on human existence, must exist. Now, are we talking of are we talking of a recrimination? Are we discussing something like what we are going to do with the United Kingdom for allowing such things to happen on there that watch or for even orchestrating it? That will be a, that will be a, that will be a, a topic for discussion in future. But first thing for as we join as we enter two thousand and four to celebrate the liquidation, the demise of that uh, zoological entity. We are also celebrating the emergence of the Amalgamation Papers. So that is that is even more than a birthday, a New Year gift to any Biafra, anywhere in the world where you are. That we've now got in a, a paper that can that we now say yes. Based on this paper, you can now see that yes, we've been discriminated against. We are a people, we have the right to inhabit our own land, and looking at it, looking at the farms, the way Lugard or whoever drafted it, it was purely meant to subjugate Biafra. It wasn't in good faith at all. Not only that they want to exploit our resources for their own selfish interests, but they really want to make sure that we do not exist as a people at all. This is even a crime against God. So on, under no, on, under no dance, under no circumstances, would that be justified? But then, nobody can challenge the wisdom of God. It has happened, but now, we are now wiser. So, congratulations to Radio Biaf for holding out the touch of liberty. Congratulations to my fellow Biafrans for our party Biafrans and for not saying die. And congratulations to whoever that will come across this amalgamation paper. So that, one day, one day, when I say one day, it could be tomorrow. I'm not, I'm not, one day cannot just be one day of a one day next. One day it could be tomorrow. Yes, the Biafrans will say yes, freedom at last, like what the Luther King said. Yes, yes, freedom at last. Kudos to Radio Biafra. Man, the Jiden Kunuji. We know that only here what are we here This is the time for us to say yes. Without even shooting a gun, so to say. Nobody can argue this. No court of law in anywhere in the world, no court of law can argue against this. But we are the people against their wish, to subjugate the people against their wish, to even, to even criminally put words to paper, to have the effect of wiping those people out of existence. My God. People say slavery is the greatest uh, evil of the 21st century. I don't think so. Now I know that the greatest evil of this of 
all times is it's colonialism colonialism <laughs> not even slavery colonialism is worse exactly not the colonialism there are two or three after all india was colonized and they now look at where india is no, not what they do to us not our own we are not indian people we are not no, submissive no, 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 or subservient no, 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 people i'm not saying i'm not saying when you i'm trying to say that colonialism is even less than what i'm going to say colonialism it is colonialism india was colonized america was colonized all this and then the pakistan went their way bangladesh and then india is where it is today our own is that not that we say colonialism if you are colonizing the people with the intention that you know, those people will leave that's a different thing but if you are colonizing the people with the intent, with the clear intent that they will this that is extermination that is going against the rule of procreation by god who made us nobody made the effort god made us we are god's own people so for somebody from somewhere to come down to our people illegally with that visa like you always propound and then decide not only will i pillage their resources but i must make sure through committing through written wars that forever these people should be I mean, gradual expansion of this book from the surface. That is what I'm saying. That the greatest evil of all times is the ability of the British to come together to go and criminalize everything that the people of Biafra will never see the light of day again. Thank God, thank God, thank God. Of so course, of course we do. And my dear brother, thank you very much. You have spoken very well. We have a caller on the line on Skype. Your name and where you are. This is Radio Biafra Marathon Session. <laughs> director, director, I, I salute you. I welcome you back from your european tour thank you very much i recognize that voice anytime anywhere is the voice of dr justin akujese of <laughs> Equinche, who is also incidentally one of us i will welcome him with this paragraph from this very monumental document we are revealing to the world he will stay with me written by the lagos weekly record between february the first to the 22nd in the year 1919 and it reads this is how many words in paragraph is this one one two three four five i'm reading from the sixth paragraph there can be no question that as the conquering hero of punitive expeditions the widener of imperial outposts by means of the sword and as the high commissioner of the newly conquered territories subject to military control <laughs> sir frederick has had a distinguished career and has been aptly decorated by the imperial government but on the other hand as the administrator of progressive african communities we regret we cannot help but write sir frederick down as a huge failure judged by the light of the modern conscience in his treatment of subject races sir frederick is a hopeless anachronism so hopeless indeed that as the product of a bygone age cast upon a time that would not understand him yet he persisted in his fitful attempts to force the new wine of the law of the social expansion for subject races the inspiring ideals of 20th century civilization into the old bottles of military subjugation domination and terrorism with the result that the old bottle have invariably been burst and riots and massacres have become rampant this is in 1999 mm -hmm. riots and massacres as a result of british colonizing influence in africa yes these people started terrorism terrorism yes. was started by the british in our lands it is here terrorism <laughs> I didn't I thought the word terrorism only came out a few years ago here in 1919 the British rule was being described as terrorism under Frederick look at terrorism they were killing people yes. it's here yes. we have it and they are finished they are dead finished please go ahead my brother welcome welcome that was um, 
remarkable that you were able to get hold of that very special document. December 31st, 2013 becomes for us a date we will again inscribe as one of those dates in the history of our civilization. But before I continue, we are in Chicago. The time now is about 7.19 p.m. So um, I'm still in the, uh, guided by the ancient Igbo civilization day of um, Oye Inso. Today is Oye Inso. <laughs> um, why I say that is that as I pray, our father of fathers, our mother of mothers, great founders of nations, great builders of clans, great builders of villages, great builders and holders of families, great builders of towns, great traditional pictures look at with joy, great models of model, great wise fathers and mothers, great trainers of nations, great trainers of generations, immemorable catalog of good names, Powerful models of patience, admirable models of courage, immoral models of good life, great anchors of justice and fair play, one time great men but now noble as elevated spirits, good respected spirits, powerful ancient code of lives, great and powerful yet immortalized first elders of the universe, great invisible guidance of families. Edifying models of judges, great and powerful architects of social order, dead and spirits, great and noble incarnations of human beings, great venerated helpers of the Creator, loving great custodians of life, noble great custodians of civilizations. I don't know how are you still with me no the line even the line is complaining i want him to come back to us he has to come back to us can you hear me no no the line is shaky he needs to come back to us and in the interim marshal please ask barrister Mamezu to come to me barrister can you hear me Barrister Emam Mezu, can you hear me? Barrister, can you please confirm your presence? Barrister, can you hear me? No, Barrister cannot hear me. We have a caller on the phone, can you hear me? But your, please turn down your system, turn it down because I can hear myself. Can you please turn it down? Yeah, I, I really don't it. Please go ahead. It is my name is the Emirate of Mecca from Indonesia. Coming from Indonesia, but I'm from Angola. Yes, go I ahead. Want to, I, want to, uh, I want to thank you because one of my friends and my teacher are introducing me to this video. I want to introduce. I have not been a day that is in, I cannot even sleep that is very to the day of I'm I don't know how happy I am to be part of this, to be part of this debate or uh, this family. I was very, I was very, very grateful. What I want to say to my fellow Biafra is that this problem we are into is for everybody, it's not only really for for me, uh, for my name, uh, it's for everybody. He believes that he believes in Jaffa. I believe that 
if you come out, you must have a way to contribute in this struggle. You must have one way or the other, even if you are handicapped, if you are, if you are a cripple, if you are born, anywhere, anything you are, as a, as a, as a, as a human being, you must contribute one way or the other. I believe that today that marks the end of the year and the and the new day for the new for the new generation of Gaza. We are supposed to have as a different people, we need to have something we need to mark on. Like people that have Facebook, we need to reach that black and flag as your friend as your profile picture. The BB you can see your black flag coat of arm as your as your display picture. You can see post notes on Facebook because our people down down there in the zoo, some of them they are not aware of all these things. Okay? You know, when you are doing when you are when you are making some when you are making some fair art using your paper picture, they be asking some questions, why are you doing this? And in fact you're liking them once how we should we should see we see what we are doing, we are in that fair art, see what we are doing to achieve this our aim. Because some of them, some of them don't have it. Some of them don't have laptop or computer. Some of them don't have all this Android phone to download. Okay? But some of them are using Blackberry. Some of them are using WhatsApp. You can, use, you can change the feature of WhatsApp to Blackfly. You can use your name, name like Blackfly. It doesn't make a difference. Like, 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 all my, all my Facebook, all my pictures, I have only power to Blackfly. I believe I have already changed my location to Biafra. I have already changed my location to Biafra and from Biafra, and that's what I that's where I belong. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. This is Radio Biafra. Let us see if the barrister is there. Barrister members, can you hear me? Barrister, can you hear me? We are I'm here very much so. Please go ahead. Director, well, a lot of people have been calling, those who are just waking up and those who have been awake with us. The response is very uh, encouraging, overwhelming. The support we are getting from all the news, since or 6 o'clock we started, is very, very palatable. Director, everybody has been saying it, we are going home. Not only because of the information you've gotten, but because of the struggle. It is proper, it is right. It is genuine, it's legitimate, and that is where we are going. We're going home. Nothing will stop our movement, Director, because for everything we are doing about the movement of Biafra is quite justified. We have the legal entity, we have the approval of the UN, we have the approval of the European Union, we have the approval of God himself, to Abiyama, who is making it possible that all we do is legitimate. We are not fighting, as I said, we are going to take what belongs to us peacefully. Whereby there is a hitch or a prevention, then we will revolt. Quite rightly, we have to revolt because we've been enslaved unjustly we've been amalgamated wrongfully we've been punished unjustly therefore nobody should blame us no nation wherever they are should blame the Piafrans. whatever any action we took to restore our position to restore our legitimate right to exist the determination of the Afrans, to be where they're supposed to be instead of being scattered all over the world. Director, that was not why we are created. We are created to exist and worship to Guadiama in truth and in glory. But Lugard and those who sent him did not allow us to be. But after a hundred years, we've discovered the problems. We've dis discovered the wage, we've discovered the prevention why we should not exist. Therefore, as we have discovered all the problems, what has been stopping us, we will now take it on our own terms, not listening to anybody, 
We're not taking a school from anybody to go back home and restore our legitimate right to exist as people meant to exist in their own country. The British people will not come to the African land to exist. Americans will not come to the African land to exist. America is in America. Britain is in their own land. Scotland is in their own land. Why are the Africans scattered all over the world? Now this is the rightful time for us to go home and exist. Worship our God in truth and in honesty. And that is exactly why we are awake. Up to now, Director, by my own time, it's half two o'clock in the morning. Is it half one or half two o'clock, Director? It's half one o'clock. It's half one. Very soon. It's half one, Director. My own time here, which I haven't put back, because I know very soon the time will go back one hour. When we get back to the African land, our time will remain static. It will be static, please. We don't tamper with God's creation. We don't we play God. <laughs> don't play God. Yeah, I'll go to Dr. Dosna Kujese. He's back with me. Yes, thank you very much. Let me finish with this invocation of our ancestors. Go ahead. As I was saying, the dynamic co equals of the Mother Earth, confident deputies of the Supreme Being, moral co guardians with the Mother Earth, recognized and accepted traditional stars, traditional and venerated holy ones, traditional good spirits worthy of emulation, our non failing mediators before God, our beloved dead living parents, faithful bearers of our petitions. Faithful bearers of our prayers, faithful intercessors before God, you whose moral fortitude directs all who care to emulate, you who were born in lives of good life, you who were foundations of good traditions, you who were lovers of good traditions, you who were upholders of good traditions, you immortal great spirits, you who saw the ages, you noble conservers of experience. You who were traditional dispensers of wisdom, you who were immortalized and venerated members of the spiritual order, you whose names were and are immortalized index of good character, you whose edifying character merited the ancestorship, you whose holy character has forced all to acclaim you as holy, you whose noble character was giving light to all, you rare wisdom of our youth. You wisdom of human race, you great model of truth, you faithful protectors of boundaries, you respected wise settlers of disputes, you illustrious men and women, you whom heaven has honored with eternal bliss, you the architect of family unity, you the architect of national unity, you the speaker of the speechless, you acknowledge wearers of authority of towns and nations. You dynamic kings of kings, you traditional lord of lords, you whose frame has been immortalized, you whose strength has been renowned, you traditional and national emblem of paternity, you traditional holders of a four, those who go through your steps have become wise and good, those who miss your steps have become deviant, unlike you, honor and nobility have eluded them. Ah. You, God's immortal image on earth below, our continuous homage to you we pay, and our sincere worship to God we make. Oh, Chuku Abiyama, by this time, 5,000 years ago, you sent one of our ancestors in the name of Izize, they call him Moses, but his true name is, was Izize. You sent him before and say, Go to Pharaoh and say to him, So so says the Lord, that <coughs> the, the, the people should be allowed to go to serve their God. And he said, Who's God? He said, The God of the Hebrews. Chuku Abiyama. Okay, Chuku Abiyama. Chuku Alka Abiyama has asked me to ask you to send our people away home so that they can worship him in truth 
and honesty. We are very glad today. Today begins the fall of the evil contraption, the evil Jewish space, the evil place called Nigeria. It has ended in the footsteps of our ancient forefathers who told Lord Lugard or Mr. Lugard who resisted people thought they didn't resist they resisted they wrote they went they told them you cannot bring darkness and light because light will always outshine darkness we are still there if only we can harken back to our good traditions we'll be okay if only we can hold back hold on to our truth justice and fair play it was first as only or habiri that was the first name we were, we were answering it metaphors to the rest it was the source of, of Lobo, Ibo, Eba, and so on and shame us the holders of our form but it talks about Melusi today. But we know we are also the direct descendants of Melusi, the righteous priest. All we can say is that our people should recognize that today becomes another watershed in the fall of Nigeria. We should hold our head high, we should work together. We should begin now to talk about the laws, the true laws of the land of the living people of Biafra. Because Biafra was not just a land, it was a land of the people, a land of true laws of nature, a land, a gift to God Himself. There was a time God was residing in Biafra. God was reciting there in the Afra. Because that was where well, when we call it Unso Unso. The whole land was Unso. When the British came there in 1492, or the Portuguese, they were warned by the by the Benin whom they visited. You see, they told them, do not go further, because that place down from Abor, down, they are very holy people. They don't joke. They have laws, they have civilization, they have civilization way beyond mankind. We know that the conspiracy of destroying the directions of Yah, the directions of Yahweh, Chukwa Biyama. You know, at times when our people sit down and say Ibo Kwenu, they do not add. They do not understand what was being said. Ibo Kwenu, Ibo affirm your God, Yah, Yahweh, the ultimate owner of the universe. Ebiri, Ebiruwa, the ultimate wave of the universe, the ultimate energy of the universe. That's who we are. We are the sons of that ultimate owner of the universe but along the line along the time we made mistakes and like our director says all the time we have retraced, uh, retraced ourselves we are asking our Asian forefathers who were blessed by Chukwu Abiyama to intercede for us to intercede for us to intercede for us all this we, we ask in his own holy name to go at the armor. Amen. He said, He said, He said, He said, He said, Thank you. Thank you very much and God bless you. That was Dr. Justin Akujiazi of Ekwenche. The people that it is a double blessing today because uh, yesterday I, I will say because uh, we heard from Odenubo and now we have also heard from Dr. Akujiazi. We thank them 
we glorify Chukwabiaba because we have men like them. And this blessing shall continue until Biafra comes and beyond because we are his children we are the children of the light and this is radio biafra your name and where you are please the caller on skype this caller on skype can you hear me no they can't hear me the caller on skype can you hear me no they can't this is radio biafra if you're joining us we are welcoming you to our program although we only have about 20 more minutes to go do we have a caller on skype or not can you hear me please turn your system down and speak to me via skype this is radio biafra we are welcoming you to our program. Are you Turn your system down, please. Your voice will soon come through. Leave your... Oh, dear Lord. I don't know. They never listen, do they? I don't know how to put this. This is Radio Biafra. We must continue to broadcast. Carol Monday is also with us. Carol, can you hear me? Carol Monday, can you hear me? No, she cannot hear me. Carol Monday cannot hear me. This is Radio Biafra. People are tired. Nobody can hear me. But we must broadcast. It is our duty to broadcast. And that is what we are doing. We must broadcast. This is Radio Biafra. Give us your name and where you are. The caller on the phone. Hello, Director. Good evening. Speaking to Isaac. Why is the voice is are the lines being jammed or what? Why are the voice sounding so subdued? Why? <laughs> so my line is not jammed. Uh, can you hear me now? Yeah, it's better now. Please go ahead. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm, so, I'm so happy. 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 I can't hear you very well. I cannot. Your voice is deep. Why is that? I can't understand it. Can you hear me now? It's better. You push your nose. You can speak like a Biafran, please. Uh, I think I'm that uh, our amalgamation is over. The, the marriage that they put us together, the first marriage, is over. And I uh, also uh, congratulate you for your journey from Jamal country all over and you are, you are welcome thank you and also I, I'm, uh, I, I'm so happy for what is happening to people and also for their documentation and uh, the is is getting, getting better and we are going to work more because it's time to work now it's time for us to do more job for this uh, our struggle. I just want to be uh, just to congratulate for the good work you're doing and also for the say happy new year for all the friends all over the world. Yeah, uh, and also congratulate, congratulate the secret book they keep we got right now on the hand. Of course. Hand. Of course. Thank you very much. Uh, Thank uh, you for calling. Thank you. Thank you. We have a caller on Skype. Can you hear me? Hello, I can hear you. Good morning. Good morning. Your name and where you are, please. Uh, this is Ikejuku Kene Tuzoma from Barcelona. I'm calling from. Please go ahead. Uh, director, please, uh, Biafra. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, please. I would like to know because the first segment of your production tonight, uh, I didn't get it at all. Uh, I sent some message in the Skype telling you I couldn't hear you. I don't know whether it just any other way. Maybe tomorrow I will go through it. It will be replaying the, the, the. You can uploaders. download it and play it because we will upload it. We will okay, cut no it into three segments and we will upload it. And okay, then you can no. listen to we can listen to part one, part two, part three. Okay. So we can upload it. It's a marathon session. We'll be yeah. here for very close to eight hours non stop. Okay, no God problems. Bless. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you and God bless you. Thank yeah. you. 
We have a caller on the phone. You will give us your name and where you are, please. We are Radio Biafra. Hello, Director G. Johnson Carlo from Manchester again. Please, yes, go ahead. Um, Director, I just want to say um, Happy New Year. Same to you. And uh, I want to say thank you for the good eight hours that you've been broadcasting. I say thank you very much, Alex Almighty. Keep on guiding you and your family and protect you in the mighty name of Jesus. I say amen to that. Thank Amen. You Thank, you Thank you very much. Thank you and God bless you too, my dear brother. Carol Monday, can you hear me? No, she can't hear me. She cannot hear me. This is Radio Biafra. Barrister Mamezu, can you please commence our descent, please? Barrister, can you hear me? People are falling by the wayside. Even the great barrister himself. Is falling by the wayside. Give us your name and where you are. This is Radio Biafra. Hello. Hello, director. Hello, I'm my dear here. brother. How are you? This is Evangelist Barnabas. Fine. Thank you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well done, sir. Um, I just want to thank you, sir, for this great revelation that you have brought to us um this is an eye opener and um those i know that those who are is afraid now will know that it's not a joke that god has brought you as a moses to lead us to our fatherland oh please you know moses didn't see that place and i want to see biafra i beg you please you are going to see it ojuku, ojuku came before us ojuku is our moses okay 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 Okay, let's say you are the Joshua. That will be better. It's an honor. Okay. All right. So I want to tell you that uh, we just come back from the church. We'll be listening before the time we go to bury Nigeria uh, in the church and doing their burial ceremony. <laughs> we finish it and we'll come back again to continue the listening. I want to encourage every biafran i told them i'm no longer nigeria there's nothing like nigeria we don't need to talk about nigeria anymore please and please director if we can get that document if we can give it we have sent to 166 senators the letter that is given to us and the tds in this country tomorrow i'm going to post the one for the uh, UN High Commissioner and the, the Prime Minister of this country, I'm going to send it to you this morning by the special grace of God. So if that thing can be available to us, we will dispatch it to all of them so that the, for them to see the abomination that human beings have committed. Those people who are calling other people, other countries terrorists, they, they, they are the ones who started the terrorists, killing people, even trying to wipe entire society out of the map of the world. God Almighty, I used to pray it every day. God will never forgive them. God will never, they are the one who killed my father and my two brothers. And God will hold them accountable for the blood of this people and 3.5 million of Hebrews. They will never go free. They will never go free. May God Almighty uphold you and the Karumonde. That woman is a fantastic woman. God will continue to keep her. The work that she's doing, God will strengthen her. Oh, by this time, man, Mezuche, me for all of you, Ikechuku in Yago, God Almighty will strengthen you. We are standing for Biafra, we are not going back. Whoever that wants to go to the north to live, let him go to the north. We are marching forward to Biafra. This is a new year, and we have started Biafra. It's a year of freedom where we we're supposed to be flagging our flag all over the world. <laughs> May God bless you, director, and strengthen you the more in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen and Amen and Amen. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. Let us see who is there. And then we shall see. Give us your name and where you are. The caller on Skype. This is Radio Biafra. Can you hear me? Hello. I can hear you. Please I can go hear ahead. you. Go ahead. Yeah. My name is Honor Chris. My name is Anna Christian Lusita. I'm calling from Russia. Thank you very much. Please go ahead. Yeah, I called in because I was very happy with what I had today. 
I've been uh, a fan of. Please continue saying what you're saying. Don't stop. We are listening. Uh, from the news now, uh, I want to ask a question. Go ahead. Uh, what are we going to do with the governors back home now? They will go on exile. They will go, go on, on exile. exile. We cannot stand the same land because with them. What, they will what we have now today is a very good, a good point for us to go home. Because the governors now are just going to, they are going to fight against the, the, the they are going to fight against it. And then uh, fighting against us is a very bad thing because they are in the position where they should get the money. They get money from the government, from the Nigeria, not Nigeria, but Nigeria, the Alsas. I will want them to leave their seats. Hello? I prefer... Hello? No, it's not very good. Barrister, can you hear me? Barrister Mamezu, can you hear me? He cannot hear me. I will proceed to bring this program to an end because Barrister cannot hear me. This is Radio Biafra, wherever you are on this planet Earth. Carol Monday, are you there? No, Carol isn't there either. This is Radio Biafra. We must proceed to bring this program to an end. And in so doing, we must once again call upon Tupu Abiyama, the all-knowing, all-seeing God, the creator of the heavens and the earth, upon whose name this very pursuit for the restoration of his own kingdom is being made. Our land is holy because we are holy people. This very day, we commence from yesterday, the past eight hours has been a revelation. We have preached this very gospel. We have made very startling revelations about how they coupled the zoo together. We have started the process of decoupling it. All those who were complicit, all those who had a hand in the setting up of that monstrosity, that hell on this earth, that place that was handed over to people who are unclean. They gave them the children of God to do with as they please. We have had enough. That 2014 is now here. We have made our points. We have made our case. And Biafra is going to come. I am humbled. Indeed, I consider it a privilege and honor to serve the wonderful people of Biafra. We must add great to that as well. But not yet. Biafra determines if we are worthy to be addressed as great Biafrans. Our quest is honorable. Our mission is just. We are not stealing land from anybody. We are not doing anything we are not supposed to do. All we are asking for is for the yoke and the burden placed around our neck to be removed. That burden is Nigeria. It is stifling us, it is killing us. It has taken many lives already. 10 million and counting. 3.5 million were massacred, killed in cold blood. The rest died either as a result of starvation, displacement, general hardship. We must try as much as we can to reverse all of that. And that's what we are doing. We need the support of everybody, every man, woman, and child. If you can, we need your support. You must give us your support because that is what makes everything we do possible. If without your support, we wouldn't have had these amalgamation documents. Without your support, we cannot build the finest library in the world for our people to go into research. Without your support, we cannot take the message of Biafra very far. We ask you to please do whatever you can to keep supporting us. If you go to Radio Biafra website, which most of you are listening on, you will see the donate button. It's quite easy. 
you can speak to your coordinator our work starts now this very day the first of january 2014 we are going to go home we must commence direct action we are going we are going to need a lot of help and funding it is not going to come from heaven and we are not going to steal we made that very clear we rely on people to understand their responsibilities we ask them to please take those very seriously because biafra as we know it is coming and this biafra we must proclaim it to the world we must make them understand we must make them see reason we have to force them to give us biafra they can't give it to us for nothing we have presented in very startling fashion what luga did with us his experiment his experiment unbelievable sir frederick will continue to read by means of the one consciously or unconsciously endeavored to intensify in the colony and southern provinces racial antipathies between blacks and whites which had never been suspected nor dreamt of during the palmy days of the old colony of lagos and subsequently of the colony of southern nigeria especially as both sections of the community had formerly lived and traded together under the best of terms of friendship and mutual comradeship whilst by means of the other a multiplicity of laws which may be classified as bad and indifferent and are distinguished more for their repressiveness and brutality rather than for their juridical law and enlightened statesmanship and the absurdity, absurdity of which has earned the derision and contempt of enlightened humanity sir frederick has also won for nigeria the unenviable distinction of being the greatest ordnance reading colony within the british empire so bewildering amazing are the laws that it is almost impossible for even the law officers to know at which particular moment the exact law or any particular point for at that very moment the head of the executive may be passing an amending order in council for that particular law in sweet forgetfulness of the legislative council these are the mess they put us into that is the nonsense they gave us as a country any idiot answering to a nigerian that is who you are that is how you were made that's how you were created god did not send lugard lugard came to stop the french from breaking out of the home present day Benin republic they came to stop the french from expanding into lagos and yoruba land that was why they came it was a race nigeria was owned by a company the name of that company is called royal niger company not god god doesn't own the zoo it belonged to a company that through royal charter they took it over and from there lugard came and the rest as they say is history we've enunciated all these points we've outlined them we've brought them to you not because we don't have anything better to do but because we believe in the forcefulness of education of enlightenment and of reason we are reasonable people that is why we appeal to the conscience of humanity to recognize our plight to recognize that we are here to get biafra and nothing is going to stop us anything in our way will be crushed because we do not intend to retreat and we are not going to surrender biafra is our right because chukwa biama the all-seeing all-knowing god decreed that that should happen that is why wherever you are on this planet you must remember that later on today being the first of january in the year of our lord 2014 that something remarkable has happened on this very day all the problems all the burden all the yoke has been broken we are now going to march on relentlessly into biafra but without your help we can't do it you will tell your friends those around you there are people writing me from the netherlands saying there are very few but that they won't invite radio biafra we say to them to go ahead you must get the people around you together some of them are fathered by house and i know they are answering 
all manner of evil names don't let them discourage you don't they are acting out like their fathers you can't blame them the only difference is that they have an evil name you must see beyond these people you must continue you must march on you must move ahead to make sure that this message of biafra's redemption is circulated amongst your communities go to Igbo meetings go to ethic and bbo meetings go to job meetings around you go to community meetings go to the meeting of women and bring them biafra tell them that everybody will be equal before the law and before god tell them that in our new biafra there will be no discrimination that who you are will be determined by the content of your character and who and what you can do essentially not by who you know it will not happen because biafra is going to be a shining example we must live up to that very creed that that land is the land of the rising sun that is why we proclaim that you must be without fear in the presence of your enemies we are not afraid they threatened us but we went to germany to broadcast anywhere they say we cannot go to that is where we go to because we are not afraid of any human being on this radio station our praise all honor and adulation goes only to one man that is Chukwabiyama, the creator of the heavens and the earth upon whom we have called so much we have sinned we sold our own kind we have killed people we have indulged in all manner of human sacrifice we know that for sure we have defiled your holy land we have departed from your statutes and your laws and we openly confess that before the whole world before humanity we plead for forgiveness and we have been forgiven and in this new biafra it will be a model society it will be used in offering to you chukwa biama forever and ever and on that note we insist that this biafra is our religion And on this radio station we call Radio Biafra is where we worship. And Chukwa Biama is our God. He will bless, guide, sustain, and keep each and every one of you. But in this very remarkable year of 2014, with the expiration of the zoo. Good evening, wonderful people, great Biafrans, wherever you are on this planet we call Earth this is radio biafra special edition it is a special announcement it is a special rendition it is a very special project this very evening we are a night on a day a morning afternoon evening night here from london from our studios that we are holding a rapping mass for the zoological republic in the next few hours the existence of the zoological republic of nigeria the contraption built by frederick lugard of scotland that very abomination in the sight of god and the sight of man will come to an end it is therefore incumbent upon all biafrans and everyone listening all men and women of goodwill all men and women of righteousness those that believe in fairness those that believe in equity those that believe in justice those that believe in the right of man to rise up to ensure the coming of biafra because on this very evening from london we are going to bury nigeria we will bury that zoo with facts and figures we will ensure that the whole world everybody listening over three million people listening will become aware of the very fact that that very contraption should have been created in the first place this is radio biafra i had to cut short my journey in germany to come back to the studios of radio biafra to host this landmark edition tomorrow is the first day of january in 2014 nearly 100 years ago precisely 100 years ago the zoo was created today we begin to unravel it today we consign it to the dustbin of history today we will appeal to the conscience to the reasoning to the hearts and to the minds of all men everywhere in the world and women alike those that love justice those that love fairness to come to the realization the understanding to come to reason 
that that very zoo shouldn't exist anymore i am nam the kind of the host and director of radio biafra and by the very special grace of god a servant of the wonderful people of biafra therefore wherever you are on this planet we call earth regardless of the continent you're in the country regardless of the city the town regardless of your village your homestead your clan your homestead wherever you are we say good morning to you we say good afternoon we say good evening and we say good night to our people our wonderful lovely people in malaysia that kicked off this very program today this day that the zoo is coming to an end we are ensuring we are making absolutely certain that the existence of the zoo must cease it will come to an end that is why we welcome you that is why before you do anything else you must inform people around you regardless of the country they're in you will inbox them you will send them twitter messages you will do the best you can via email via whatsapp via blackberry you will inform those people that the zoo is coming to an end and on radio biafra we are holding a open mass we are reading the burial rites of the zoo this evening the heavens and the earth will reverberate not because we are anything extraordinary not because we are special but because chukwa biyama has spoken and his words must come to pass i am joined by carol monday i will also be that this very special edition of radio biafra nobody should miss it nobody who is sensible should miss it that is why you will tell them to go to www.radiobiafra.co ask them to go to www.peopleofbiafra.org ask them to go to www.indigenouspeopleofbiafra.org ask them to download radio biafra app ask them to go to biafra television on youtube tell them that across all these platforms that they can get radio biafra you cannot afford to listen to the night's radio biafra broadcast alone you must tell your wife and your children even those who are newly born because when they hear the truth if they are biafrans they will respond to it if they have not heard anything before if they are yet to be conscious of the environment please bring them very close to your listening device they must hear the word of truth this very day this very evening the 31st of december in the year of our lord 2013 a few hours away from the expiry of the zoo the zoo is about to end and we are here to bury it the number to call us on because tonight we'll take all your calls all of you wherever you are we will be on air for eight hours non-stop eight hours live broadcast from london i am tired i'm weak i came in from germany but i must broadcast to the world because this is radio biafra we are not like any other as long as we remain incorruptible as long as we are whiter than white as long as we are whiter than snow as long as we don't intend to retreat neither are we going to contemplate surrender as long as we put biafra before anything we do as long as we put biafra before our lives and our families as long as we put biafra before any comfort in life there is no way biafra will not come starting from midnight tonight everything within our powers everything within our effort everything within our capacity will be done to restore biafra in truth and in all honesty not just any biafra a biafra that will be worthy to be called the kingdom of god on this very earth that is why i must implore i must urge all of you i must plead with you to please go out get your pen and paper ready you must inform your people you must tell those around you you must educate them and enlighten them you must bring them closer to radio biafra if not for any other day but for this landmark world record broadcast from london we are going to destroy nigeria completely and totally that they may know that chukwa biama is our god that they may know that in word and in deed 
that we are the children of the most high that we are blessed people that our land is holy that we have been defiled desecrated that they have impugned our honor and our integrity and that must be restored that is why we are radio biafra and that is why the indigenous people of biafra headquartered in malaysia with our secretariat in thailand that is why all biafrans all over the world those that regard this as an honor and as a duty to set their people free must listen to us you must listen this very evening the number to call should you wish to join us later is our london number because we're back in london the number is plus four four seven eight three one three zero eight three seven six i must repeat this number plus four four seven eight three one three zero eight three seven six and so also is carol monday who has been working tirelessly hard as we reveal to the world today that the original amalgamation text is with us we have everything lugard said everything from a to z only to kwabiyama could have made that possible do you see why we say we are blessed on a very special day like this tomorrow in a few hours is the first of january 2014 it is the start of a new moon a historical coincidence in the lives of our people it doesn't happen very often that the first of january is also the first day of the new moon everything is happening in our favor the stars the constellation everything within the heavenly bodies is aligning for biafra to come we cannot afford to miss this opportunity i have in my hands here the text of the original declaration of amalgamation by frederick lugard god is indeed with us and also carol monday you will acknowledge the presence of the wonderful people of biafra and their friends who are all over the world please good evening to the world good evening friends worldwide and as ever, I'm going to say it again, on the last day of the year, it's good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone worldwide. And don't forget, if you are following us, it is still 12.30.